Afternoon, everybody. Hello. This is our final stream of the year, and I managed to not look at the computer for at least two seconds before I made sure everything was working. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's, That's a high score. Good. Yeah. Um, it's all right, because I looked at it immediately. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome in. My name is Tom. I'm Ochlan. Beck. Reese. Billy. I'm Kai. Chris. This is our Christmas stream, our end of the year stream. We are ranking our board, ranking every single game that we have played this year, not based on what is better than one other game, just given the opportunity, what we would prefer to play. The music got slow and it messed with my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should have put our presents under one of our cacti, and that was our Christmas. Mm. Oh. Christmas oh. Christmas oh. Christmas oh. That's it. I'm quitting Nerds of the West. I'm sick of these missed opportunities. <laughs> they, they look nice at the. <laughs> no. Get out of here. Have we have got room on. Christmas cactus. We can yeah, barely get it out of here. A little bit of tinsel. Put it back. It'll be fine. Um, so, we did a bit of maths. This is a democratically voted list. We have 52 games on this list, and everyone has rated their games 1 to 52 um, with a little bit of maths for if they did not play the game. The more people didn't play a game, the more slight negative it gets. It's like a it's like a one point two times, and then you average those two, and then the more people you get, more points. It's it's yeah, nice. that makes sense. Oh, I like yeah. your funny I, word, I, I won't magic bother man. explaining it to you. I, I trust I trust Billy who made the spreadsheet and Tom who ran the spreadsheet, and but, I just put the numbers in. Yeah. 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 Uh, yep. Put I the numbers even, in. I didn't even do that. Tom had to come to me yesterday. and He's like, "Did you have no do not play?" And I'm like, "I put them in the middle like you told me to." <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh man! Just like anyone's like, how do I do my spreadsheet? Like, just look at this person or this person who have done this. Use this as an example. Yeah. They've done and then, this, and then ask them the questions because I'm not helping you. <laughs> this <laughs> spreadsheet was like a, 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 a saga. It's better than last year. <laughs> the oh, last year was, like, was well, last year was Tom trying to figure out Excel. Now we've got Billy, the Excel wizard, actually helping. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> to be fair, we could have asked Billy last year. I didn't know Billy was an Excel wizard and last year. I was I. like, none of us are smart enough to know Excel. I'm just going to have to figure this out on my own. All right, on to it. On to it. Let's ring some games. games. We have smart. so many games to talk about. All right, before we go, what do you think is going to be number one? Um, no idea. Prediction. Like, we had a discussion about it, and uh, we're just like, thank you, Spam Bro. Hey, Spam Bro. 19 months. Woo! Merry Chrysler. Uh, also, hello to everyone. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for coming by. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Good all that to see fun you stuff. All. Um, yeah, Lachlan, starting with you. Number oh, one. Sorry, heck. I mean, I know what I want to be number one. I don't know what will be number one because this was the most decisive year. Last year, Guildmaster was hands down the best game that we played, but we didn't play it this year. And there's nothing that has gotten to the top so, like, unanimously. Yeah. There, was a, there was a couple of games, like we had Heaven and Ale that was really high up on the list, but not everyone played that. Um, what else was, like, super high on the list that was just really good that we played? Uh, just everything we played. Just <laughs> every, everything. <laughs> Everything we play this year was so good, right? We played yeah, a lot yeah. more games this year, and uh, a lot of them, it was really hard to rank them this between year two around, castles. because there was between, some good games. Between two were. castles. I, I thought That's between two castles, and like everyone really enjoyed between two castles, yeah. so uh, that, that could be. All right, Phantom well, Inc. I'm Phantom definitely, Inc. I'm going to be good. more decisive than Lachlan. I think Land vs. Sea is going to win. Ooh. 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 Prediction. I, See, the only thing I didn't want to say that's holding me back from predicting Land vs. Sea is that not everyone's played it. So I think those do not play waiting is going to keep mm. it from the very top. Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't want to jump the queue. Beck, what do you reckon is going to be? That Land vs. Sea. Okay. Did you miss that part where oh, I was yeah, like, Land vs. Sea? That's <laughs> why I was talking. <laughs> I, I said Phantom Inc. I think Phantom Inc. Yeah. We, we had a lot of fun recording that episode. Yeah. <laughs> and that was with... Uh, <laughs> Fucking Eli as well. Yeah. Yeah. What did you get back? Yeah. I was like, oh, we, we should have him on more things. Um, <laughs> we should play Phantom Inc. We, we, should, we should play Phantom Inc. Um, but yeah, that's mine. Billy, go shoot. Oh man, I want it to be between two castles. I really don't want it to be a co op game. That's your one criteria. That's where I'm at. Dude, I'm like, I would oh, no. laugh. So hard if Power Rangers makes it there. Oh. If Power Rangers makes it to number one, that will be yeah. hilarious on many, many different grounds. Yeah. You know what? And then I'll force you to play Power Rangers. And I'll make so it good. Time. Such a good game. I think just based on the fact that we had it's a large player count when we played it, 
and how much we all enjoyed it. I think Phantom Inc. is going to be mm-hmm. the top, if not very close, because so many people played it, so many people ranked it, so it's not being dragged down by any Do Not Plays, and I don't think anyone didn't enjoy that game. We also we played it in a bunch of different formats, because the first time I played it was actually online. Right. Oh. Yeah. And we, yeah, that, we was that, that was with Eli, I'm pretty with, sure. Yeah, that yeah. was with Eli slash Felix. I don't know what he wants to be called. Uh, he, he gave up a long time <laughs> yeah, ago. Yeah, he gave up a long time ago. Um, <laughs> Felix in chat. Uh, Felix. There you Felix. go. Felix. Match of the year, Felix Young. Um, yeah. Chris, what do you think? Chris, I've, okay, my prediction is Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Only because those who played it thought it was so staggeringly good after... The, the like the, we went into it thinking oh how good this could this possibly be yeah although I don't think it uh, maybe it won't win because a lot of people didn't play it or it but we, we had negatively we had a, like five of us play right and only one of them went really hell yeah. so yeah. and we all walked away loving it I'm yeah. very curious to see how Power Rangers stacks up with Spirit Island because mm-hmm. those are two very highly regarded co-op games that we played towards the end of this year. <laughs> yeah. And I think they each got four rankings, or four people ranking them, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm very curious to see. Yeah. They weren't the same four people, but I'm very curious to see how those two that's, sit that's fair. That's next fair. to each other. Um, so we've got, what, three games Hashtag that we think that will be? West if no Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Brutal. three big games that we reckon, Between yeah. Two Castles, Power Rangers, and Phantom Inc. Well, I was going to say, um, Man Behind the Curtain, Tom. What, what do you think? I can't give an opinion. I already know what oh, yeah. oh. His prediction's going to be very Can't accurate. Can't they, man? Just be like, oh, yeah. oh that, but like, uh, like I said, Phantom Inc. was my favourite uh, in the video that we played. Moon, Moon Rankers. Moon Rankers is going to be number one. There we go. Thank Bye. you All for right. the 100 biddies, Thank Arliel. Arliel. Thank you, Arliel. So, also, Brie will be joining us later, um, hopefully. She said she was running late. So. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. Let's Some, get someone should keep an eye on Messenger. Let's get, get the door. Guys, guys the door, door. help. Am I the only one whose mom would knock on their head as a child for knock on wood? Oh, yeah, knock on wood. Yeah. Oh, I slap myself. That's what I do if there's no I actual wood around. I do that at work. His bigger gun. Oh, oh Kurt! Woo, Kurt! Hey, Kurt. Morning, guys. I don't know if Joseph the Pirate's here, but he got kicked to the right, sub. Let's go. Is that uh, Kurt okay. reclaiming the top spot? Ooh, good uh, question. He's on 51. 51. He Maggie's on uh, yeah. two streams ago. So. 69% of the way to a hype train. So, guys, nice. let's get into it. Let's get oh, more oh, the hey. first hey. game. Oh, it's <laughs> it's okay. All right. So, the three games at the bottom of our list Ooh. all scored an average of 75 points. One seventy-five, one seventy-five point three, and one seventy-five point seven five. We should yeah. we should reiterate it's golf rules. So the yeah. bigger the number, the bigger worse the number, the worse the score. It, this it is the average of what we ranked it from top ranked. to bottom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, at the bottom of the list. Yep. Yes. Oh, what a bloody list! Don't be putting oh, 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 the Thank you, Thank you, everyone. Get that hype train going. All right, we got some hype. Bottom of the list. Moonrakers. Yeah! Y'all called it. Why is I cheering? <laughs> I really wanted to like this game. Like everything about it seems so great, and then once you put it together, it just didn't work well. Wait, did we hate it so much we lost the name I, for uh, it? I've got it here. Yeah. <laughs> I've got it. I have not played Moonrakers. <laughs> Um, and and that, that is part of the struggle. Just, um, just, um, <laughs> there is there is a lot of do not plays for this game, and but everyone who rated it rated it in their bottom five. Yeah, um, I, I'm oh, I'm just no. gonna put it out there. This game fucking sucked. I know we said <laughs> or someone said don't shit on games. This game sucks. Right. I'm sorry. This Can't rebuttal. Okay. This game is very pretty. It has a lot of elements that should work. It has things that like it's got a market. You've got like you go on missions together. There's good ideas. It just does not work. For some reason, it just feels... We always, just we always yeah. ran into a problem, whether it was oh. a problem getting missions we could complete, problems with the decks just not working, and it just kept stalling and, and not being... Fun. And it was and it, political! I hate political games! Wait, are you saying it's a co-op game? No. 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 Well, you're you're against of, each other, but then you agree to work with each other, yeah. but then you're against uh, each okay. other See, again. See, that sounds really good. I like yeah, the sound right? of that. I want to play it. The problem was, no one wanted to work together, because it was like, why would I work with anyone if I could just do it myself and just get all the rewards with not having to do that bargaining? Yeah. And it was just like, well, why would I get you on the mission if I could just do it with yeah. this other guy and we could both climb the ladder? And there was like some 
uh, push pull mechanics as well, where it's like, like a, if you failed, like then you actually. would go backwards oh, on the tracker. Mm. Curve with the three, three subs. subs. Oh. Three yeah. subs. Guys, thank you so RJ much. RJ Vite, Fidelia, if you are here, okay. get them finger guns out. I don't know. Oh, I do have a finger gun button. Oh, what a bloody I feel like we need to save the high volume for things on the list, yeah. and the low volume is out. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm already hyped that Moonwreck is about the bottom. I can't believe it. Like, so cold. I can't oh, believe it. Like, it's gotten up bigger gun and worse, but I can at the same time. My issue with it was it felt like they had put the art design and the look of the game ahead of the actual gameplay. They made a very good looking. I thought it was a premium Kickstarter that we had received. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I thought we received like this is a top tier Kickstarter. It comes with metal pieces. It comes with this. Comes with that. That that's just the base game, but. Is it here? Are we looking I don't for know. It? Or are we looking for oh, no, it? They're, they're, they're right. It's outside. We'll, we'll grab um, the games that we need. Them. But, um, but I think they put so much effort into that that they didn't actually put it into the gameplay because the gameplay never got fun. Dude, it was, it was not like, fun. It has the mechanics. It goes, this is a good yeah. gameplay mechanic, this is a good gameplay mechanic, this is a good gameplay mechanic. Yeah. And then all of them together just turned into a fucking train wreck. Right. Like, so enough, yes. enough talking about Moonrakers. Yeah. We need to talk we about the fact that on. Stephen like, is at a convention, yet he's still here to say hi to us. Uh, hey! hey! Stephen, also, tell can us we talk all about, about Curve throwing all of his fucking money at us? The two? Yeah. All the bitties. Thank Christmas. you guys so much. It's a Christmas bonus. And, and, and bits from, from Stephen and, and subs. And Aliel. And, guys, and, and Aliel and everyone else. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, next game. 75.2911166, repeating, who cares? Buy you back. Ooh. Buy you back. Not as universally panned. One person did rate it 36 out of 52. That was me. You didn't like it? I didn't hate it enough to put it in my bottom five because we played it wrong. So that is fair, but even with playing it wrong, unfortunately for Buy You Bash, it is just a worse Cubitos. And you haven't played Cubitos. Not played so Cubitos. You know. <laughs> yeah. So, mm. but then uh, it should also, be higher. Really, really fun stream. We need to have Dag yeah. on again. Need to have Dag on again. Who, who, like, who see? I, I think from here up, like none of these. I think uh, Moonrakers we didn't like, but I don't think for some people it'll be fine. It's not a bad game. Everything from here on out is a like six out of ten at least. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, Bayou Bash. Uh, we caveat. We did play it wrong when we played it on stream. Like, um, yeah, we played it wrong. We played a lot of games wrong. Yeah. But, what do you like, think about? We never do that. <laughs> we are professionals! What did we play right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Land a good question. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Mostly. Last Prince right. Vernick. All right, uh, that's true. Next up, once again, a game that not many people played, and Thanks anyone who did rated it a little bit lower, I think it's just not our kind of game, Red Dragon Inn. Oh. Yep. Yeah. It is apparently a game we need to <laughs> check out it. the expansions oh, for. It's a game that we need to see oh. more oh, of what okay. it has to offer. But the base game, how we played it, it just didn't yeah. click with us. I think the thing is, I played that. That was a, that was the end of our beer stream. Yeah. Um, what a good stream. Mm. It was a good stream. And and to be fair, it's not a, it's not like I didn't have fun playing it in that context. And I think it fits the same niche as Munchkin. We said it's a great intro to kind of take that games I guess like if you want to sit some some friends down and just mess with each other it's cool it's got that you know take that mechanic all the way through yeah but I think mm. it has the same problem as Munchkin as well where it, there's not the, the goal is still just to get to 10 points yeah. first basically like it's, yeah, it's, I, I'd rather play true I'd rather yeah. play love letter yeah. I'd rather play like a bunch of other games and it's really catered towards people who to love d and and we yeah. love D&D like a bunch of us at this table love D and D, but this is a game. I'd rather play D and D, or I'd rather play Love Letter. I, I, I think the audience for this game is people that play D and D but don't play board games. Yeah, that's and this is like an intro game for them to mm. be like, oh, board games are also cool. Yeah. Um, for us, unfortunately, we have played that many board games that, to me, this didn't really scratch the itch. And I, I know this is loved by so many people because we had so many people being oh, like, yeah. you need to play Red Dragon and you need to play it. And yeah, for me, it just didn't it didn't click, especially playing it after Heaven and Nail and having such a good time with Heaven and Nail. Yeah. Um, going to Red Dragon and I was just like, oh, it's oddly, uh, really disappointing. I can see Shame. why people like it. Because yeah. I loved Munchkin like people love Red Dragon in at one point mm. in my gaming career. I thought Munchkin was the best game ever. I can see, I 100% understand why people would feel the same way about Red Dragon Inn. I mean, yep. like, I watched you guys play Red Dragon Inn and it just gave me, like, um, I Dark Overlord vibes. Yes. And, um, yeah. Like, Munchkin vibes. Because it was all about the cards that you had, not necessarily how you played them. Like, you could 
Yeah. Like, that's just kind of vibe I got, because I think the thing that got everybody was that they just bottomed out with drinking because they didn't have the cards to in- counteract anything. Mm-hmm. Totally. So, yeah. 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 And then I was going to say something else. Wasn't important. I mean, I'll say I agree with Tom in that I would definitely be interested in playing it again with some expansions. We played the base, base yeah. version of the game, and there is like 17 expansions for it. I would absolutely be interested in adding some of those to add some complexity mm-hmm. back in and play it again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, the the cards, uh, especially coming from our background where we play a lot of Magic, right? We do. The cards are, there's too much going on. It's like a lot of writing, and I'm like, simplify. Yeah. Simplify the cards. It's the game wonder if you expansions yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, I'd be keen to check it out with expansions. Try and get, I, I, I am keen to give it another shot. Just unfortunately, the base game, very disappointing. Yeah. Um, yeah. For us. You're not anyway. mad. You're just disappointed. Yeah, very disappointed. Six. All right. Disappointed dad. Thank you for the hype train. Uh, oh, enjoy Woo! those level two emotes. So now we jump from an average of 75 points to 59, so 60 oh, points. Damn. Okay. It's a, it's a decent a... jump up from wow. yeah. Fuck those wow. so Those were the games that we did <laughs> not enjoy. They Surprisingly, did not do though, well. um, next game, Australia. Uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of disappointed. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have a lot to say about this. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, right. Where did you rank I this game, Reese? Uh, so on my list, I think it's in my bottom five. I think bottom three from what I'm checking. Uh, let me... Reese is the nerd that brought his homework with him. Yeah, 50th uh, out of 52? Yeah. My uh, dog yeah. ate mine. You, you, you and I both rated it. I didn't it do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I bought this game Damn. in 2018, 2019 at a PAX. Um, I really love Cthulhu and Cthulhu themed things. And I thought like, oh, it's a fucking... No, I didn't get it at PAX. I got it over here. Don't worry about that. I lied. I lied to your faces. Uh, but, like, I bought I bought Australia because I've, like, been wanting it for a while, got it, and then, like, we played it, and it just... Such a letdown. Such I a letdown. I do really want to play it on the other side of the board. Yeah. 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 So, not- notably, like, I think this is the ranking for the Western Australian side of the board, and we had never played it before. I think that there's some cool mechanics for this game, like the whole time ticking down. Yeah. And I think that the Eastern States board would probably level and even things out a bit more. Because mm. we got to a point where we were just like, uh, we're done with the game before the game was even finished. And we just had to wa- like wait it out. Basically. So the, four the fact that... Five hour mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, was at the four, that was at the three the, hour mark. The fact oh, that it was yeah. fully co-op, except it wasn't. Yeah. Mm. So that I, there was no reason for me... Like, I had to fight Cthulhu on yeah. my own because none of you were close enough. Yeah. And then if I didn't fight him, we'd all lose... So, of course, I had to fight him. Yeah, but then all of you could come in and do one point of damage and get and just as many points. Share the me. points. Yeah. yeah. Cthulhu. Oh, yeah. Cthulhu. All right. <laughs> next. No. Next game. Yeah. Next up. This one was a little bit surprising, but I think it's more just the fact that we found there were better games. Uh, still a decent jump, so up from 59 points to 52. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jaws. Oh, here it is. Nice. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, most, most people who played it rated it. <laughs> Uh, I think this game suffered mostly from the fact that most of us didn't play it. Mm. Um, only, yeah. I believe, me, Lachlan, like and Reese played it because we had a friend over on stream to uh, play it with us. Jimmy played it. Oh, uh, no. Moron. No, Moron, Moron, Moron played yeah. it. Jimmy, Jimmy uh, put it up to vote. Lent- um, I don't think it's a bad game. I, I think this is a solid 6 out of 10, a really great yeah. intro game. It's just, once again, I prefer to play something else. Yeah, uh, this game didn't offend me. No. Um, it was just what it was. Um, we had fun. And I think there's cool concepts there. And I'd say, if you want, if you want to give it a go, give it a go. But yeah, there's nothing to be like. There's a lot of better yeah. games. I, I will say, uh, Lachlan and Reese both rated it around the same, like 25 and 27. Mm-hmm. I rated it 44, and that will have. I think my votes have a little bit more influence on these games, simply because there's only three games that yeah. I didn't play, mm-hmm. so a whole lot more numbers are yeah. filled in on my mm-hmm. sheet. Yeah, that's um, so the way the average works. Yeah, I mean, did not play is kind of balance that out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was a good game. It's good because it was like a movie-based game, and it was still pretty good for a movie-themed game, right? We've played Die Hard, we've played Jaws. There's something else that we've played as well, which is movie-themed. June. We've played. June. Oh, we've yeah, played some June, June games. Yeah, yeah. Cool. and then like even Spartacus, for example. Yeah. So we've played yeah. some franchise games. And I will say, uh, and this, Jaws is Prospero Hall, who are the best at franchise games. And yes. like, it functioned perfectly well as a game, and it's enjoyable from start to finish, same as Die Hard is. It's just that it's like, as a game goes, you'd play it once and go, that was fucking rad, loved it. Yeah. Would I play it again? I Probably think not. you guys said it best 
on that stream when I was mm -hmm. watching it. The, the Jaws and um, Die Hard fit a great niche of someone who of introducing someone who's not into board games mm. but is into Jaws yeah. or into yeah. but like you know if you want to go to your dad for argument's sake and say mm. hey dad you're not into board games but yeah. boy do you love Jaws let's mm. play Jaws do you, you want to yeah. be right? the shark like, like, like it's, you, cool. it's, it's great it tells it's, it's, uh, like that is a solid 6 out of 10 and games. It is like I would, I would recommend that to people games that any like day of the week grab. that's it like when you go into like Target or someone you're like hey look there's like the fucking franchise and it's now a board game for some yeah. reason yeah. Yeah. whereas it's like you could actually be <coughs> like speed. actually yeah. a good it game it wasn't like right? Jaws Monopoly Fast it was, a, it was yeah. a custom game same thing. to fit the theme to so so well you, you guys are joking about that same. but it's all made by the same company yeah yeah once again similar with um Whatever we said before. Um, Australia. It's, 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 it's oh. a good introduction game. Uh, Red Dragon, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It's it, a good introduction game aiming at a different target. Yep. Uh, a, a, a different audience. Once again, we're coming at it from people who play board games regularly, play on the internet. Wait, what? Uh, give commentary on board <laughs> what? games. What is a board game? <laughs> yes. Is that the same as a tabletop game? Uh, it's Monopoly. Um, <laughs> you mean Snake? <laughs> and, and, uh, and I think if if it was different, if this was our first year and we'd never played board games before, Jaws would be like, what a fucking fantastic game. Whoa. You can oh, hide yeah. information yeah. and move around secretly. Like it's... But, mm. to, our, to experienced people, like half the people watching here, I'm sure you've played a board game before. Um, <laughs> Letters from Whitechapel, Fury of Dracula, you know, Monopoly. There yeah. are games that do it better. This is just a good way to get someone in. This exactly. is a very reliable game to get people into board games. Credit to the game for being a franchise game and being good. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Right. Yep. All right, so. moving on. So from 52 points up to 48, at this point we start. Start getting things a little bit closer together. Uh, Bristol, 13, 1386, 1395. I can't remember the exact uh, name. Uh, of the game. Black 2021. Black <laughs> <laughs> Bristol 2021. Uh, once again, a game that I think suffered because did not yep. played by a lot of people. Yeah. Um, it's another game in the Old dark people forgot that they played it. Oh, yep. yeah. um, I may have not rated the game because I might have forgotten I played it. <laughs> You Billy know came what? in and goes, what's Bristol? And Reese and I go, you played Bristol with us! <laughs> I played it multiple times. That's the worst Yeah. Maybe you just repressed it from your memory. <laughs> but does that not It's speak? a pretty good game. Do, do you want to give me a rating for it? I can re-rank everything no, right now. It's, it's fine. Just give it's me a number fine. between game 1 and 50, yeah. Billy. It's fine. I, I don't want to change it now. <laughs> to be fair, that happened with me with something on this list. Tom yeah. was like, you, you play you, this give, game. Give me, give me a vote, Billy. Give me, give me a number. No. Nah, give me, too late. No, too late. late. All right, Bristol's Brist a really solid game. The Dark, the Dark City games are great. I, I'd recommend them just about anyone. I think Tortuga is still my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, controversial opinion. Contro controversial really? Well, not opinion. to me. I know someone here hates it, but what's that? Uh, <laughs> Tortuga. Oh, yeah, to no, to we'll to get to that. To <laughs> to <laughs> is Tortuga on the list? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah Tortuga is on the list. Like Bristol, 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 I do really yeah. want to try Bristol with the full nine players. Like, Can you just check down. my yeah. list for Bristol? How many uh, of us played five? Bristol? Was it I think five or six of us? Uh, no. Yeah. Was okay, four. close though, right? Was it four? Yeah, it was four. Was it us three and Tom? Pretty close. Pretty close. You could have rated it lower if you wanted. Or maybe five. I could have sworn we had five. I thought I could have at least I remember we played it. I don't yeah. remember how many people we played it with. Yeah. I, I, I enjoyed cool. it. It was a yeah. very cool... I haven't seen another game with that kind of mechanic where it's like snakes and ladders or something where you're just like moving spaces along a board, but the fact that you can jump back and forth between... Yeah. I haven't seen anything else that does... And the fact that it's like... That it's, a, it's a hidden agenda game, but it's hidden agenda not against what everyone. It's only against the people on your cart. Yeah, I, I think, I think it was a really interesting... <laughs> yeah, no, you and me are sitting over here like... Thanks. You know, and, and it had that same... I, it had that hidden roll thing that I enjoy, but was cool because yeah. the risk gets higher throughout the game as you're mingling, I think was the term. I think it, mm. it did a really good job of like always being interesting, you know, like what's going to happen. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. Mattered. Every but choice it also, mattered. Yeah. It kind of just lacked depth. Like, I feel like once yeah. you've played the game four or five times, it'll be like, ah. Uh, cool. Damn it, man! Yeah. I want to play this game, and you're like, totally I'm keen. Not I'm keen. Hey, players, yeah. let's go. I think all it's right, great. Everybody, clear I just the don't table. Think it has yeah. a uh, longevity. Okay. Yeah, I think it reveals all of its tricks in the first two or three plays. Okay. And because the game is so quick, you, like I think it's like what 15 minutes to half hour. Yeah. Um, once you get through those three plays, you can go. Well, I never have to play this. It game. is far better than Tortuga. 
Controversial Ooh, opinion. I disagree. Oh. But <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. I'd play you know it. what? You're allowed to sit here with your dumb opinions, really. <laughs> <laughs> and Lachlan. <laughs> Look, that's why we're here. To share our dumb that's opinions. That's it. Uh, I reckon Tortuga will get top. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Best so moving up. Uh, so another huge jump down now, things are getting much closer. Yep. Uh, so this is what? One, two, three, four, five. I need Seven. to make numbers. Yeah, just Give check numbers, numbers on the side, man. Yeah, check numbers, numbers on the side. So then we can know what position <laughs> we're in. <laughs> Wouldn't you just look at the cell and know that it's like just one or two less I, than I could, but then it, it's, it's like two <laughs> less, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> be the next one along, so surely yeah. it's 45 or something, right? Now let, let Dude, you said 52 minus out. 6, and my brain just switched off. Yeah, 46. 46th place. 46th place. We have. 46th place with 47 points, so you know. Uh, averaging out. Yep. Uh, surrealist dinner party. Uh, hey. I thought that one might be yeah. played. This was, this was a fun game. It was a decent game. I like the mechanics of getting all the little bits of food and the mm. different ways that you were scoring points. Um, the different cards that came up to give you different abilities and different ways to mess with people. Mm -hmm. uh, it was all super interesting. I just don't know how often I'd play it. Yeah, the theme never really clicked with me. I love the art, but I get what you mean. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not into super surrealist stuff. And the, the the dinner party part of it was cool. Was cool. Was very cool. Yeah. Um like, I don't know any of the surrealist artists. It was yeah. just like, look it's Dolly. Who's that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then they had abilities and I don't know if the abilities linked up with their art styles. Uh, mm. I think it was just a very abstract concept. Yeah. And then we were just like Oh, that's a cool game. Did well, it was. Uh, like, it was like it was such an abstract idea of a board game, and it kind of worked. And it was just like this is interesting. We're we're playing a dinner party. That is literally what we're playing. And it was just nothing else that we have played this year was like this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was nothing unique. Was it was like this game, and it was yeah. good. It, it just like. I, what would we play? We'd play lots of things yeah, over. And I don't know where I'd pull it out. I don't know where I'd go. Like, what situation would I be in to be like, we need to play Surrealist Dinner Party? Like, yeah, what are we feeling? Art students, I guess. I Sur Surrealist Dinner Party. Like, <laughs> I, don't know. Yeah. I think I remember I, playing I Surrealist Dinner Party, and it took me about 30 minutes to really get what the hell I had in my hand. Yeah. And, like, the art was great and everything, but like to actually play the game, it took me a while to really. Because, yeah. you know, I'm a little dumb, so. Like, I'd like, to, I'd like to play it again when I kind of know what I'm in for. But yeah, yeah. I, think, I had fun though. I think even then you've kind of hit the nail on the head. Like, it wasn't a bad game, but what everybody said here is that there were just other things they'd play in front of it. So you want to play it again so you can kind of get a better idea of mm. it, but you probably still want to play like Stardew Valley first. Yeah, exactly. So. I think Boy, Down the bottom you go! I think play Surrealist Dinner Party, middle of the year. Yeah, we had some issues with that stream, and it just yeah, never. Yeah, because that was we, the same we stream as Phantom Inc. as well. Which we, yeah, is... and we lost the we lost the stream. Twi yeah. something happened with Twitch. I don't it was know. Weird. Yeah, it was an auto. Um, next up, this one surprised me a little bit. Uh, Forty-four points. Originally, we rated this a lot higher. Winter's Queen. Okay. Uh, nice. I think I may have had something to do. I with think that. this should uh, be no, you, you not higher. I think I would have helped with that too. Yeah. Wow. You, you, you rated it about about. Average 30s, but once again, I rated it about 40 because there were just ah, other games I would play. Is all so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, like lots of people like as all. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So talk, talk about talk I about a little it, Winter's I Queen. Fairly high. I think Winter's Queen uh, at 21 for me, which is yeah. I mean above halfway. I guess. Did anyone put? put Anyone put it above Azul? Yes. Though? No, I, I put, put Azul. I, I put it above Azul. I, I put Azul above it. Azul wins. I've never played it. Um, because I've played this game a couple of times now, I'll actually say something. For me, the board is just too small for me to feel like I got a full game out of it. Mm -hmm. Like, because the idea is that it's like area control in such a way so that you can activate effects that you collect on in front of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is probably the best way to describe it, but it's just it's just too small for me. It's like, I feel like you do three turns in and then you're like, oh, well. Yeah. Not, not enough going on. I guess I could put something over here, but I'm really trying to get this to work over here. So it just. It's a solid little family way game where yeah. you, you, there's never any really bad decisions. But to me, it just doesn't have the same combo building power as Azul or. It's not as uh, satisfying. Yeah, it's not oh, as satisfying. Well, bloody legend. I would say it's Real better Mackay. than Azul. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's better than Azul. Mackay. Thank you for the, the theme. The theme is not as good as Azul. Azul is way more thematic. But there's more variables with Winter Queen, which I think there's more replay value than there is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. And that's like the two comparable games. If you have never played Winter's Queen, it's very similar to Azul. It's just there's, I feel like very there's more way. variable, more yeah. variables to it than what Azul has. So yeah. I mean, Azul's the only theme kind of in one 
way. I mean, you've got, I guess, mm. horizontal and vertical, mm. but Winter's Queen is more strategy mm -hmm. in the scoring and the combo making, I think. Yeah, I, I would. The only reason I'd recommend Azul before this is like, I reckon you have more appreciation for this. Oh, hold on, blasting. Uh, <laughs> the drums. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel. Um, <laughs> uh, if you've played Azul, mm -hmm. I think you'll love this game. If you haven't played Azul and you've never played a game like it, I don't think you'll like it. Um, I will say this does it better than a lot of the like sequels to Azul because there's like three Azul mm -hmm. games and then not as good as the base Azul. Yeah, I think um, I had issues with Summer Pavilion. Yeah, so I would recommend this before the other Azul games. But yeah, that's why I was like, ah, oh, Azul's still a classic. Dude. How, how, how to discuss this game. Just compare it directly to Azul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, the, the, the... it's Azul, but not. <laughs> it's well, not. Okay, I will here's... point out, you're the first one that compared it to Azul when you're like, I was hoping Azul was going to lose to it. Oh, yeah. man, I was. I, started... was I think the most accurate comparison, I think, mm -hmm. is, I think is this to Azul. Wait, Waiting-wise, yeah. waiting wise, mechanically, yep. similar. I don't know if you have to own both, but if I was going to own one of them, I think I'd own Winter's Queen. Because I think it would get more replayability because there's the variation on the score. Mm. The, the score is more variable than Azul. But anyway, on to the next. Classic. Next game. All right. Uh, trying to think of words to say for this game, but I think it basically falls into everything that everyone has just said. Calico with 39.7 points. Oh, yeah. That was a fun little game. Yep. Yeah. It was cats. cats. Yeah, it was cute. Ah. It was it was very simple and it was very cats. This so. one will always have a special place in my heart because I own this game. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's sitting here, but it's actually mine. I got it for Christmas. Yeah. Well, it was, I'm it was cat weird. finding. It was a like a scoring with the best sort of like foresight and, I, and placement and things. It was it was fun enough. But I, I will say I was pleasantly surprised by this game. Okay. Yeah. Finish yeah. what you were saying. You put it you put it in your top twenty. Yeah. Um, um it's, it's, it's it was all... either top 20 or top 30, but unfortunately, once again, suffers because it wasn't quite good enough for us to tell, be like, oh, we have to bring this out and have other people play it. Mm. Yeah. So it's like, oh, if you're looking for yeah. this kind of game, yeah, this will fit that niche, but it's yeah. not going to be, oh, we, we really want to play this game. Yeah. We need it was, to check this it was out. A, it was a tie game. I think the only thing that brings it down is that it's not phenomenal. It doesn't yeah. like break any boundaries or anything. So and it's not just... many people played it, I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, I don't every, think every time I anything. was getting the chance to play it, we played something else like Land vs. Sea, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or we played Lost Ruins of Arnak, and it was like, it was in the uh, stack of board games, and I was like, I haven't played Calico yet, I have to play it so then I can rank it for the ranking list, and then never got yeah, it to the table because it just it. didn't make its way to the top of being like, you yeah, need, you to, need play to play these this. other games first. Yeah, but, but it, it was cute because like all of the cats in the game were the developers' cats. Yeah, yeah so like a little, cute. Little compendium cute. at the back of the rule book of all the cats. Yeah, uh, it's a cute game. I think my ma main uh, takeaway from it was like it's not offensive, and that's all yeah. I had to say about it. So that was like it never quite it got like yeah. so brain busting that you're like I need to play this again to figure out how I can do better. Yeah. Well, I mean it's probably another like family weight game because yes. it's about 100%. like matching patterns, making yeah. shapes, getting things right in such a way so that you collect cats and therefore and points. I, I, I think with a lot of the games uh, from this point to sort of about halfway, you'll find uh, good introduction games, just not for us. Yeah. Like, I think that's what the next few are going to be. Yeah, this is a solid 7 out of 10 game. Yeah, yeah. Like, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Hey, you know someone who likes cats, wants to get into board games? Calico, there you go. Yeah, like, that's, perfect. you know. Like, this was given to me by someone who doesn't know board games, but knows I like cats. Yeah. Well, doesn't know good board games, but knows I like cats. So she was like, <laughs> board games, cats, Calico? Give yeah. Christmas. It's, 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 it's like when yeah, you're a kid yeah, and your parents buy you, like, a video game and they know nothing about video games and they're like, oh. you like the... What's that golf game from The Simpsons? Yeah, you, yeah, you like The Simpsons? Here's Lee Carvello's yeah. putting challenge. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. like, oh, thanks. So Thank, you so much. Much. Thank you, Harley. <laughs> thanks, Harley. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Harley. Bye. Bye. Thank you so, for hanging out. Someone next up, we get our first. For work. You good? Back? You got your words? Yeah. Sorry, I was wondering yeah. if you had anything no, no. to say about Calico. No, no, no. I'm All right, sweet. Uh, first controversial game uh -oh. of the day. Ooh. Ooh. Battle Scar. Uh, 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 someone's top ten and someone's bottom five. It's Ooh. Battle yeah, Star. It's not. It's, it's Hidden Leaders. Room service. Oh. Oh. 
Actually, no, that's fair. Broom service was in my bottom five, too. Oh. 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 Yeah, no, it, it, it is just your bottom well, five. Well, you'd better start with a slam dunk. Oh. Why was it bad? I just, I just didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's all there is to it. Like, I did my list by going, what do I want to play? Do I want to play this? Do I want to play that? And there were some that I looked at them and I was like, I don't want to play this. And they did, went down the bottom. Did yeah. this not win? Like, it won Spill the Hours. Spill the Hours? I'm yep. allowed to hate good games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Billy does. Why can't you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Billy. <laughs> Bravo! I had to do Bravo! It. That was. Uh, I don't have a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> so you better get him on the defenses. Uh, <laughs> just true. Uh, uh, hey, Jack like, Clark. So. Sorry, I, yeah, it I've just it. it just didn't click for me. And once again, it's toughest because people didn't play it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I just are. I missed. I missed didn't it play. and didn't get a chance to play it. I wanted to play it, but it was apparently very decisive. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I rated it 17. Um, Brie rated it in her top 10. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a, it's a, I thought it, it was a really solid little Euro. I understand why it wants to build Yara's at the time. Yes. It, it has not aged well. I think that's the thing. It has not aged well. Gotcha. Yeah. It's like, it's like it was that start slightly... of Euros starting to like figure things out and push the oh, envelope a little bit. I haven't yeah. seen anything about the game. What? What's it's, the, it's what a pick up and deliver to? game. Um, Probably Istanbul, but without the... No, no, right. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Bottom five. Put it in the bottom five. I didn't yes. play. Can we put it below me? <laughs> um, was, was six years enough of a difference? Like, so at once there has been a, 2015. Well, compare, like... Uh, did you play Broom Service with us? No. No. Well, compare, like, Istanbul to Scythe to Gaia Projects. Like, that okay, jump yeah. in complexity while keeping things meshing. Like, um, I'm trying it, yeah. to remember... Like, that's the other thing. Like, I can't even really remember how the game played. I just remember that I just... I just it didn't... I wasn't a fan you, of you, it. You lay out your cards. You can choose to try and be lucky if no one else played the same card as you. Um, so uh, there's a little bit of, like, player interaction and... Yeah. Bluffing. yeah. All you're saying is that instead of playing Broom Service, just play Quack. <laughs> and that could have been it, like as well as like a push your luck game. I'm always going to go for something like Quacks. I yeah. love Quacks. I want to own Quacks. I love Quacks. Quacks hates me. <laughs> I have never had a good game of Quacks, but I still enjoy it. Yeah. But I mean, like that's me in Lost yeah. Ruins of Arnak. I don't think I've ever won a game. How great! You've literally won on stream. <laughs> on except, we on stream. except for the game that we played on stream. But that's because I lost so many more games before that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. That's a sign of a good game, but we'll come back to Lost yep. Friends later. Yeah, uh, uh, nice just side tangent. Um, we were going to talk. Oh, door shut. Uh, we were going to, like we had thrown around doing a series like a while ago where we we're going to look back at the Spilda Yares games and see how they've aged. And and uh, Tom, you are. Stop looking at me. I'm looking at you. Get behind the camera. Uh, we we were going to do uh, a uh, series of. Uh, like, ah, oh, we'll look at these Spill Yaros games and see how they age. Because there were some that aged well, some that didn't age well. And I think, yeah, you know, as time goes on, as man uh, mechanics improve and, and gameplay improves, some of these games just fall to the wayside because mm. they did it good at the time because no one else was doing it. Now everyone's doing it and they're not doing it as well. And, and I think that's where Broom Service and, ga and games do just go, that mechanic's cool, I'm going to take it. Yeah. Take yeah. it and run. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, speaking of old games, games get better. Games do get better. Yes. So that was thirty nine point three. This is thirty nine point zero five. Ooh. Ooh. Time. Time. I said old games. Anyone want to take a guess? Oh, old I've games. already picked up Fury of Dracula because it's twenty fifteen. Uh, all of mine are like above twenty fifteen, except for five tribes. Pokemon, which is trash. Pokemon Master Trainer. Oh, hey. Nineteen ninety nine. Honestly, surprised this got so high. I'm I, surprised. I am too. I, I'm not. <laughs> I think because you left it off the list until this morning. <laughs> Shut up! You weren't going to tell me about that. The list is perfect in every way. I woke up to a message saying, "Oh God, I forgot Pokemon." <laughs> yeah. And then it was like, I was like, "Well, it's not in my bottom five, so I don't hate it." Well, yeah, you, you rated it forty-six. Uh, I rated it thirty-six, I believe. I said twenty-five. <laughs> I think mine was 20. Yeah. I didn't So there's a couple of people who really enjoyed this game. I, yeah. Chris? Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I, I would like play it. this again, not because it's a good game, because it's Pokemon. Yeah. Bro, it's this and, year's atmosphere, right? Uh, like, <laughs> yeah. <it's> just, <laughs> uh, guys, I would like to invite you over and we can watch the first season of Pokemon and we can open some beers and play Pokemon Master Trainer. Hell and yeah. that would be the peak 
Pokemon Master. Honestly, I'd be so down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'd be so down. I think there and are... that would what make the game good. There Not is so much itself. love for this game that people have like you can be like, alright, here's all the Gen 3 Pokemon. Here's like rules to make it better for yeah. the uh, fights yeah. being more fun. I, I think it is a the art's really cool because it's just Pokemon argument but in, a little bit. In defense of Pokemon Master Trainer, <laughs> there are a couple of things I want to mention. Number one, it's a 22-year-old board game. <laughs> it is it is the boomer of all of these it's games. It's literally Monopoly. I was your master trainer. Second point, it is a children's game. It is, it is for children who like Pokemon. It's not for complex Eurogame strategists. <laughs> It is a simple game that delivers on what it promises. Chris, yeah, I but yeah, defend this game. You're not selling it to me, man. Chris is just like, you got to remember, it's old and for children. So fuck all these other games that I need. It should be up here. Third point: despite being old and for children, I somehow still really was charmed by this game. It was so much it was, fun. It was fun like, to play. So fun. It wasn't a good game. It was fun Chris, to play. Chris, yeah. no one was saying it, like such a laugh, and no one was saying. It was bad. <laughs> I mean, it was I mean, the atmosphere. It. it was the atmosphere Dude, uh, of this year. Gary and his Arcanine beat the shit out of you. That's why you didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us had a perfectly good time. <laughs> Nostalgic trip down memory lane. Nah, nah, nah worst of moon rankers. Fuck it all. <laughs> <laughs> Nostalgia can, can carry them on away. I, I want to play it. I'm not playing it. We're not I, I would play it. Shut up. I thought I'd turn that off. Someone you, hadn't played it. Have you played it even when you were a kid, though? No, oh, I, don't, I don't think so. Never at all. Yeah, never played it. No. Oh. See, it's my, it's my game, that. so I have I have played it. Yeah. Guys, oh. we're playing Doom Betrayal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Right. We'll get to Doom Betrayal, I think, to say. So now we take a little bit of a jump. So that was 39 <laughs> points. That was, that was we, we jump up to 34.5, and from here on out, the, the gaps get ever so smaller. Oh, really? uh, this is like getting into the real minutia, and like one person didn't like this game, or everyone rated it exactly at this level. Um, you know, that full democratic experience. A Kickstarter game from this year, Hidden Leaders. Ooh. Oh, okay. I really like this game. I know Lachlan didn't, so you can get in first. <laughs> nope. uh, I honestly thought it was going to be lower because I thought that I wasn't going to be the only one who voted in my bottom five. Anyone else voted in my bottom, bottom five? Bottom five. Bottom five. Ooh. Bottom five. Okay. Uh, bottom did Peters, not we, like this Team Power game. Bottoms. Did right. not like this game. It was, was like third Tom bottom. was like, "You guys, third bottom. you just didn't. Oh. We did, it just didn't work. This game didn't work. This round. We'll, we'll try it again later." I'm like, "If it didn't work this round, and we played it twice or three times in one sitting, so I you, don't think it's ever gonna work." You guys played it at six players, which means every single team is in the game, and all the extra cards, I think, unbalance a little bit. At four players, where there's a little bit of uncertainty, you don't know who's gonna be on what team. It's a whole lot more fun. So my issue was the game never gave me a reason to try it at four play players. It's fair. The first time I played it, I disliked it so much that I was like, I don't think I'll like this game regardless of how many people I play. It's not going to drastically change. It is it is what it is. It's not for me. Yeah. I didn't rate it especially <laughs> high. And basically what it came down to is this is a hidden agenda game where there's more going on than just your agenda. You've yeah. actually got moves to make and things to do. And other games on the list that we'll get to are that but better. Betrayal! I really, I really liked the, uh, like the tug of war kind of mechanic that it had going on. I thought that was a really cool way of measuring the influence. And I liked it. You know, one team's trying to get here, one team's trying to get to the one one team's trying to get to each end of the scale, and the other team's trying to land in the centre. I thought that was a really cool way of you know measuring who's winning. But I, don't, I, I agree. I don't think it ever got off the ground. Yeah, uh, the tone war mechanic so was kind of cool. I'm was not cool concept. sure. Didn't it work. was a little while since we played. I'm not sure what specific criticisms I had at the time. I, I just yeah. feel like there was something, there was something lacking. To take that game from being a so cool concept. To what I'm hearing, game. Kai, is that you didn't you didn't think it was a bad game. You just didn't like it. Get off my ass! <laughs> I, I, I was not on the ass. <laughs> Chris, you put this in your top ten. Yeah. Oh wait, what? Really? Oh, okay. I want to. Uh, I was going to be like, right. I, would like to to okay. <laughs> I would like to oh, hear something. I would like to hear that before. Well, I... The first thing to appeal to Billy is that it's, it's a not children's exactly... game. <laughs> 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 it's 
it's not exactly a like a team game. Sure, there are teams, but everyone's your enemy. You so would that, think yeah, that. Uh, you yeah, would okay. think that. I did play with only four players. It was a lot more interesting. I found that if you were on green team and everyone else was on red team, you had a bad time. There's nothing you could do about it. So the game was very punishing. But it was still, I don't know, I just, I like games more, like, favorably, just mm-hmm. just because. And yeah, like, okay. people I played with were fun as well. So. Solid 7 out of 10 game. Mm. Chris is too nice of a no, person to be No, like it's this not game. a solid 7 out of 10 Alex game. Alex says it is. <laughs> that's no, it, that's not a 7 out of 10 Billy game. Speak. <laughs> Billy has words. It was my yeah, yeah. third worst rated game. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> was it? Power of game. It sure was. <laughs> It sure was. Right. What? They're getting more excited about the games uh, they didn't like than the ones they did. <laughs> the, yeah, I know. The problem yes, I had with the game the is that, like, so vengeful. you kept playing the game, you kept playing the game, and the game ended and you didn't have fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's I'm, completely subjective then. I just... <laughs> that that is exactly it. You had little moments where you were about to be like, "Ooh, maybe something cool is about to happen," and uh, yeah, nothing like really quite happened, and then the game was over. And it's just there were no other games on the list that I played, except for two that I was like, yeah. I would play this before those games. Like, I just, I think, Kai, I just wouldn't play it again. I made a pretty good point because, like, the tug of war is interesting. It's an interesting mm. mechanic, right? But perhaps the game didn't execute it. In yeah. a good way or mm-hmm. in a way that Tug of War mechanic was like the coolest part about mm. that game. And I don't think it did it well. Because okay, every game enough. that we played, it was always shifted <clears throat> one direction. And yeah. it was just like, there's nothing you can do. Even if there are six people, you're too fucking bad. Like yeah. tough titties. Every single game we played. So fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, the next game's kind of interesting simply because its score is 33.33 repeating. Uh, uh, I think that's <laughs> hilarious. Nice. Uh, so in 40th place, once again, a solid 7 out of 10 game according nah, to this list. I hate that. I'm saying it now. I hate that. <laughs> what? It's, this 7 out of 10 should not be on the bottom of the board. <laughs> yeah. We played a lot of good yeah, games. Look at all yeah. the tens we played. <laughs> yeah, dude. This, this isn't. This list isn't one to ten. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are the games we played this 75. year. Well, spoiler yeah. alert: we only play games we want to play. Yeah. Uh, five tribes. No! Fuck this game. No way. <laughs> this game is Fuck a horrible game. game. The camel it rode in on. <laughs> this is all right. Uh, let's shit on games. Fuck this game. Bad game. Badly designed game. I hate it. This insults my intelligence. It is the lowest on my on my list. It is You are without doubt the worst part of that. I oh my hate God. I hate this game. Right? That's like you with this Wait, game. Like wait, wait this game. I think you're being a little so you don't like five. Fuck this game! Wow. I don't get Istanbul. It's it's my Istanbul. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so what's really interesting to me is, apart from Reese, who put it at the bottom, uh, it, I think it this is broke my top ten. Kai, <laughs> it's such a good game. It's so good. No. Did it? You put it. Well. You put it in. Tw- uh, no, no. So that's that is you. Um, so I rated at twenty four. Chris rated at twenty three. Beck rated twenty three, and Kai rated at twenty four. Twelfth. Yeah. Yeah. Billy rated at fourteen. Bear in mind, Tom added oh, sorry, a bunch of games this morning. Yeah, Chris didn't play it. So you rated like, 24. Okay. So the rest of us put this at a solid, like, 8 out of 10 game. <laughs> solid, like, 8 out of half. I don't know if I'd give yeah. it an 8. I think it's like a. You put it on 24 six? out of the list. It's yeah, pretty hard. We haven't no, played so, many twos. But, <laughs> but, but, there, there are, like, three different ranking systems in play here. Because yeah. the way yeah. I did my list was I want to play this. Yeah. Then I want to play this. Yeah. Then I want to play that. Uh-huh. And there are right. no the, numbers involved. That's how the Next list works. Out of ten, just rank it so, out of ten. So, so we'll this was it. this was forty, right? So everything from there is forty on. Like, yeah. yeah, forty up. So then this section we'll look at is the thirties, right? Yeah. All yeah. right. And we're gonna break it into our. Yeah, and this is. I, I would agree with you, except this section from thirty to nineteen is like twenty games. Yeah, nice. But this is where it gets tight. <laughs> but uh, final thoughts on Five Tribes. I love it. I, I, I love I, Five Tribes. I, I, ju- I just want to, other than the comedy, haha, Rick's angry at games. Um, <laughs> I'm games. horrible at Five Tribes. I it might have something to do with my vision because I just look at the board and it just it looks like dyslexia. Um, <laughs> it looks like dyslexia. It, it, it's cleanup simulator. And then, <laughs> so I can't see the strategy. And it's because there is none. It gets to the point where I feel like the game is insulting my intelligence. Mm. And Moonrakers would have been the bottom, and I would have left five times because I didn't play it this year. But then Tom was like, oh, but you've played it before. And yeah. I'm like, okay, bottom of the list. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so I cannot, in good conscience, recommend Five Tribes to anyone. I can. Five Tribes is great. Yeah, You're finding Five the Tribes best move great. at the time. I... There's a little bit of indirect player interaction, and then some direct I... player interaction if you want to play that strategy. Bruno I enjoy that knows game. how to make a good. Bruno game. knows how to make good games. He does know how to make good games. I have played good games of him. Five Tribes is not a good game. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I haven't played Five Tribes in. A heart man. Probably like two years. Yeah. But I remember having a lot of fun with it at the time. <clears throat> I don't... I can't think of any reason to, to hate it. If we, if we get a chance, nice, but we need fair. to jump on Tabletop Sim and play yeah, with the expansions. Because the expansions time. are uh, bangers. Okay. Imagine the problems Reese has where you don't know where to move stuff and suddenly there's mountains in the way that stop you from moving. All, 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 <laughs> all, all I'm saying is, if you leave the box unattended in my house... I would not touch that box. So, again. Billy rated it the highest out of everyone. Gonna, I did. Yeah. Everyone else had like pretty good shit in that We were just house. like, <laughs> yes, good game, good game, good game, everyone, good game. Sorry, Don't worry, uh, Be- Billy. Billy has something to say. Sorry, okay. Beck, Beck. I was going to say, like, I'm like I'm halfway in between all of you guys and Reese. Like it's like you can sometimes have a good game, or sometimes you can just get stumped by Tom playing assassins, and that's the only experience I've had with it. <laughs> like well, so Tom that has like, one strategy for this game, and it's assassins. So that seems like it's not the game's fault; it's Tom's fault that like, you hate the game. <laughs> like, and I've played it on my like I don't know if I have played it with anyone else but Tom. It's just like it's just for me. I think I fall in the same category as Reese. It's like I do like it. But I like punishing games. Same kind of sc- I don't like it at all. <laughs> no, I mean like what I mean is like well, we're not the same. No, same category is in like I don't get it because I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah. Billy, you like this game. <laughs> Five Tribes is an amazing game. Anyone collecting board games and liking board games, you should have this in your collection. Uh, it is a fantastic game. The only reason it's not higher on my list is because I've played it too much. Yeah. Anyway. That is literally it. I, I would rather yeah. spend $1,000 on the three Resident Evil board games that, that you don't play. That I don't play <laughs> and have done wow. uh, than that buy Five much. Tribes. You know what? <laughs> Every time I see Five Tribes in the shop, I'm just like, oh. Don't need to worry about buying this piece of shit. Right, uh, last last note on it is that Bruno Cathala knows how to make a good game, yeah. and we played a bunch of his games. He's sort of like one of the most, most prominent uh, yeah. developers that we played, and we're always like, "Fuck yeah, Bruno Cathala made this game. Get it in us. Yeah. Get that game on the table." Yeah, yeah. It's so, the same with um, uh, no, um, uh, Magic Creator. Richard Garfield. Richard Garfield, right? We'd be like, oh, Richard Garfield made this game. Yeah, right, you whoop. guys, yeah. like, you guys had a hard on for Robo Rally, oh, and I hate I that game. I still have a hard on for Robo Rally. What a bad game. What a good game. What a bad game. You know what? Buy Robo Rally instead of Five yeah. Tribes. What All right, right let's move way. on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> simply because I know this game is also going to be controversial, oh. it was once again in someone's top 10 and in someone's bottom five. Oh, 31.8 points in 39th place. Fury of Dracula. Oh, wow. Billy. Wow. Who I'm takes the vote? <laughs> didn't play it. it didn't went, play it. I, I, I it, was high. Okay. it wasn't in my bottom five, but it was low on my list. Uh, my eighth. I my eighth. can't oh, imagine it. It was, was in Dex's bottom five. <laughs> yep. All right, because oh. you played Dracula. Didn't yes, because I played that Dracula. Been funny. Very and I think that decision. is what yeah. the, the problem we had at the time. It can. Yeah. There are some games that are really fun for Dracula to play, and there are some games that are really fun for the hunters to play. But it's so rare to find a game that it's equal and fair for both, which is really hard when that game can take like three hours. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I really loved that. I used to love that game, and the more I've played it, the more I've gone. I don't know how often I'd pull it out. Yeah. Uh, it was in my bottom quarter. Yeah. Same. Um, because for an asymmetrical game, there's better options. Uh, I love the hidden movement. I love the hidden movement, and it, and it was <sighs> like one of the first games oh. to make a big game out of that that I, that I can think of. Yeah, apparently. But I think it was improved upon with Letters from White Chapel, which has apparently and been improved upon again with uh, Whitehall uh, Detective or whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, I think I want a quicker... I, yes. I want a game that is somewhere like between Fury of Dracula and Jaws. Yeah. I want that hidden movement, but I want it to be quick. It's too long. It's too weighted towards Dracula at the start. It's too easy for Dracula to get a head start, and half the games go on before you're even on the trail. Yeah, um, which is what happened when we played. when we played it. I think Beck said it best that the you know there's there's. Only once you do get on the trail of Dracula, which can take a while, then there's only one right way to play, and then it's not a cooperative game anymore. Yeah. Because there's only one correct. Everyone has mm, to do the correct like thing. Like a salt game. And even then, you know, it's... Yeah, Chris said it. Once, once, you, once you hit that point, it's a solved game, and I don't find those fun. 
-hmm. Like the second that you've got like someone sitting next to you that's like, you can't do anything else except go here, do this, heal, then sleep, then find stuff, and then that's all you can do. You're just sitting there like, okay. Mm. Okay. That's why I don't like co-op games. <laughs> yeah. That exact that's, sentiment is... That's yeah. totally fair. Like, I just... Like, I think I've thought I liked Fury of Dracula more, and then I've come back to it this year, and I'm just like, it just doesn't rate that highly for me because it's just not fun after a certain point. There's I, no mystery to it. I would like to pose a question because I think I might know why... So this was Fury of Dracula 3rd edition, right? Which came out in 2015? Yes. Mm -hmm. When did the original Fury of Dracula come out? Good question. Uh, because I think... Whenever Bram Stoker wrote it? <laughs> 1880. They are, they are very different because I accidentally read the rules for 2nd edition. Yeah. And I was like, oh god. I deliberately totally read the rules for 2nd edition because yeah, you told me that's what we were playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but and then I got thinking... to the studio and was wrong. Oh. <laughs> so 2nd edition was 2005, 1st edition was 87. Wow! So, wow. Ooh. Okay, that is like... It's an old game. Yeah. Yes. Dude, boomer on the field. So I'm thinking yeah. it may just be a game that has not aged well. Yeah. Mm. I'd have to go back and check the rules because yeah. like, there were dice involved for movement in 2nd edition. Okay. So 3rd yeah. edition is very yeah. different. So, so I, but 3rd but edition um, updated it for 2015, yeah. which was six years ago. Yeah. yeah. Once again... We're in 2021, about to be in 2022. I, I think Beck's sentiment of once you found Dracula, you're just doing the one thing is totally fair. Yeah. But it still takes just as long to do that one yeah. thing once you're just doing it. And that's what makes it bad. <laughs> yeah. Really. Because you can only do one thing, except now it takes twice as long. Oh. And it feels like it's twice as long because you're bored. You know, I really want to play Fear of Dracula. I've missed out twice now that you guys have played so it. I really and... wanted to play it until we played it. And then I was like, I should have played Letters from my channel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. So I should just go back and watch the stream and not play it, is what you're saying? I should just watch it? give it a go. Like, it's like, I think it's one of those games that everyone would, needs would, to play would, at least Would once. I enjoy it? You'd enjoy it if you were playing Dracula. I think that that's one of those games where it's asymmetrical and yeah. so is the fun. I've never <laughs> played, Gotcha. I've never played as Dracula. I've always ever been a hunter. Yeah. yeah. All right, moving on. We now get into this rank from 30 points down to 20. And this is from uh, 38 on the list down to 19. So 19 games in this. In this one. So that's our game. middle bracket then. Uh, right? okay. yeah. so that's our middle bracket. So are, we, are we cutting it here? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cut, cut it. We'll so from here on out, I think this is the games that we all enjoy. It's just specifically what Someone do we enjoy didn't. more than something else. Oh, yeah. no, from here it's... Very unlikely that someone didn't. Uh, no, there's a game coming up that was my bottom game. Yeah, there's the only game that came up. Oh, yeah, oh there's yeah. a bottom in here for me. We're there's getting there. Some trash. We're getting there. Tom, stop ignoring the power bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I will say all of mine are down the bottom. So 29.4 points in 38th place, a party game, mm. Poetry for Neanderthals. Oh. Every time you reach Battlestar, I am going to prove you wrong by saying oh, it's, something it's, else. It's, it's, <laughs> Battlestar is going to be a lot higher than I hope it is. Because Tom it already is. It already is higher than I hoped. Battles, yeah. Spoiler I've already told these guys Battlestar Galactica is our most controversial game. Two top fives, two bottom fives. Oh, two wow. bottom fives? Double whammy. <laughs> So we'll get that. Represent poetry <laughs> for Neanderthals bottom, was my bottom, bottom. second bottom, 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 bottom game. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Oh, that is Billy. not a Billy game. You take yep. the lead. I will never play it again. Is it because you are not smarter than a Neanderthal? <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> It's just, Back, there are zero redeeming qualities in that game for me, and I don't ever want to play it again. <laughs> That's Billy got hit on the head a few too many times, and he lost a few word, too many brain games are bad. Yeah. That, game, good, fun. Great, <laughs> time. Bonk, head. Bonk. My problem with that game is that it had a gimmick. The, the bat hated the bat, and the gimmick felt like the, the only... <laughs> reason people would buy it. It's like they started with the gimmick. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How do we create a game where you get to bonk your friends with an inflatable bat and then made the game around I it? I will yeah. add to that point. This is Poetry by Neanderthals was made by The Oatmeal, who yes. also created Throw Throw Burrito yes. mm -hmm. and Exploding Kittens. So that does feel like it's kind of a thing Absolutely. for The Oatmeal. Yes. Thanks, Gisela. And, and I don't I don't disagree. I think that Exploding Kittens we all, I think, is unanimously loved by anyone who's ever played it, almost. Um, the first couple of not, times. It's not a heavy, it's not, 
but it's a good solid game. When it came out, it introduced, I think, a lot of people to mm. games. I think that since then, they've gone on a bit of a tear <laughs> yeah. where they're like, now we can pump out games, which is great, but I don't think they're all great games. I think, uh, we need to play a lot more of the oatmeal games as well to compare them because we've only yeah. played Exploding Kittens. Some people have played Bears vs. Babies. Bears Babies I've played. I've only played, I've only played Kittens and Poultry, and Poultry was a lot of fun. I did enjoy it. It's a party game, so yeah. it is going to be enjoyable with your party. I hated the, the bonking, but like the game itself yeah. is hard. It's not an easy party game. T to me, this is Cards Against Humanity 2020 version. Mm. And I feel like... There's a little bit more brain thinking going uh, on. Yeah, but like at, at the end of the day, once you've run through all the cards, yeah. that's it. Uh, yeah, you actually, know, so you did fall victim yeah. to that. Yeah, and, and then... Um, bye! See ya! We're saying bye to you. We're saying hi. Hello. Oh, hello! We're hello. saying bye hello. and hi. Hello! Hi, hello. 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 everyone. Bye, everyone. Hey, no shelves. <laughs> you? Are you? We're swapping. I'm going to wave, and you interpret it the way you want to. The universal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, again, it's saying exploding kittens is their only good game. I disagree because Taco Cat spelled backwards, backwards is a really solid two-player game. Yes, that that is. Is it on the shelf? So it's not on our list because I, I think, think only is. like three of us played it. I don't think it is um, on the shelf. We did a, a oh, sixty up oh, the top. We did a sixty-second review of this game. If you're looking for a game that's good for like five-year-olds to ten-year-olds, anyone at all can play this game. It's just numbers, numbers, numbers. Move the thing around. Yeah. Real quick, real easy, real fun. Not a word game. <laughs> Not a word game. It's a number, it's a number game, number not game. a word game. I think that was the point that I... Huh. Poetry for Neanderthals is an... It's alright for It's a fun party game. But there are word-based party games yes. the problem, that I would play way before Poetry for Neanderthals. Oh, the problem with Poetry for Neanderthals is we then played Medium, and Medium is... Medium is, is a, a word-based party mm. game that is... Well, yeah. Word. I was going to say, I'm like, four party games that we played, this is the first party game on our list. Yeah. This is the it first is, party yeah. game on our list. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So the last of... They only get better from here. They do. And we played a few party games as well. Next, next, Tom. Next is our first game with a number one rating. Ooh! Please don't be and one. number one rating. This was someone's favourite game. Unfortunately, the other two people rated it about the same and then no one else played it. So it suffered from Do Not Play Syndrome and I Am Sorry, Kai. Uh, Who goes oh, there? No! Oh, this no. is a really good game. It's just that for both Lachlan and I, uh, so I rated it 21, Lachlan rated it 26. Oh, Hello, Blinkerton! Blinkerton. Hey. Let's ignore talking about games. Let's welcome our friends. Hey, Woo. guys. Hey, hey, oh, you're yeah. done, good Tom. Yeah, I'm over here. I'm hey, running computer stuff. We are Nerds of the West, and today we are having our end-of-year party ex Christmas um, we have snacks! Ranking things. Snacks? We are Not ranking anything, our games that we've played this year. So Unhealthy all Kale! <laughs> Unhealthy. Oh wow, what a it's name. Unhealthy. Uh, no. Unhealthy, Unhealthy Kale! kale. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are ranking all the games that we played this year. Um, oh, we've put it? them all into a spreadsheet and we've gone, I'd rather play this game over this game. This game is nothing like this game because this one's a Euro and this one's a party game. But heck, I would play one over the other, right? Yeah. Like, this is what you'd rather uh, play. So and everyone's given their votes. Um, if you're new here, you exclamation your favourite colour in chat. And please, if you if you would kindly consider it. First of all, i got to oh, give a shout on. out to Blanket Tim. Tom is behind the camera Laura. running the show. I'm Lachlan. I'm back. I'm Reese. I'm Billy. I'm Kai. I'm Kai. Um, we are about 150 followers away from 2,000 followers. <gasps> so if you like board games, we stream board games here every single week. We just won't be over the following weeks because it's Christmas time Christmas. and we're busy. It is. But the holiday season. Christmas. Video games. It's the holiday season. And it's a million degrees. Thank you, Tom. What were you playing? We are just discussing. Um, this is position 37 on our 52 game list. It is the first game that someone put at their number one. I love this game so much. It's big. Oh, just the stuff. Sub. Thank you. Exclamation, your favorite color in chat. I. It's no secret to anyone that's watched us play a lot of these games. I love hidden, hidden agenda games. I love political games. I love social games that have, uh, like, Politics. Politics and social elements where it's not just the pieces on the board that judge the game, it's how the people yeah. react and interact with each other. And who goes there for me is, I think to me, what Battlestar is to Tom in that sense, because... Hits that sweet spot of something you love and really nice mechanics. Yeah, it's it's a long game with a lot of strategy. It's a, it's a co-op survival game. Everyone's trying to survive this harsh Antarctic winter. Uh, it's based on 
the book that the movie The Thing is based off to give you an idea if you haven't uh, seen us play it. Do you mean John Carpenter's The Thing? I mean the book that, that John Carpenter's The Thing was based on, yes. Yeah, and then... So the, who goes there? And who then goes the there? 1950s oh, film, the, uh, the, thing, the Thing from Another World. From the Thing from Another World. world. Yeah. Which is a good movie. Good, yeah. good. Holds up. John yeah. Campbell book. Brilliant book. Read it. Uh, but... Novella. It's novella. A, a really good length, I think, for a political hidden role game. It's a little bit shorter, I think, than Battlestar. Right, pretty close, but I think and slightly shorter. The end game is what really sells it. The end game is really cool, and instead of like Battlestar, you start with X number of humans and X number of Cylons. You know that there's Cylons, and you know how many there are, or roughly how many there are. You like know, the depending on player counts, you're either two and five players, which is the best way to play yeah. Battlestar. There's a possibility of there only yeah. being one. So instead of that, you start, everyone is human. Mm. Everyone is a good guy, but as the game progresses, their odds of someone being a thing... Getting infected. Getting infected and getting imitated Dude. slowly builds throughout the game. So you start off trusting everyone. You have to trust everyone to survive. It's full co-op at the start. But, but and then, then suddenly slowly it's not. Question it stops though, being co-op. Oh, yeah. So when we played, right, we were all pig paranoia and no one I mean, was a bad I mean, guy. Okay, I was going to say, don't spoil the video because you can watch us play it but yeah okay there is a possibility to get to the end of the game and no one's a bad guy but because someone could be you're analyzing everyone's and, actions oh. and it's important because mm. the thing it doesn't just want to infect everyone the thing needs to get on the helicopter with a human but yep. the humans need all the humans on the helicopter to well, win yeah and it's like yeah. even though you're a bad guy you're still good, trying good to help them so then yeah. you can help yourself it it's, is a Pretty As opposed game. to, I don't know, your criticism and partial, well, one of my criticisms for Battlestar is, once you're outed as a bad guy, the game is... Your your input in the game mm. drops. I was going to yeah. stab Sean with the stuff he was saying at the end of that <laughs> game. <Basically. laughs> um, whereas who goes there, it's... You have... You don't stop playing the game, even if you're infected. I, I don't want to go on too much because not everyone's played it, but... I really want to play it with because mm. I think a lot of you guys I, will I, enjoy I, that I, game. Do you think Billy I will fucking love this game? <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, Billy, though, it's a game that you start out as co-op and then might and fuck then, your friends, and you might not. Who knows? I, I think Billy will love it because it'll start as co-op and he'll start hating it, and then it'll suddenly stop being co-op and he'll love it from that point on. I, I will say this, unfortunately for me, who goes there? And I'll preface this by saying I get overwhelmed really easily. <laughs> I look at the box for who goes there, and I'm like, I know I'm not going to like this because it feels like there's too much involved. There is a lot going on. There's, I was a little bit worried at first because you've each got your own unique tech trees that you're upgrading. There's a lot of moving parts in that game. If you want to see the details, obviously go and watch the play it. But or, I think, or watch our best of the year video where too. Kai I said it was his best game of I'm the year. To, I probably just repeated everything I've just <laughs> said <laughs> in that video. <laughs> but I was worried when I read the rule book. I was like, oh man, there's a lot of moving parts. But mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know about. Yeah, no, it was it once it was on the table, it was good. I think it felt. And, and I None of everyone good. else's moving parts impacted your moving parts. Yeah, you only mm -hmm. had to worry about your little board. You didn't have to worry about everyone else's so much. And it, because, and I think again, viewing it as a co-op game, it negates that quarterbacking aspect that a lot of a lot of us don't like in co-op games, mm -hmm. because you might not be cooperating. With that person. You can't say, oh, it would be best for you to do this, that, and that, because you don't actually know if you're cooperating with them anymore. Mm, yeah. So, uh, really cool, great components, great box. Very, very happy with that game. Really want to get to the table with a few more of the nerds. So that yeah. we yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I think there were just other games that I would prefer to play over it. That's fair. I, I think this game literally just suffered from Do Not Play Syndrome. Did Not Play Syndrome. Yep. Yeah, definitely. There was only a handful of Oh, Do Not play. play. Tom was telling me I would hate it and that I shouldn't play the game. Yeah, <laughs> Did Not Play, but I mean... I just don't think the thing would click what? with me. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like the thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, it's totally not in my top five no. movies of all time. No. Nah. You, you know what? The, <laughs> best, Kurt Russell. the best part about this game, the, the absolute best part about this game, right, is that everything has a spot in the box and it has a That's where thing goes on the side of the Ooh. box. So it goes, this is how you put it back. There's a the huge box. amount of That's a good I've game. Like, <laughs> That's this, this is the best packaged game we had played this year. Yeah. I don't think anyone could disagree with that. I think we played, that. period. I bought the, like top-end Kickstarter version of it with all the expansions. There is 
like a bunch of minis, a bunch of little cubes, lots of loose little parts. And once it's boxed up, you can flip that thing upside down. Nothing is moving inside that box. It I is... feel like if more of us played it this year, mm -hmm. that would have a very strong contender for like game of the year. It'd be up there a bit higher. Yeah. yeah. It's unfortunate that we, we played it with our friend Sean. He didn't uh, rank the game. So only three of us ranked it, unfortunately, mm -hmm. I think is, is part of why it's down there. But That's why he's dead. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> it was the <laughs> thing. Um, and it was also very close to the next game on the list. So who goes there was an average of 26 points. Mm -hmm. The next game is 25.5. Ooh. Yep. Blood on the Clock Tower. Uh, okay. Makes um, sense. I think I know... Uh, actually, I was going to say, I think I know why. I feel like no. it's because a bunch of us didn't actually play it. A bunch it. of us didn't yeah. play it, but it was rated in two people's I top didn't, tens. Didn't play it. Um, this is a game that I think hmm? it, it will it fit a whole lot of different niches for people. It's a game you can play with 20 people. It's a game you can play with four people. There's just so many different options there. Unfortunately, also, it's not released yet. Mm. Yeah. True. But they do um, regular discords, so you can jump onto their Discord and join in a game, and it has a lot of players. When mm. these guys played it here in the studio, you had 13 people in here, yeah. which is the most we've ever had in this <laughs> the It was a very it interesting stream. It was, it was a cool stream. Yeah. It was, it's Billy! The, the one thing Billy. I would want to criticise the game about, which is hard to criticise it because it is an out, but from what I've seen of it, it is too irritating to get to a table and actually set it up and play it with all the ways it's set up. Which is why I put it really low, because I'm like, yeah. uh, the effort in setting the game up and sorting everything out doesn't seem like a good enough payoff. But So for those who haven't seen it, it's a hidden, yeah. a hidden agenda game where once you're dead, you're not out, you still have input in the game, you can still talk. <sighs> but it needs a game master to run it. Mm. And the game master can influence the game, which means there are very interesting ways to play it and very interesting ways it can play out. Yeah. But it needs to be run competently. To me, it sort of seemed like old school werewolf, mm -hmm. but then you had like a DM. Did you play it? No, I just watched the stream. Mm -hmm. um, it, it seemed like old school werewolf, where, that did have a game master, yep. but that was just someone like just reading through yeah. doing the someone roles. Someone creating the world yeah. of Christopia. Where, whereas this was, <laughs> right. it felt like the, the game master had a bit more influence over how the game played out. I didn't play it, I, yeah. I watched it while I was at work. Uh, and that's when I worked in a bottle shop and serving customers at the same time. Yeah. So I didn't even get half the what was going on. I think, I think, because uh, I played on that stream, and I think it was a lot of fun. I think that the yes. comparison to original Werewolf is apt. I am one of the few people that prefers original Werewolf to One Night Werewolf. I'll die on that hill. Um, I do like... Yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> I do like... And, uh, that no, you don't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that this gives the GM a role in the game instead of just reading through the script. Mm. As much as I, I mean, I enjoy that role. I think Chris enjoys that role as well. It's fun being on the outside. I do like that it adds that to it. The only thing that I think, and it's subjective, I suppose, is it's because there's so many roles and interactions, that game would be a lot harder to bust out at a party and explain to a group of people. Yeah. Who haven't played it before? It's I very feel like much a convention would, game. Yeah, that game. You take that play, to a convention and play two games with people and, and get them yeah, going. Yeah, that it. game would play really well with a big group of people who have played a couple of games. Oh, it's great! And I know how to play it. Uh, we only play, had time for a practice game and then a full game, um, so I think it suffered a little bit from a lot of us being a bit fresh, fresh, a bit unfamiliar. Whereas, you know, Werewolf is a lot easier, I think, to explain to people. I think it suffers a little bit from that, but it's not out yet. That could still be streamlined. Like yeah. I don't want to punish I, it too. Beck? I did have my favorite betrayal in it. <laughs> oh man, you against which is which oh. is one of our best clips on the channel <laughs> is just <laughs> revealing that oh. Billy was poisoning Pav, Pav the whole time, the whole oh. time and Pav just Pav loses trusted him. Billy implicitly, oh. and the whole time Billy was poisoning him, so any information he got was wrong. And just those moments, you can't have that in just a normal game. You need a GM to be yeah. controlling that to give them the wrong information, yeah. but possibly pushing them in certain ways. That makes it really interesting to me. I played it with a whole bunch of other board game streamers, so people who understood everything going on. Yeah. That was fun, man. I was the demon. I was messing with people. Um, I had my friend Dan from Ella Plays Board Games as my minion. So together we were just messing. Oh, it was a great time. Mm.
Well, I never played Blood on the Clock Tower. I was going to make a snide comment about how I can't wrangle friends to save my life, so there's no way I'd be able to play this game. Mm -hmm. But what this actually reminds me of is the Cones of Dunshire. Like, it sounds like a game that isn't fucking real because there are just too many different layers of okay. 3D chess involved. <laughs> it's going like, to be like, it's not a real game. It's not a real game, no. But it's like they explain it, and it's, it's like it goes yet. nowhere because yeah. it's a completely ridiculous concept. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here. Billy was poisoning someone else. There's a GM. Tom was a demon with a minion, and I'm like, nah. No, I'll see you later. I'll, I'm gonna go. It's like, it's like hearing someone in a movie describe a video game. Yeah. Yes. And, and you're like, if you play video games, you're like, this is not how fucking games work. Uh, like, you know? I kind of feel like that's what, you know, the, the complexity to explain it is a yeah. little bit daunting. Yeah. And again, I'm sure if like you could actually get a group of people to sit down and play it, then it would probably yeah. be fairly yeah, simple. I think, I think it'd be quite interesting for us to play with a slightly smaller group. You know, we play with a huge group. Uh, and, you know, I don't even think we have that many chairs. And, and was, I'm really confused. Uh, oh, we had to I take think it'd be cool to play with a tighter group. So, oh, sorry. Right. We, we, the, this this room exists in a house, Meg. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, we're wow, wait, in the wait, wait, right. So another wall, very so. tight jump. That was 25.5 .5 points. We then go to 25.07. Uh, everyone but one person has played this game, apparently. Who's the one person Ooh. that didn't play this? Ooh. Apparently, Reese, you have never played this game. Wow. What? Love yeah. Letter Premium. Ah! No, I have not played Premium. Interesting. Yeah. So I think we just put that as love. Nope. No, no, no. We have two love letter separates. and love letter premium. Because there is. How a did big premium difference. get lower than love letter? Because uh, right? your boy hasn't played it. I literally ranked them for the same for very number. good reason. Yeah, I it's worse. Much ranked them in ten different wow, Billy thinks it's worse. Uh, what did I rank it? That's why I guess Billy brought it down and Reese didn't play it. It was my fourth least rated game, oh. much Ooh. less than love letter itself. Wow. Okay. okay. All right. I, so, Love sure. Letter Premium, it goes up to the eight player part. That's the only reason you should ever play Love Letter Premium, because Love Letter Premium, the four player version, is just normal Love Letter. Exactly. It's both, the, it's two games in one. Yep. And the moment you have more than four people in Love Letter, I will never want to play it again. The, the premium version just. Fair wow. enough. Bad. Bad after See, adding to me, more I players. I ranked it the same because I was like, it's Love Letter with more if you want more than four players. Yeah, yeah I really love all the extra cards that it adds. I the, the different ways to play the Poisoner to, to yeah, when mean, someone's like, are you a guard or are you this? Haha, <laughs> screw you. I agree I'm, that you don't need. Here's a pretty game. You don't. You don't need this game if you're only ever going to play it with four. Does people. it come with sleeves? Love Letter. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It comes Bang. with premium sleeves. I just, I just think this is Love Letter with more, for more players. That's yeah. why I rank them like, the same. It, it's, it's literally that. It's like you can play regular Love Letter with Love Letter Premium. Like yeah. if you go, if you go into the shop and you go Love Letter, Love Letter Premium, it's like, well, this is two games and this is one, yeah. right? Like, and you can play that game in this one. The only reason you might want to have just regular Love Letter is that it comes in a baggie instead of like a box. Yeah. So you could just go in my pocket. Got love if letter. you want to hear our full thoughts on it, uh, earlier this year we did a series where we played five different versions of Love Letter and then ranked them, um, gave our thoughts on it. So full thoughts on all the different Love Letters on YouTube. Uh, we jumped from 25 points to 24.3, so it's still fairly tight. Unfortunately, I think this is another game that suffered from did not play syndrome. Mm -hmm. Monster uh, Slaughter. Oh. Monster Monsters Laughter. Monsters Laughter. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> this was... I'm Twitch. I think I may have ranked it the highest. I have a uh, uh, No, you put this at number two. Yeah, Ooh. but I was saying... Oh, highest out of everyone. Highest yeah, yeah. out of everyone. This was my number two game. I fucking adored this game. It was, it was a lot of fun. Oh, it's... Like... So I'm a huge fan of horror movies. And to me, the, like, this was like... Horror movie in a game, but you're playing as the bad guy. Mm -hmm. um, and I was very concerned that it was going to suffer from like Kickstarter itis, where they just bloated out the rewards. Because mm -hmm. um, it was a Kickstarter game, I got my hands on the Kickstarter copy. I didn't pledge to the Kickstarter, I just knew someone who was selling it. Um, and I was just going to be like, oh, I think they've added too much and it's going to be bad. But we, we played it and I loved it. It's jank. <laughs> it's a janky game. Uh, but I, I absolutely adored it. And I think. Uh, my initial thoughts after playing the game was like, this is a game that you buy in the first year of being into board games yep. and you yeah. will love it. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, probably not much because you have more ex experience with other games. But like, 
Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, like, we played it all the way to the end, and I think at the end, then our criticism was that maybe the board just needed to be one or two spaces a little bit bigger. Yep. Yeah. One of the characters had a much stronger ability than something else, so the balance wasn't there. But there was a lot of other monsters that we could play. There was a lot of variables that we could add in. There was a lot of things to love about the game thematically, and even like the board itself was really cool. It was just that the, when a game involves you moving your piece around, it's such a thing where it's like, hey, how many spaces can you move? How many spaces should you be allowed to move? Is one space enough? Is three spaces enough for a game where you want to have fast movement? And the house itself was so small mm -hmm. that it was just like, I can't get to that building yeah. easily. I can't get to where I need to go. It's like you're just running around at snail's pace yeah. and you're like, I just want a little bit more room so that I can have three people spread out a bit more. But there was also that chess element to it where it's like, I need to use this character of the um, my family and this yeah. character of my family in this way. So overall, fantastic theme, fantastic board, played really well and we had a great time. Just there was a couple of mechanics that didn't sit Great. I really want to play it again with the base families. Yes. Because we played with, with two of us DLC. Oh, DLC. DLC. Two of us yeah. expansion yeah. families. Yeah, yeah. I, I, think, I think the ghosts yeah. that I was playing and the maniacs. Uh, yeah. But expansion the, the Egyptian. The, well, we the, all the mummies. Characters. No, I think the ghosts are part of the base. Okay. Yeah, I was clowns uh, with the base. Okay. I think, it was, I think, I yeah, I think it was just the mummies that were the like, oh, were they expansion. The oh, were the maniacs not the, the expansion? DLC. Oh, maybe, maybe that. I thought the maniacs were the maniacs because were. the maniacs had that walk into the room, deal a point of damage thing. Yeah, that was probably my biggest gripe with the game. It felt like the families were unbalanced, but I don't think we were playing with base game families. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think that you are correct in it suffering a little bit from Kickstarteritis, where all these have to add all these new families and not necessarily as much work has been put into balancing those yeah. Yeah. as the base very families. Um, or like, was I think my biggest gripe. Yeah, or it could have the opposite one where the base game's unbalanced but the expansion is what makes it balanced but then I'd argue like why isn't that part of the base game? Yeah. I think looking at the Kickstarter from what I remember there was no option to buy the expansion it was just if you pledged right. you got the whole lot yep so i'm thinking that if you find it in a store you won't get the expansions that i got mm -hmm. but if you got the kickstarter you will have the expansions that i got yep which then it is a huge proponent of kickstarter itis which i think is a much larger discussion for another stream uh, or another video, um, which I'd very much like to go into because yeah. yeah. I think it's fascinating. Okay. And we just had someone rock up. Hello. How do we do this? <laughs> um, Freeze here. Do you have any that final tape thoughts is in on no way sticky, by the way. Monster Slaughter? Um, I ranked it lower than I probably should have. Uh, the power imbalances were quite glaring, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, Kai was playing a family like the ghosts, they can go through walls, but literally no room in the house was more than two move actions away from yeah, one another. Yeah. And compared to the maniac's ability, it was vastly inferior. My opinion was, was great for the first two turns, yeah. and then useless the yeah. rest of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The way the game played out as well, I feel like you got each of the rooms and it had a deck and stuff. It was interesting, but it didn't have enough of like a, it didn't have enough pizzazz to really like, yeah. Wow me. Hey, so you, you're new to board games and you like horror movies, grab this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah one one hundred percent. Once again, first year. Or horrified. Games, if you or horrified. Horrified's also good. Um, come on in. Shall Bree. we let Bree come in? Yep. Yeah, because things Bree, things are about to get loud. Come pull up a chair. Uh Tom knows what's next. I always know what's next. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, I, once again, I think it's a great first year board game. Oh, like I'm not the thing. That, <laughs> That is like to be young. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look, if an attempt was made. Do you, want, do you want us to shuffle around a bit more? Will it help? Yeah, yeah that might actually we, help a bit. Hold on. We, I think cheers, Tom cheers, cheers. estimated that he'd be coming in more than he actually has been. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Tom's just running from the sideline at this point. I'll come in eventually. Yeah, I'll just cheers. sit at the front. I haven't even seen you, Chad. Maybe we should have just sat oh, yeah, that side, right? That would have been... No, been originally I was going to like jump in there. Yeah, I want to jump in. Admittedly, I'm about to jump in. All right, it's <laughs> happening. Top <laughs> two people who rated it third, two people who rated it bottom of their list. Let's oh, fucking let's do it. Go! Let's go! <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. Yay! It's fucking amazing. Fuck you, you're all wrong. <laughs> Hang on, I think that <laughs> Beck and I get to shit on it first. Yeah, shit before on it you get to have your like. Yeah, Beck, I'm just gonna block hey, you. It's Fuck a great you. Game. You can't yeah. talk. All right.
I put this in my bottom five because we played for four hours, and of those four hours, I played one. <laughs> maybe one, maybe two of those hours because it had that problem of being a solved puzzle, right? Everything that Beck said about, what was it, Fury of Dracula, was it? Yeah, or, that one. It was just like, it's a solved puzzle. At some point, what happened was, Bree and I turned into Cylons. Cool, we're the bad guys. Bree now controls two characters because my actions mean nothing because Bree is the lead Cylon. So therefore, it's just whatever Bree says. I think it was what Bree doing. Bree went after you or before you. So yeah, oh, I went after. Yeah. But also, I knew I was a Cylon from the beginning, so I could plan. And then all of a sudden, Lachlan was like, "Yeah, you." Ah! I was like, I yeah. played. <laughs> I've played the game multiple times. And I have enjoyed it. It's just that it is a long game that I don't enjoy the payoff that it's supposed to give you. It's like a long game. It's meant to be this hidden agenda. I like the way they do the hidden roles of being like, hey, you're not going to get a Cylon until this act. And then in this act, then there's possibly two. It's like, that is a cool mechanic. And then once they are ousted and you do find out who they are, then they're not entirely out of the game. It probably does that the best out of many other hidden agenda games. But for like four hours, the turns fucking suck. Like, it's like when you're playing with six players and you have to wait half an hour for one turn and you are just sitting there just waiting. And then when you wait half an hour for your turn and then it comes around to your turn and Bree goes, yeah, we're gonna do that. And it's like, fair enough, we're gonna do that. I just sat there in a hot room <laughs> for four hours playing a game that I already didn't like from the start. So what I'm hearing is that it wasn't necessarily the game, it was the players. <laughs> no, it's that like the turns are too slow for like the actions that you have to take and it's meant to be this hidden gender game, hidden role game, where it's like yeah. everything could be condensed, everything could be sped up, you could do, like should have more abilities that you can do, but you've got your deck of cards and it's like, oh, well, fuck, I'm gonna do this thing. And it's just like, you're very shoehorned in what you can do. There's not that freedom that I would like in this game. I entirely disagree. I'm, I'm going to make like a really weird connection here and I'm going to compare Battlestar Galactica to Between Two Castles. Because Between Two Castles, I said it's a left field connection. Let me explain it. I didn't think it, it was left that field. Left That's field. a different game. <laughs> That's a different sport. In terms of cooperative, Between Two Castles is two people are working together to build the nicest thing. Everything is different, but you do what you can and you do what you can to the best of your ability. Yep, yep. Battlestar Galactica is one person knows what the frick is going on Frank, and that person is Frank telling is you what on. you are doing. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Frick! Correct frick! You. I hate Battlestar Galactica because of this game. I'm gonna say it. I hate it now. I hate it. Wow. <laughs> Don't care. I love it. It's tense. So it's fun. Right, Everything. Hold, hold, hold. You can have my seat. I'm gonna get a drink oh, so you can rant about happened. how much you love it. Um, hey, I'm, roll for I'm, damage. Roll for damage. Uh, Bri can Bri I have a drink too, please? Uh, you've you've played it, right? Yeah. Yeah. This was one of the games you ran. Yeah. Who, who, would, yeah. who would like a drink? I'm going. Thank you. Welcome in. Roll for damage. Hello. Roll for damage. Uh, we are ranking beer and or Pepsi. Uh, um, spicy ginger beer, please. But is there brain drinks? What is a brie uh, drink? There water? water? Is there any water? Water, water iced tea? Iced tea? Water no. Get me a water. ginger beer. How are not we are Nerds I West? Think I can we drink are... ginger beer, actually, I think. Spice ginger beer? Get her water! 50-50! Uh, we are ranking every <laughs> single board game we have played this year. There are 52 games. We are at the uh, 32 game mark, 20 games in. We are currently talking about Battlestar Galactica. We have two people who have rated it in their bottom five games, and two people who have rated it in their top five. Um, right. and the rest I'm just, of, I'm let me let me just finish out my thought yeah. process. Yeah. The game is entirely too long. Like I just feel like there's too much going on, and I feel like once you're revealed, you why you have either already won the game or you're going to lose it. The last time we played, we actually played with friend of the channel Eli. He revealed himself as a Cylon, and the one comment he had at the end of the game was, "There was nothing I could do," he, and I hate that. Unfortunately for Eli. Um, he revealed himself hey. far too late in the game. He didn't realize all the powers he would get if he revealed because it was his first time playing. So he didn't realize just how much he could mess with us. No, so, you take that song. <laughs> very, that was a very impressive ride right up. To me, <laughs> Battlestar Galactica is a very well-timed game, but they're all complaining about it being too long. I love how long it goes and how tense it is. I think, unfortunately, uh, the bad games they've had do happen, but I've had far better, far more good games where it is tense the whole way. There are interesting choices to make 
take the whole way, even when it comes down to the final few turns where it's like, oh god, do we do we take the oh, oh you don't no, 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 no. uh, there are there are so many moments where you, oh, you on choose in. between one or another and you hope that something bad doesn't happen to you next turn to remove that one thing that you're now down on one. There's just so many great moments in that game that I I will always play it. If you put that game on the table, I will always yeah. play it. You know what? I would rather this game never get unboxed because it takes two hours to set it up. So Which is interesting because, uh, well, no, now that I've got it set up properly because there are so many expansions, uh, Unfathomable has just been released, which is a new version of Battlestar, which I am very curious yeah. to play. I am keen to play that game, I am surprisingly. Keen to play that. What I was right? going to say to rapid fire, because everything that's going to be said has been said. Well, I don't know. I Chris feel, put it in his top five. I feel the I same did. way about Battlestar, as I do about Fury of Dracula. Great mechanic, dated version. Yep. There's better versions of it now. But also, I hope, I hope Unfathomable is a really great updated version. We haven't played it yet, but I think other games have done that level of complexity and have been generally better since then. I will just Fun jump fact. in and say one thing. Uh, if you're new here, we are Nerds of the West. We are about 150 followers away from 2,000 followers. So please, if you enjoy this kind of content, board games, video games, everything that we do, give us a follow and exclamation yeah. your favourite colour in chat. Uh, are we ready for the next uh, game? No, Chris put it in his top five and hasn't given thoughts yet. Sorry, Chris. Thank you, Banner account. <laughs> and I everything, think Free also has thoughts. Everything I enjoy about the game has already been made. Oh, what a body uh, legend. Tom, the game is <laughs> not <laughs> a perfect game. There's obviously, it's kind of like my favourite game of all time is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild but there's so much I wish it had that it doesn't have, right? And that's the same with Battlestar Galactica. I wish there was more, I wish it was kind of different, but overall, very good game. There aren't uh, and <laughs> there aren't a Beck level of, of things I want to nitpick about it. Uh, and it's obviously a very contentious game, so it, it stirs up the mind. I, I, um, I love our group's, like, grasp on it. Like, it is our go-to controversial game. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> like, I, I, I will openly admit I am biased so towards that game, but... Uh, it's so much fun. I'm, I'm really? Glad, I'm, what? I'm glad that's our controversial opinion and not like politics. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Women's rights. Like, you know, it's like, oh, is, uh, is, is, is Battlestar like, a good game or a bad game? It's like, you know, that's the controversial opinion. Yeah. Um, great. <laughs> Any thoughts? I've, I've only played it once and I had a great time because I was a Cylon from the beginning, which meant that... Brief fake cry to prove it to, to try and to convince try people. And, no, because I threw Tom under the bus and got to fake cry and she legitimately was asked, like... She oh, had me questioning if I'd played a card by accident <laughs> because she was fake so crying. I'm like, no, she's I lying. I him so hard. And You're he the was great like, manipulator. Yeah, so I enjoyed that, whereas I feel if I'd have, A, not known I was a Cylon from the beginning, B, not being a Cylon, I might not have had as much fun. Dude, being a Cylon halfway through was a mind fuck. I, yeah. I remember I mean, seeing... I turned into a Cylon halfway through and I fucking yeah. hated it. Yeah. Did you? I thought Chris saw your card early on. No, I thought I, you were I both. Think I was the first. I, I, like, he I got revealed saw, before me. Yeah. I saw your card. Yeah. Um, like two turns I in. I knew you were a Cylon, you but know. I chose not to say anything yeah. because oh. there was going to be a reveal and I might have been a Cylon. You know what? I just blanked from my memory. Yeah. yeah. That game. I, I, I remember seeing Bree cry on stream because once again I was watching it away. At my old job, <laughs> I did nothing. But so when they were streaming, I was just like, oh, I'll watch the stream. Um, but I remember seeing Brie cry and then sending a message being like, who the fuck made Brie cry? Why is she crying on stream? What have you fucking done? And Turns then, out Brie's just an Brie emotional like, I'm like, manipulator. And I'm like, <laughs> she made us cry. No more fake crying on stream. That's done. Get yeah, that out. No, yeah, never, he's never again. Up. Yeah. Like, I think there were some other times that Brie has cried and I'm like, no, the other times that I've cried have always been. Was when we were recording and then we didn't use those episodes. We didn't. <laughs> right. I was having a Are we ready for yeah. the next game? Let's move on. Right. We're we're one. You want to reveal one? Did you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was just thinking yeah, okay. of right. so, put down. This one is a classic. Ooh. Here we go. It is, oh, sorry, 23.5. It is the first game where we have had no do not plays. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Wow. Because it's a classic. I know this one. Is it Azul? Or Koo? It is Koo. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I don't know this one, but I do know. Um, Koo is a bad uh, What did I rank it? Like... Alright, so... I, 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 Billy gave it 16. I actually gave it 39. Wow, that is lower than I thought. I guess I've played that game too much. I, I yeah. feel like the best way to explain Koo is Koo is a classic, and it has been in this group for so long that there's no way that anyone hasn't played it. Mm -hmm. So it was always going to rank highly because yeah. there were no points that's 
took away from it. The problem is that there's no one in this group that hasn't played it 50 times. Yeah. Yeah. Or more. No, the problem is we've all played it with Callum. And Callum is too good, so there's no point to play it again. I don't think I've played against Callum. Callum has no reason being so good at Coop, but he How can you be that good at Coop? I'll tell you why Callum is good at Coop. Yeah. For about three years, I played board games with Callum every single weekend. This is how I know everybody here at this table. And all we did is play Coop and Werewolf. Oh, <laughs> hey, remember when you were friends with Callum? <laughs> oh, hey guys, I'm back. We're still friends with Callum. He's just not. Is it, is when it he, he doesn't when exist he, when anymore. He, when he comes he around, he just played <laughs> cool with us too much, so we kicked him yeah. off. He beat us too much. Um, he's he's out Sean. Everyone's he played it a hundred million times. This is the sort of game that I don't like to play anymore because we've played it so much. There yeah. are also better games now. The problem with Coup is yeah. it's kind of like Magic: The Gathering standard. It's yeah. you think it's a very <laughs> interesting environment. You get in there and you play a couple of games, and the metagame is solved like instantly. Yeah. Everyone's a Duke on turn one. <laughs> Everyone's got a Contessa, and nobody wants to. To, to try to be an assassin when you're lying, etc. And uh, when you yes. think you might be in trouble, you're of course an ambassador. That, yes. That's uh, my issue yeah. with Resistance, is that you guys have worked out the metagame by the time yeah. I came to play it with you guys. Yeah. And then I was like, fuck it, I don't like this It's such a methodical but, game. But, but yeah. Koo goes for 15 minutes, and you're like, yep, figured out the metagame, let's yeah. go again. Yep. Koo is a fantastic game. If you have never played Koo, you need to go and buy Koo. Yep. And you need to play Koo. 50 times yep. and then you can go I'm done in the bin because my <laughs> copy of Q is so worn down it's ratty you know exactly yeah. What you'll card that is. You'll you'll get your your, your that copy of Koo got so worn down that I went out and bought Koo so yeah. that we had a new copy for the set I went you know out and bought Koo because I started introducing is people that my copy? games that no, hadn't don't. played Koo and did like three copies of Koo in the group were all like an hour away from my <laughs> house so I was like I'll buy a copy I'm kind of over Koo, but you have to show people, Coup. like, uh, yeah. people who haven't played Koo have to play Koo. What's really right. interesting to me right. that I, I forget, Koo was a Kickstarter game. Was it really? A friend of mine owns the original Kickstarter version of Koo. It is probably one of the most successful Kickstarters ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. interesting. Uh, okay. Fireheart says, it's my second level entry game. Yeah. Mine, yep. Which yeah. I, or recommendation. Yeah, 100%. But yeah, I'd yeah. recommend it. Kai's totally right. Like, despite us not wanting to play it because we played it so much, we have all played it so much because it's a good game. And yeah. we mm. all thought, I've got to show this to a friend. I've got to show this to my family. Rah, 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 rah. We wouldn't have 10 episodes of it on the f channel <laughs> if we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that's, yeah. I, I feel the best way to summarize it is everybody's played it to the point where they don't hate it, but they don't all like totally love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The other thing is because we're all on the same level with it, and everyone's playing the same meta, I think it's less interesting. I had more fun playing it with people who haven't played it before. Mm, yeah. Because you can crush because, them. Because I can destroy their <laughs> dreams. <laughs> Counterpoint, I hate playing with people that haven't played it be before because they don't know what they're doing and they yeah. do it wrong. And you're just like, why did you do that? Like, anyway. But anyway. because you're expecting the, the, the Brainiac plays when they do something unexpected, you're like, wait. Yeah, was that a double bluff? <laughs> was that a triple bluff? The worst part is that I tried playing it with my family and they went, Mm, Billy's played this game a lot. They all just kill me every time. <laughs> 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 family put the strategy down pat. Bro, bro, that's the Tom conundrum yeah. in Werewolf. Don't, right? don't only have two lives left. I'm dead. They've, they've, they've created their own meta game where they just kill <laughs> Billy first. What's next, Tom? Uh, Tom. The next six games. Oh are all rated within 22 points. Wow. So 22.7, 22.5, 22.27, 22.25, and 22. Dang. Like this is... This is really uh, tough. Let's, let's, let's go. So first up, Colt Super Express. Oh. So good! Banger of a game. that I forgot I played. <laughs> uh, oh. Sorry, guys. You tanked it, didn't you? Uh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't put it as like one of the worst games. I just think it's there really are people happy. who rated it lower than you. Oh, maybe my. Then why am I apologising? <laughs> yeah. Yo, like, uh, both Chris and myself rated it around twenty-eight. Yeah. Did I rank it in like my top five? Uh, I think you put it fourth. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's ninth for me. Very good game. Good See, game. It's a really my solid game. Without well, revealing yeah. the whole list, we're, we're, so I'm not we're, we're comparing it amongst games where, at the lowest, we have Moonraker as a five out of ten. 
Colt Super Express being a seven. seven I'm sorry, that's being kind to Moon Rage. It is a good. <laughs> Dude, are we going to get game. to the top of the list and they will be like, this is a seven out of ten game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Colt, of this, yeah, this is a seven out of ten game. Yeah. Colt Super Express. I love Colt Express. Like, Colt Express, the original, is just one of those games where I'm like, dear God, this is incredible. Colt Super Express replaced it for me because it's yep. quick out and you get the same experience. Dude, well, I'm that, like, sorry, I would choose to play Colt Express interesting. any other time. And that's why I I didn't put it any higher than what I did because I'm just like, if if it was Cold Express and Cold Super Express, I would have put Cold Express like top ten, and I'm just like I, good game, fun game. Mm-hmm. Show of hands, the- who would play Cold Express over Cold Super Express? Interesting. It was pretty good so, spread. So here's my thing. Don't Last bring, night. Play games. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, Tom was getting me to like finalize bits of my list because he had added stuff in while I was at work, and he was looking at it, and he's like, you've played Colt Super Express, and I was like, I absolutely have not. I have <laughs> never played this game. And he's like, I literally have a stream of you playing this game. And I'm like, I don't believe you. <laughs> Turns out last year is when I played it, right at the end of the year or something like yeah. that, and I completely blocked it from my memory. So when I was doing the list, I saw Colt Super Express, and I was like, I haven't played that, and just d- DNP'd it. But to <laughs> me... That tells me it did not add anything to the experience that Colt Express didn't already it have. It just makes it quicker. It took from the experience, but it shortened the game. And I think there's, there's Colt Express is a great game. I'm not talking bad about Colt Express, but Colt Super Express, you can bust through three games in the time it takes to play one Colt Express. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it loses yeah. much from that experience beside the really cool 3D train. Yeah. We still I, need to play Colt Super Express with the components of Colt Express. I, yeah. I still want to do that because I think that yeah. would be the A plus tier of way yeah. to play Colt Express. Colt Super Express changed the game. So if, Colt Express is a game that you I have play to Cult play. Express. You have to play, right? And you won't, like, I would not recommend playing Colt Super Express until you have played Colt Express. You have to play Colt Express first because Colt Express is, again, similar to Coup, where it's like, hey, you want to play a board game? It has a 3D train and you get to be bandits on it, right? And it's got so many cool moments. It's phenomenal. The whole concept of it is sequencing and moving your character around. Basically what happens is you've got a set of cards that are laid out and that is the train. And it's, it's a battle royale. So you're on the train and every round the last carriage breaks away. So if you're on the last carriage, Goodbye, <laughs> tough titties. And there's obviously inside, there's top and bottom yeah, yeah. of what you can do. And there's all these, like there's, you can jump off onto a horse and go to the front. So there's like all this sequencing to be done, but you only play three cards in your sequence. So everyone places three cards down immediately and you go around in the circle and it goes, you do this, 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 you do this. What's your next thing in your sequence? You do this. And obviously it plays that sequence game, which is exactly what Cult Express is, yeah. but you have a lot you don't have to worry about picking things up you don't have to worry like Colt Express is the complete game Colt Super Express is everything that is enjoyable about the sequencing for Colt Express in a very short Mm -hmm. pocket Mm -hmm. version like the box is only so big because it's just cards the one of the few games that I play with my family and it is phenomenal oh I tried playing Colt Express in my family and they did not get it yeah Yeah. I can't play board games with your family Tom I won't do it anymore. I was, was going to be can't like, I me. can't play board games oh. with my family either. I have a very, very quick like... tangent because it's not on the list, but talking about playing board games with family, I'm try- I tried to introduce my in-laws to board games uh, and we played Saboteur, um, <laughs> another hidden role game. Uh, my father-in-law didn't understand that you only screw everyone else over if you're... <laughs> oh, he, did, he, he did a show. And in every single game, he was collapsing tunnels and breaking people's tools, and then wasn't a bad guy at the end. <laughs> is it, is it what? He said he's like, but I thought I was supposed to sabotage. People. <laughs> is it because he had a red hat? Oh, I love that. Oh, how will, Such an I, I played with people as well, and all these people being like, "How will I know if I'm the saboteur?" And I'm like, "You will not." It, it. It, it literally says that, it. Was that night. I was my what leaving drinks family? from. Yeah our old job oh, and I was wasted because people kept buying me drinks and then Callum and I were the saboteurs I would just like to point out saboteur is not on this list no. and I have yes. to be somewhere tonight fair enough <laughs> and fine. anyway so 22.5 up to uh, sorry 22.7 to 22.5 another game that has suffered from do not plays unfortunately I'm very curious to see where this game plays when we play it a little bit more play it at higher difficulties and with different spirits Spirit Island. Oh, I didn't oh. even rank that highly. 
Yeah, but there was we only a few of us played and a few of us had to leave. Yeah, yeah. so we didn't oh, get the yeah. full experience. That's true. Yeah. So, I, I think this is a game that could prove to be absolutely incredible. Yep. We just haven't seen it at its best yet. What was it that you wanted to compare it to? I wanted to compare it to Power Rangers. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah so. that's fine. You wait till the end of the stream when so, it's at number one. Yeah. Because... <laughs> <laughs> and that's fair, but to be honest, Spirit Island is, I think, the best co-op game I've played. Yeah. Period. And I, played, I think I have to agree. And we played a, a fairly Better than basic... Point? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Impossible. Okay. I think it's a slightly more complex version of oh, Flashpoint, definitely almost. Definitely more complex, yeah. Which I enjoyed. Yeah. yeah. Loved it. Cool. Um, it's a game we will come back to next year when we replay it with, yes. with more spirits more. and more complex stuff. We played the entry level stuff. And the said spirits. And, yeah. and the time to play it as well. The time to play it would have been uh, something that would be enjoyable because yeah. being on stream turns took a lot long. Like, you need time to do what you want yeah. to do. Uh, so next up, in 28th place, 22.275 points, a game that is technically not released yet, but we had a lot of fun with, Peak Oil Profiteer. Ooh. Ooh. Really um, just like out of game. curiosity, which of us backed it after we played it? I was about to and then realised both of you guys did, so I was like, probably in the third copy. <laughs> so this, this was a game that we played during one of the unfortunate lockdowns here in Western Australia. We played it digitally and had a great time. Um, it was a really solid... It, like, like, I don't even know how you describe this game. There's just so many little things yeah. constantly moving. It feels like a moving. light Euro. Yeah. yeah. It's not quite area control. A light Euro, Euro black comedy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was like... It was a really cool theme it's without... It's all about corruption and fighting yeah. over oil. Yeah. It was... Yeah. It was and, and oil covered comedy. I yeah, well, it, was... it did that without... Sorry, Chris. No, 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 sorry. It did that I'm, without I'm making joking. light of the... The topic. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, because the way I thought it was interesting as well is because uh, you're all playing one an against one another, and it's it's pseudo like area control. But actually, the factions. No one is the, a faction or this mm. faction or that faction. You're actually extorting and pinning factions against one another and causing warfare. Mm. Yeah, and it, it just I don't know. The whole game felt so horrible. While you, you were, were doing a it. You're puppeteer. Like an evil overlord. You're you are a yeah. puppeteer over three different countries because you are there to make money and nothing else. Yeah, yeah, so like the money is the only thing that mattered and it was like, wow. Oh, oh boy. It, was, it made me want to be a peak oil profiteer. <laughs> it was also... Maybe you want to start a proxy war. <laughs> it was really unique and it's something I've only seen in something else, which was War of Whispers. Mm. So War of Whispers had a similar concept. Yeah. Um, except Peak Oil Profiteer, obviously, I think it just clicked a little bit better for so me. When, when does it come out? Uh, next they... Yeah. It's going to printing soon. So yeah. we'll probably play it. We'll probably play it next year. Yeah, yeah, With your copies. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so next up, just ahead, that was 22.275. This is 22.25. Um, this is another game that absolutely everyone has played and given an opinion on, called Two Girls 1667. This was in two people's top there. 10. Tortuga. I fucking hate Tortuga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lucky. Right, I hate that it. Just can so always much. just attack you though? Oh, dude. It's yeah. exactly like, like the, Billy, the Billy problem. It's like every game yeah. I played, it's just like, fuck Lachlan. Everything is going back. Yes, and even yes. when I'm on a team with Billy, he's still fucking us over and going for the other team. And so then it's like, it's got that tug of war aspect of it. But he's on the other team, and so it's like, you've got teams, and you're the only one working for the fucking English team, and you're just like, why do I play this game? If, if it's like four <laughs> against one. And like, you, your movement sucks, like, trying to move around. <laughs> oh. to move yeah, like, all those things you're complaining about, how limited it is, it makes it so interesting as to who you can trust, you want to punish them. I love it. I think it's great. Best, I've had it. Best Dark City 10. I, I, I can't I wait to play it with Lachlan again next year. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. I mean, I really it's a good too. I like, yeah. I like the board yeah. mat and the little treasure yeah. chest. And the fact that it all fits into a book that's yeah. on a bookshelf. Yeah. That's I've so just, I, I do really like Tortuga, but I do think I agree with Lachlan on a lot of points. It's like either oh. your teammate doesn't know what the fuck they're doing, Dude. and so you just wind up losing because nobody knows what they're doing. Mm. Uh, you can't figure out uh, the agendas that people are playing towards, so you're just like, am I, am I, am I helping or am I hurting? I don't care. And then, of course, like it actually is something that I've seen quite a lot. People get on a boat, and then the captain will immediately vote to kick Tom off onto Tortuga or kick Lachlan off onto Tortuga. It is 
it is very quickly becoming my resistance. Like oh, I yes. strongly dislike resistance yeah, yeah. because resistance is so dependent on it, the people you play it, with. Dude, it's it's yeah. like I have had good games with this game. Like I have had good games playing Tortuga. To play with us. But <laughs> it's like exactly. It's like because we've played so much Tortuga, it has very much got that meta, and that meta is very much like fuck me, Tom and Billy. Like yeah. immediately. Oh, and we even, it. And, so much and it's yes. like and then when you, you start the game and you're like, we're gonna have a good game this time, and then immediately you get kicked off here on Tortuga and you're at the back of the line. Sweet. Can't do anything to do anything else. From that point, you can't. you're at the back of the line, you can't get on a rowboat and get back onto the ship, because as soon as you get back on the ship, you get kicked back to Tortuga. As soon as you try and start a brawl, hey. you can't do anything. So, so that's when you just collect snacks. all the black spots and the, the white gulls and whatever, and just give yeah. them to the captain so that he gets ejected Good. immediately. Good fucking... Yeah, I, I tried, man. Yeah. I fucking... There is, there is that... I, I, I enjoy Tortuga. I, th I think I rated it somewhere in the middle. Um, I think... I there is rated it around 20 to 25. Do we yeah. have, <laughs> do we have <laughs> bowls for those? Um, uh, behind me, but bowls? they're tiny. Like, there is yeah, a definite loop on stuck in it of being so kicked cool. in the back of the line bowls. and then being stuck there. When I played, I immediately got kicked to Tortuga, but then I was like, you know what, no, King of pieces. Tortuga, and I stayed as whatever it's, whatever it's called, yeah. Duke yeah. of Tortuga. Yeah. Tortuga. Governor. 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 For like 90% of the game. Hold on top of and just influence the game from there. I felt like you could still do actions. That's basically yeah, what I'm with you on that one. Because it sucks when you get kicked off. It's like, man feels bad, and you're at the back of the line, and you're like, oh, it's going to take me 10 turns to get back on the ship, and by then they'll just kick me off again. So then you just say, okay, what's my plan B? Well, there are treasure chests on Tortuga, so I still can influence yeah, no. the game. Also, I'm still gaining cards and things. It's not like you're a, a Cylon where you're uh, in Battlestar, where you're totally ejected from the game. You've had your big kahuna, and that's it. You don't have any more actions. Yeah, I, I You're think, still doing things. I think ultimately it's a very middle-of-the-road game. Right? Mm, like yeah. it's, it's one that... A lot of us have fun with a it's lot a of solid us seven out of ten. It's a solid <laughs> seven out of ten. Uh, it is. Uh, but yeah, so I, and we can sit here all day and debate yeah. Yeah. Uh, whether Tortuga is a good game or whether people just have bad opinions. And people are gonna love, <laughs> people are only gonna love and hate it because it's a competitive game, right? Like you have that. You've got to butt heads, and you've got to try and do something. But man, so many times I'm like trying back myself, trying so hard for the team that you're on, and it just feels like you're getting nowhere. And you've got like, it's an even number. There's only like one person who's not on a team mm. who's in neutral ground. But it and seems only like if you play with an even yeah. amount of players. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Um, so next one, exactly 22 points, and this is our halfway point of the stream. So we're going to do Secret Santa after this. Ooh. Uh, a game that I really love, but I wish we could get to the table more. Another game that is a quicker version of another game, Mysterium Park. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good yeah. game. I had so much fun playing this with people that I didn't know yeah. because it's so quick and easy to teach, and then the weird mind game trying to understand people is such a... It's so interesting, and I love playing it with you guys as well. I love playing it with chat. I love Mysterium, and this is just a quicker, easier version of Mysterium. Yeah, I prefer this to Mysterium. Like, yeah. this is better than Mysterium. Okay. I yeah. love Mysterium, I haven't played Mysterium Park. Mysterium so Park games. is a condensed version. Yeah. Yeah. There's no need for, like, that person behind. It's just two rounds, and you don't move on to the next round until everyone's completed the first round. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Easy. Honestly, so, yeah. Uh, Did you guys put that on, like, yep. carnival-y? Yeah. 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 yeah, I saw some of that stream. Banger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, honestly, yeah. I think it is a better, more condensed version of Mysterium. Um, Does it get over the um, abstract brain part of Mysterium? Oh god, no. no, no, it, no, no. It, it, <laughs> it goes straight in for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the fun part of Mysterium. <laughs> Except when people yell at you because you thought you made a legitimate connection, and they're like, "This doesn't make any sense. You're an idiot." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine and that. Then you but, feel bad. But you don't know the people. Yeah. Okay. Wild. But yeah, Beck. You know, <laughs> final words on Mysterium Park. Solid seven out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It looks fun though. Let's yeah, let's do fun. some some presents. It's presents. Secret Santa. Ooh. We've all all brought gifts to give other people. Do um, we? Oh, no. What? Oh, crap. Shit. <laughs> someone grab something and give it to someone. All right, all right, Lucky, get that big green one right near you. Oh, big green one right near me. Uh, for, whom, for whom is it? It's for Tom. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's for me. Oh camera. God, that is that is heavy. Come on right. in, Here, Tom. hold this for me. What is it? This is from moi. Oh, oh, it's some oh, big bubble stuff. The day after we were talking about injecting meat with an injector, I went to Bunnings and bought a thing. We played, <laughs> played Boss Room's Vine at Lockie's place, and you were like, man, I really want a big syringe to inject sauce into pies. <laughs> the next day, Lockie sends me a Snapchat of that syringe and goes, Secret Santa, done. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> really Wonderful. Just imagine, like, Tom said that and Lachlan's just gone... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. I was going to yeah. get bottles, but it's real hard to get variety oh, yeah. of bottles that aren't expensive. Did you forget I'm not drinking at the moment? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, I, I knew that, but I was like, you can have no, it's good. These, these are perfect. Beers. It means I don't have to go get fancy beers for when I'm at like parties and stuff. But hey, it's Knuckle Tom, Park. Tom, no, sorry. The best part you, is I on the other you. side where it has a can opener. That's oh my wonderful. That's I love nice. that. This is my party drink. Squilo, what else do I get? Uh, we got ants in your pants. Ants in your pants. So we got, we got Guaylo, which is a fucking banger sour. Yeah. Banger we got ants, ants in your pants by uh, Pirate Life. Pirate Life suck, but the name's cool. Um, Dude, hang on. Pause. Do you know the gimmick of that beer? No. It's brewed with ants. Li literally. Oh, I thought that was ants. a joke. No, don't. They, there are really ants in that beer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm, have fun. Uh, they they use green ants, ethically sourced, you know, bee company, whatever, <gasps> green ants, and they throw them in the mash. <laughs> there well, are yeah. ants in that beer. I've tried it. It doesn't taste like ants. I was expecting, you know, when you step on an ant yeah. and it smells horrible. Like I ants. was like, no, but oh, people no. eat green ants. Yeah, <laughs> they don't major smell Tom. like ants. We have one that is Major Tom. Nice. So, nice. that's good. Um. Oh yeah, we got the knuckle puck one, and we got the knuckle puck, and we've also got the uh, golden syrup thing, and then you've got a um, tingle top because that's always oh. good because the <laughs> bottle I actually it's bought you. It's empty. <laughs> yeah. I bought you a bottle, and it was too big and fit in there. So makes sense. Thank you. You, can, you should probably put that in the fridge now. That's prob probably. Um, I yeah, don't think there's room in the fridge, but... Uh, me and Lachlan were hanging out, and Lachlan's like, yeah, I'm getting Tom beers uh, for, for Secret Santa, and I'm like, okay. And then Lachlan's like, I don't know what to get him. And I'm just like, uh, ants in your pants, give him this. Uh, Knuckle Puck, it's named after a band oh. that he likes. <laughs> so really, the gift is from you. No, 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 it's from Lachlan. <laughs> Lachlan, Lachlan picked most of it. I don't want to take any credit for it. I was just like, I was yeah. just there. But I also believe in gifts that, you know, Please. will go to good use and not yeah. just hang around in his... Life. Forever. Yep. Nice. Alright, Sammy, I'm up next. Sure. Sure, yeah, sure. sure. Eh, eh, eh. Oh. 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 Kind of. Oh, nice. 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 Woo. 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 The big one. Merry Christmas. Right. There are way easier ways to get full well, acid while Kai is beer. unwrapping it, Tom wrapped it this morning, and I was like, do you want me to wrap it so it doesn't suffer from Tom's board state syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a real thing. Dude, oh, you I can wrap things hell, nicely. Yeah. I choose not to. Oh my god, Tom! Excellent. <laughs> song. I was thinking yesterday I need a new pair of pluggers. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Simpsons related paraphernalia. Excellent. Oh, Kai, it's a Simpsons Tom. reference. I've got a Simpsons hat. I'm going to wear that for the rest of the stream. <laughs> and some undies. Amazing. Excellent. No, Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Wear them over your shorts. Awesome. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. You know I was like, does Kai wear thongs? That's so good. Oh, he uh, does now. I was have have you met? I was like, no. <laughs> I, need, I need some thongs. He's from That's Mandra, amazing. isn't that like a staple? God damn. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. Those are going to be from like Australia, dress thongs. isn't it a staple? <laughs> So that's your whole costume sorted. Yeah, right. Down to the beach, just the undies on and the hair. Yeah. I was I was this close to wearing my Simpsons shorts today. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done it. You're, you're like oh. mumbo, like fucking. Yeah, my mumbo. I should have gone full Simpsons. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I'm, you join yeah, that flat one at mm -hmm. the bottom there. Yep. Beck, this is for you. Oh. Oh, you put ribbon on it. I'm not smart enough for ribbon. <laughs> did you wrap it or did you just? I wrapped it, just did the ribbon. Okay. <laughs> well, then I was you sat just... there trying to work out how to do it. And she was just watching me and I was like... Dude, I wrapped, I wrapped Tom's and because of the shape, it's not just a, a rectangle. Yeah. It was a fucking clusterfuck. And Cheryl was just like... Tom's and a hat? Like, Cheryl was like, I uh, want to wrap this for you. And I'm like, it's fine, it's for Tom. Yeah, <laughs> Wrapping things nicely is stupid. I will die on this hill. Just, just, just. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna rip. Yeah, but if you're gonna rip into it anyway, the fun part is opening it, not how pretty it is. Also, you got hella drunk the other day, so fuck you. You're not drinking. I'm only drinking at events. <laughs> oh. Wait, is this my cat? That is Gary. <laughs> put it, put it, put it down so we can. Oh, closer. Oh my god. <laughs> And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Do you have any idea how hard it was to find a good photo of Gary? <laughs> uh, I have to imagine not very, because no, uh, he has his own Instagram. 
Oh, really? I yeah. <laughs> I dug through Discord <laughs> for 45 minutes to find one where it was a straight on photo of Gary. <laughs> yeah. photos of Gary are him like smooshed up against a keyboard or like doing something cute or weird. It took so long to find a picture of Gary just looking hey, at the hey, camera. Hey, hey, hi, did you know my cat has an Instagram? I do. <laughs> you want to you plug your cat's that. Instagram? And- what a, what a it's gift. actually a combo Instagram between a cat and a dog. It's called Gary Cat and Millie Dog. So it is. Very I'll have to go follow that. Man. Yeah, it's very original. That, that is I love so that. Good. I love so that so much. Good. He's an astronaut. He, is an astronaut. <laughs> he could be an astronaut or like a, a uh, like Victorian. Well, the amount of buttons he pushes, he sure thought, is an astronaut. You know he what? definitely <laughs> is an astronaut. That man is on his way to the fucking moon. <laughs> <laughs> and you are over the moon. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That is awesome. Right, Probably yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let the trail. Hey. Hey. Oh, All right. Yeah, I got nothing to give because I already gave my. Yeah, away. this one. Oh, right. we'll, have to start. Oh, no. we'll have to start. And, and, and nobody else gets present. No. <laughs> I would like to point beam. out, I used three pieces of tape for this, and that is my crowning achievement. Well done. Oh, oh, Nick. What is that? All right, we've got a shirt, and we've got a comic book. Ooh. We got Blade Runner. 20, oh, yeah. nice. which is pretty rad. Sick. Does it have that new comic book smell? I yes. Oh. Did, <laughs> I did try and find an Avatar comic book, but I was unable to do so. Also, I was looking at it this morning, and I was like, I think this might be like the second in a series. So incentive to buy more. <laughs> <laughs> it's like buying yeah. someone magic cards. Yeah, you're, gonna buy you're not metal. buying the magic cards. You're buying them the addiction. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hell yeah. The first, the first uh, it's always free. Who doesn't love comics? Uh, uh, you don't like patterns on the front. Oh, no way! <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cool. I like, I like little pocket patterns. And stuff. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't find a good one, so. <laughs> Fair enough. I figured if you find Hell, a nice patch, yeah, you can put it on the front. Neon characters from Futurama. So, right. that's really cool. We got the crew. Hell yeah. No, and it's got that new t shirt smell, too. It does. It, it, yeah. yeah, it's very vinegary. It's really not quite as nice um, as the comic books. No. Here. I'm afraid to wash things that have a print on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'll give it to someone else to wash. Merry Christmas. Uh, cool. Uh, Bree, do you want to give your gift out since you were the next one at the table? All right. In turn sequence. This is you, and I finished it this morning, so <laughs> don't say that. No, no, no. He's you supposed finished to say, it ages. Yeah, it was all good. Oh, a treasure map. <laughs> Where's the X? Certificate of blue tech. Hang on. Of he's, blue tech. He's lost. So certificate. Which I'm just checking to see if it's spelled right. Of the blue token, this is awarded to Billy Grayson for one year from today. Billy will be awarded the color blue in all games pertaining with the player Brianna Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> it's in documentation now. This is invaluable. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's signed by Brianna Clements, the blue token lover, and it's officiated by Tom Moore, Nerds of the West. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a official man. That's, 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 that's a like, no, like, yes. Dude, the that's next time true, you, okay. we'll set up a game and Bree's like, I'm going to take the blue. And you're like, not nah. today. <laughs> I'm going to have to have that. You're going to have that folded up in your yeah, wallet. Right. <laughs> well, actually. He's going to laminate that and just keep it in his back pocket. Yeah. yeah oh, you're God. Not Ribbons are my way. worst nightmare. Yeah. Just, just yeah. 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 Is it fragile? Let me just. Fragile has been jammed into your letterbox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So I'm hoping oh, they'll oh. fit because I didn't. I didn't Hell I yeah, I know like, exactly what this yeah. is. Yeah. They might be a bit big. Are these yeah. dog oh. bandages? Yeah. Oh, 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 that's cute. That is awesome. That's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> They were they our got first the prototype. And the finger it guns. Will. And they're double-sided. They are right? double-sided as well, yes. Hell so, yeah. That's awesome. Thorn's about to become a member. <laughs> <laughs> and Bears. Yeah. Oh, oh, blue Bears. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you. That's very nice, yeah. That's awesome. DIY by Brianna and her mum this morning. <laughs> you mean... <laughs> 
six weeks ago when you got oh, Billy as your... No, 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 I had the idea for ages. When you got your, I lost your name. fabric. Did you get your name or did you get <laughs> No, I, I got... She oh, got her yeah, own name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I've been hunting for the fabric for like three days because it got lost somewhere in my house and me and Tamara just couldn't find it. So yeah. it came together though, it's okay. Awesome. It's behind. I definitely we're, didn't... We're going to need all the photos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know how hard it is to actually find a dog bandana? <laughs> well, no, you don't have to. Yeah, you're good. Well, I'd imagine very hard because they had to be made. Yes. <laughs> Every time I go anywhere, I'm like, you got dog bandanas? And they're like, no. Uh, are, are, are you sure? You go, what if your dog abandoned or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, they have yeah. got too many stores. That's, um... <laughs> he currently uses a camouflaged M&M color club. That was <laughs> like... Is he even gonna put it on his dog? I'm like, yes, I have photo evidence. <laughs> <laughs> so I just hope they fit. All right, Billy, who's next? It is for Chris. Aww. Well, there you go. A nice. new bag. A new bag. <laughs> A new pair of earrings. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? Uh, it's Gwyneth Paltrow's uh, head. It's actually. What's in your box? <laughs> oh, it's actually it. an engagement gift for Krilly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're actually proposing to me. <laughs> what is it? And hang on it's, a a, it's, a, it's a ring? A puzzle oh, ring? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's open. It looks like a yes. letter, so I was like... Ooh. No, it's the bottom of the box, apparently. That's it confused incredible. me, too. Uh, for a moment, I was like, oh, this is going to be like, will you marry me? And it's going to be <laughs> a, a, a love sonnet <laughs> documentation. <laughs> That's I'm Billy and his poetry. Time. Do you mind if I open it? Yeah, sure. It's so your it, it's, it's a little, hearing. it's a puzzle, but it's a ring at the same time. Yeah, that's cute. That's cool. I take no responsibility if it makes you angry. Can you? Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's amazing. Thank you, Billy. That's rad. <laughs> and wicked pen too. Um, Australian. Recent, you know yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. It's coming. Okay. Yeah, is, it, is it one of I've done the maths. Is... I figured <laughs> out who my super so is. Well, that's crazy. Yeah. What? No way. Well, to be fair, we're all handing them to each other. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Because we didn't label any of them. The except first for you. puzzle is opening the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I guess that was the puzzle, right? Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, yes. oh boy. You've yeah. unsolved yeah. it. You're fine. You're fine. That's a really big ring. Wow. Oh, it's not a, oh, it's one of those rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's even, it's like totally in there. Like, you can put your like, that puzzle is you getting it out. You put that on your wrist, mate. That's... <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll sort this out while someone else is having their gift. Because I feel like this is going to take a long time to solve. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. That was really sweet. All right. All right. Well, Chris, you're up. Well, Reese, it might not be very big. I'm, I'm really sorry. I just thought, you know... <laughs> a card, a card is probably good enough. Good enough. <laughs> I'm worried. Single, <laughs> just before, like, Merry single time ago. Uh, <laughs> you were here. Yeah, it's a black lotus now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, I will shit myself. <laughs> probably I literally <laughs> says no, Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's not a black lotus, I'm afraid. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Reese, tell the class. It's it's did, did bit you, further, bit further, you, bit further, yeah. bit further. Oh, Chris made a I to uh, manufacture it. Uh, Chris did a custom art Titania for Ooh. my commander deck. That's my favorite Magic Commander. Does, <laughs> does I, I is anyone so. else bothered by the fact <laughs> yes. they can't read some of the writing? No, that's what I, I fully I'm understand sure what the Chris knows. Does. Does. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what bothers me. What is the custom art? Um, so it's painted it's all the way. Yeah, we can't quite yeah, see. It's it. just. Uh, that's fine. Simple it's for Reese extension. anyway. Yeah, it's it's all right. You'll you'll see it on uh on a magic stream next year. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. That's that's so fucking rad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping you like I was like shit. I totally know it's his favorite card, but I'm like, is it? Oh god, <laughs> yeah. I'm panicking now. No, it's like you have to troll through all the back card. of the binder episodes that are on YouTube, by the way, yeah. to see if he ever says this is my favorite card. Yeah. Cause, Cause, cause cause at, at first, I thought it was just the full art card, which is what I, I've been looking for that for a while. Oh yeah. And then I'm like, hold on, there's like other stuff. I'm like, oh no, he's actually painted. It looks so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. Mm -hmm. So that's going straight into the deck when I get home. That's like <laughs> straight oh, to the pool room. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. Thank you so much. All right, and then uh, Reese's. Bria would reach across the table to give it to you, but you're right in front of it. So. <laughs> yep. No, oh. uh, don't. 
There's a there's a there's a sticker on the front that says keep this way up. At all oh, times. Where? So unfold it from <laughs> yeah, the bottom. Okay. It's very fragile. Unfold it from the bottom. <laughs> there's l- glass. <laughs> How did you wrap it? Uh, <laughs> very difficulty. <laughs> very difficulty. <Yeah. laughs> The hardest difficulty. Right, Very. There. Just, just this may be a harder puzzle than Chris's ring. <laughs> How do I learn? Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Who's oh. the lucky man? Shiny rocks. So <laughs> it's so strange. Yeah, there you go. Shiny rocks. <laughs> so it's a goblin <gasps> box. Um, it's actually made by uh, one of our members of the community, Lizard Kitty. Oh Can you put it on the, um, oh the, 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 yeah. Wow, oh interesting. There, there's also a card. I don't know what's on the card. Okay, <laughs> all right. We'll, we'll, we'll discover this together, shall we? Yeah. Okay. So what's in it? Uh, so it's like different rocks, knickknacks. Uh, there's some it jewelry in there. Uh, some bones. Well, there's there's one way to put it. Uh, so like, I I got Brie and I instantly panicked. I'm like, oh, I don't know what what to get Brie. Brie is girl. What give? <laughs> yeah, what what to get girl? Um, and, and then um, Lizzie Kitty posted on her Facebook that she was making these, and I sent them to Tom, and I'm like, hey, does it's a bean. <laughs> It totally is. <laughs> Hang on. A little chibi. Oh, no. Little chibi no, dick. Down a bit, down a bit, down a bit. There we go. Little chibi dick. <laughs> oh, and a nat 20. It's got stickers. And is that oh, from Hayden? That is yeah. a yes. grunt, absolutely. Oh, my that's God. A, that's that's a, a, like, and the like, one ring. It's the legendary difficulty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. You know good. what? I don't Halo good, all right? Star Wars Republic. Star Wars. Star Wars. New Republic. What's that from? Halloween. The garden. <laughs> yes. So yeah, there's there's some extra goodies and stuff for you. Um, I feel like we'll we'll need to take this one away just really cool. for a little bit. But yeah, um, <laughs> it's just an adorable mole rat. And, and the card. <laughs> the naked mole rat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Cool. Well, so. contents card. <laughs> yep. Cute. Yeah. Wonderful. I, I was like, I think Brie would like this. So. That's really cool. Oh my gosh. Very cool, but the way that she like, you know, said bones. Like yeah, that was like, actually terrifying. I, I think she checked the with me, and I was like, yes, get free bones. Yeah. I, I, I did send it to Tom, and I was like, is this something Brie would like? And he's like, she would love it. And I'm like, cool, <laughs> it's your fault if she doesn't. Star Wars badge. I feel like it's really brought out the goblin in her. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think that's the whole point of the goblin <laughs> Um. So, yeah, no worries. Merry Christmas. Mer- Merry Christmas, Merry one Christmas. and all. Merry Christmas, everyone. All right, let's shit on more board games. Okay. More yeah. board games. My favorite. Let's get back to it. This is the halfway point, 24 out of, well, not quite the halfway point, 24 out of 52, but also 23 out of 52. We have our first exact tie. Ooh. 21.875 points. Cockroach Poker and Korra, <laughs> Rise of an Empire. Ooh. Cockroach Poker was bottom of my list. Ooh. Do not like that game, don't want to play it. Oh, really? I played that game twice, that's all you need to play. That game has the same strat every single time you play it. Pass unless you unless you can't, and then it's a 50-50 guess. Who cares? Bad game, I hate it. <laughs> I was wow. not expecting yeah. that at all. I wasn't that negative, <laughs> oh but it's the same thing. I only played it once and I was kind of like, I played it, I didn't hate it. But so I, don't I remember, want, the, I remember the first time. So Tom, is this tied with something else? Yep. Yeah, uh, Korra, Rise of an Empire. Oh, I haven't played Korra, but I guarantee it's better than Cockroach Breaker. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I played that. I played that game twice. It was fun the first two times. The third time, time was frustrating. <laughs> Every time after that, have yep. enjoyed. I it. just think it's the perfect bluffing game. Like there's just the, there's, there's little no elements. There's little. In the bl- Everyone says it's a bluffing game, but it doesn't matter <laughs> because all you do is pass. Is that how yeah. I looked when I was talking about Battlestar? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you, you just, you, someone says it's a rat and gives it to you. It doesn't fucking matter because you just pass it to the next person, <laughs> and then it gets the last person in line who has to flip it. And then it's a 50-50 guess. Who cares? There's nothing to go off of when they're bluffing. You can't analyse anything to work out if it's a bluff or not. It doesn't matter. Nothing you do in that game matters. It can play itself. Billy, did you say you put this in your top ten? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he made him cry. <laughs> oh, he is. He's crying. Oh, God. Oh, God, Billy, are you OK? I'm laughing. <laughs> it's so funny how much he hates it. Uh, yeah. If this game was as long as this then, I'd hate it as much. Dude, I can't believe that, like, 
Because I think when, when we played it, the first time we played it, we were in tears. We were laughing so yeah. much. Like, you guys didn't get it at first, and then after two rounds, you were like, dude, it's a wrap. Yeah. It's we only fun <laughs> while you don't get it. Dude, we <laughs> laughed our heads off. We were like, had tears in our eyes from how funny it was the first time. The, the second time was still funny, not as funny. Third time was still a good game. It just didn't have that same laugh, but it definitely had that, like, mind games that you That's because you it only might. takes two five-minute games to work out there is only one strat. No. There really? is there is, there is no, no strat. Way. Like, no way, because Billy has had I'm a hot troll. streaks. Billy and, like, when you get a hot streak and you just fucking shit on someone because they don't know what the fuck to think, you're like, you have them but in your trap. But if you shit on, you just pass. No, and then you can't no. get got. Yeah, but then Billy's the one who after, like, not even the last person, he's like, no. Nah. And he messes with you. Anyway, Korra Rise of an Empire. <laughs> Fun game. Solid midweight Euro game. Chris, Good thoughts? Game. Totally my second from the top. Whoa! Uh, yeah, I like it. It's good. It's was, very well Was Pokemon your number one? No. <laughs> <laughs> who no. wrote these as well? I'm curious. Uh, printer. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna... Um, who typed them? Uh, majority mostly was Where my little maker? I was just saying the poke. There's so many issues. One. I was going to say yeah. earlier on, but I didn't want to break the flow. There's one game in there where the O's it's are a zeros. zeros. Yeah. I, I, like, I wanted to see who would notice. Oh, oh, we noticed. That was um, number like 75 out of 100, and I got bored. <laughs> we haven't gotten to it yet, but I enjoy how we've ranked the artificial sweetness blender. And <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. That was him. That oh, was anyway, Cora. Cora. Cora, yeah. Rise of an Empire. Who played it? Who didn't like it? Oh, I've played it. Uh, it was okay. Oh. Like, but in my defense, I played it once as our play test. I didn't play it on stream or anything like that. And I had it in my list of, I need to play this again before I rank it. And it was good. Like, I did enjoy it. I just don't think that, like, all the mechanics that work together didn't really do a lot for me. You know when you've got, like, heavy, like, mechanic games where there's, like, lots happening? Yeah. But the game itself is just like, meh. Like, it didn't really do it for me. I do need to play it again, 100%. But it just didn't like. It wasn't like a fantastic. It wasn't like Heaven and Ale, right? Yeah. Like Heaven and Ale, fucking slaps. Cora was like, I'd play it again, no problem. I mean, I played over fucking Battle Star for sure. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought you loved that game. Love it. Um, I think the reason why I liked this game so much is that uh, I had just finished reading a bunch of Stephen Fry books about ancient Greece. So, <laughs> what that meant was Cora, because it's based in ancient Greece scratched a lot of itches that I was currently having. Yeah. Mm. So I love ancient Greece, I love history, I love those kinds of things. And so Cora was like, here's ancient Greek cities. And you're yeah. living in that era. And I was like, fuck yeah. I do love ancient Greece. Really. I, I think it was the same as Lachlan for me. We, we played it as part of the play test. And once <laughs> finished playing it, I was like, I mean, it was, yeah, it was all right. I just had no desire to want to play it again. Yeah. Like, I, th I think it's like just like I would play it again, but. Only if the other people were like, oh, we want to play Korra. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yes. okay, I'll play it. I, I feel like it's one of those games where it just really vibes with some people, and for mm. some people it's like, it's a midweight Euro game, they've mm -hmm. played it, they've played a hundred more like it. Yeah. It's good, it's not bad. It's, it's a, inoffensive. Yeah, it's pretty much very similar to Concordia, <laughs> Terra Mystica, any game where you're trying to manage resources, but, mm. and it's like, it's totally not like, I'm gonna screw this guy over, it's rather kind of the opposite. It's like, I can't really interact with what someone else is doing. You just gotta do better You're than just someone. building your own yeah. stuff. But if you want a full rundown of Cora, please, for us, please <laughs> check out our uh, top games from 2021, yeah, where Chris goes through a Chris full said this is his number two, but he put it as his number one for the video. Yeah. I did, yeah. I'm curious to see what your number one is then. Now that now that you've lied to us and the people you at home. You lied to us. It wasn't Chris. I did, I subverted your expectations. Well, I mean, with, with, with the, the video, we tried to make it games that came out like super recently. Mm, yeah. That's true. Yeah. So yeah. it could have just been an old game that Chris liked. Pokemon Master Trainer was probably number one on this list. He's like, you know, it's for kids. Uh, it came out 22 years ago. Huh. Yeah. It was probably ahead of its time back then, number one. So fucking chocolate, man. You Dude, guys I, want like... a, I want a chomp, but Brie keeps taking all the chomps. Oh, I'm, I've only had one chomp. I couldn't see any in there and Let's I was sad. See. Can I have a chomp? Let me see what I can do. Pepper, do you want to share? Just tip him out. Just tip him out. Tip him out. Tip. Tip him out. Tip. Tip. Oh, thank you. Does anybody else want to chomp? Everybody have a chomp. Everybody wants a chomp. Caramel. All right. I can't 
eat a lot of the rest of these. And so I was eating the chomp. Oh, okay. Well, also, chomp. interestingly, why don't you have this chomp? Though, just no, no, go the, for it. the next game is a game that we have all rated, and then the next game is once again another tie. Oh. oh. So in 22nd and 21st, so tie 21st, Splendor mm-hmm. and uh, Power yep. Grid. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. all right. <laughs> yep. Mm. So I, is, oh, is yeah, we've, we've talked about I mean, this already. We've it's talked about this, and I, you, sounds like I'm going to have... You piece of shit. I'm, I'm going to have to answer for some of the things yep. I did to that game. All right. Power Hello. Grid. It is at the very bottom of my list. What I will never shit. play it you ever again. Dog. I will never play it again in my life. Wow. It, there is every other game of that type that does that thing better. I'm passionately against Power Grid. Never play it again. You yeah. rated Power Grid below cooperative games. Yep. What the fuck? I, I, I was over his shoulder while he was doing it, and I had a bitch fit. I was. <laughs> what the fuck, Billy? <laughs> to be fair, most of the cooperative games got a DMP for me because I didn't play them. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, hey guys, we're playing a cooperative game today. Who wants in? Don't worry, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants in? Removes Billy from chat. And a spinning chair. Mm. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> I, I do love Power Grid. I love the maths, I love the thinking, I love the calculator of it. You need to be a mentat to really get it, but just play when you see points. the matrix and see your path for the next three rounds and then oh. have to figure out who you can beat to do that path right, just pay love it. Like, it's like, I, I, I am not a real big lover of heavy games because of the mental gymnastics that you have to do, but Power Grid scratches my itch like there's no tomorrow, and it's one of those games where you're just like, all right, and you'll do it. You've got like several like equations and like additions in your head going, this route costs this much, this route costs this much, you need to take this much. There's a lot of math in that game and normally other like math heavy games i'm like eh, i'd rather play a party game or something that's a little bit more lighthearted, unless you're really in the mood but power grid is so fun and it's so good to cut people off where you can and like did you play pipeline with us no i didn't get a chance to play pipeline. so my little brother was just asking me for board game recommendations and he's like i'm gonna take uh, for his for his uh, family-in-law um, he was like, I'm going to take Power Grid. Their favorite game is Pipeline. And I'm like, Pipeline is Power Grid on steroids. Mm-hmm. Pipeline is Power Grid with even more stuff going on. Mm-hmm. And the market for pa- Power Grid is so good. I really enjoy Power Imagine Grid. Imagine that, but there's like three markets. I think you just have to be in the mood to get yeah. for a heavy 100%. game. You have, do, mm-hmm. you have to be ready to commit to Power Grid. It's, it's a path that a lot of people seem to take. Is You get into board games, you get into medium games, you get into heavy games, and then you fall back to medium games because yeah. heavy games take a lot out of you. Power yeah. Grid's really good, but it has to be like planned. We're playing Power Grid. Get you get mentally snack. prepared for mm, it, you right? Need you need to all go to I, the yeah, I mean, yeah. I've, I've suggested that if we play Power Grid on stream, that we would need calculators and notepads. So that, that way you can have all your fucking shit written down so we don't have to take time out of the turn to like that's, do it. That's a big thing playing. Did we play, we play Power Grid on stream. No. We did. Yeah. No. I was like, Wait, what? I was like yeah. yeah. We, I think last year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Power Grid for me is the kind of game where I'm like, I don't like heavy games. And then I play Power Grid and in the last two turns I'm standing to make sure I have a full view of the board <laughs> yeah. to make sure I'm getting as much information as I Bro, possibly can for I all the stuff I currently we, have. when we played this down south. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, everybody. Oh, we, we got two hours to kill before we have to go out for dinner. And then like we were halfway through the game when we went out for dinner <laughs> and we came back and everyone else is like, all right, let's party, woo. And all of us playing the game just like, nah. Someone did a photo of all of us <laughs> standing, <laughs> looking at the board. Uh, all of us, hands on chins. <laughs> yeah. oh. it, was, it, was, it was an iconic moment, and that's why I love this game. It, it didn't matter that turns were taking so long because everyone needed as much time as possible yeah. to yeah. be like, how do I... Win. Like, we'll and win. It was a tight game. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, like, it was a, like, really it was a very game. close game. And that was awesome for that scenario where we had all the time in the world. Yeah. We were on holiday. We could have been at it all night if we, we wanted to. We could have been up until but 2 a.m. If, like, if we did play that on stream in that same scenario, I would have fucking hated it because it's similar to Australia where it's just like, let's just fucking end the game. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you've got to be somewhere. Yep. Great game. Yeah. game circumstances. All right. Splendor that's on par with it. Uh, anyone got hot takes on Splendor? Oh, Great game. Uh, Splendor's a solid game. I don't like Splendor. Yeah, Bree, uh, what did you think of Splendor? Uh, Bree. Yeah. 
uh, I played it for the first time this year and I won on my first game and I was like, yay! I, I believe the actual quote was, I have no idea what I'm doing, wins game. <laughs> you, you put it in your top five. Yeah, no, because I had a lot Because you won. Yeah. No, no, I just, I like games that you have to like think of a strategy, but you're, but like... Adapting? Yeah, adapting, and it's like, yeah, other people can screw up your strategy, but not enough for it to actually, like, really, really matter. So it's like you're playing with other people. Because mm. I know some games you can have a strategy and you know how to get there, but if somebody else stops you, like, two points along that strategy, that's it, you screwed. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, Splendor's just a solid game. Definitely yeah. one of those intro games that you would go, hey, you want to play some board games and you've never played board games before? Splendor. Yeah. yeah, straight on the list. I will also say it has a good uh, digital adaption. We played it online, I think, a couple of weeks slash months ago, which was where Bree had played it for the first time. Yeah, I haven't played the physical It's okay. There's, like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just... No. They don't I don't understand the anyway. amount of love that it gets. Mm. But I get that it's uh, it's it's a set it's a set collection game that either yeah. gels with people or it doesn't. It, it medium gels yeah. with me. Like I enjoy yeah. it, but it's like I've never won a game to the point where I'm like, I love this game. Yeah. And so. we'll come back to that in a couple of turns time. Uh, now we enter our top twenty, and I just want to point out. So our, our number twenty has twenty points. Our number nineteen has nineteen points, <laughs> and Perfect. then. Our top two are the only games below 10 points. Oh. Oh. So this is tight. So is this, is this now the next section? And I the think top so. Yeah. Our top five? Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's good. I, I think we have enough room for the oh, yeah. games we got left. All right. Yeah. But I'm also just... It doesn't panicking. feel like it because there's a big <laughs> it's chunk fine. of games <laughs> um, Look, so made a lot of room with this, this, this one is also yeah. really interesting because four people put this in their top 10. Ooh. But then two people were like, Oh! Spartacus. Oh! Yeah. oh! I think that was my eh. Me and Becca eh on this game. If you put Spartacus on the table, I'll say, let's play Battlestar instead. Okay. Can I do no. 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 no way. No. The, I will say, That's a terrible I will take. Oh my, my God. <laughs> my reason for not liking Spartacus is very simple. It's a heavy political game. It depends on who you're playing with. Mm -hmm. If you have dynamics already existing in a group, then you're fucked. I like Spartacus because it's a heavy political game, and if you had to. Ditto, but opposite. What you said, the opposite, yeah. Uh, yeah. That is fantastic. Hey, here's um, my essay. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome. Oh yeah. my god, appreciate you. <laughs> Spartacus, fantastic game. Uh, we played the new version this year, which was the. Uh, Refresh art. Which is sure. why it's on the list in the first place. And the new version didn't have six players, we only played it with four people. But I think it's better was... at six. Oh yeah, 100%. Way better at six. And I think that's why I rated it lower. Yeah. But that was actually the best game of Spartacus I had ever played. Because I think the market was just like, what? Flinging backwards and forwards. We had it being like, I'm gonna put heaps of money in, I'm good, like, it's yeah. like, we're bidding for uh, to be the host, and it was like 18 coins to be the host. Yeah, it was and it was just like, it power. was just <laughs> high power, high energy, just so much fun. And for a game that is a franchise game, I know nothing, haven't watched Spartacus. I think it would be a better game if it was just a gladiator game. I mean, or like, hey, welcome to ancient Rome. Spartacus was an actual guy. I mean, oh, you, sure. you know, no, I am Spartacus. You, you can play. You don't have to have seen the show. I don't think. I don't but, think it ties the, into the show the, at all. No, no. The, the, version, no, no. That is, the, the version that I have is the uh, franchise is the, one, yeah. and the new one yeah, has right. new art that gets rid of that. But I don't think that the photo. It's like we were talking about with another game. I don't think the photo Battle is taken Star, away man. from the game. If this was not Sp Battlestar, then it would be better. Spartacus was my first mm -hmm. real board game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So it holds a special place mm -hmm. in my heart because of that, mm -hmm. um, and I. And maybe because of that, maybe that's why I love political and like social sort of aspect games so much, just because that's what got me into real games. Um, but I, I love the fact that it's you make deals with people. And so many games, uh, once you made a deal, the rules are you have to follow it through. This game, no, nah, make a deal. Hey, look, you help me with this, we'll backstab Chris. Thanks, I backstab you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you've, just, you've just paid for the assassin that I used to kill you. <laughs> Fuck you. That's great. I love it. You have to be playing with people that enjoy that kind of yeah, gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> playing with someone that doesn't, yeah, I would just oh, thanks, I would just feel bad because I'm 
making you not have fun. Yeah, so Playing with people who enjoy it, great fun. What yeah. Kai said, opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's why I love Spartacus so much and I don't like Sheriff of Nottingham as much because you make a deal and that, you have to stick with the deal. Yeah, yeah. And then I, you just get like Which is a more friendly out of stuff. And, and, and yeah. more strict way. I, I like how loose you can... Yeah. The rules are in that sense where you can make under-the-table deals all day long. <laughs> you can cut ties when you need to. You know, it stands out in my mind so many times we're playing that game where you're in an alliance. I think Chris and I played a game where we were in an alliance through the game, and then I realised well, that the birth I of Krilly. Chris, I could win. Yeah. So I did. Yeah. <laughs> we were best buds throughout the game. So we bad. were just, we were basically playing, we were sharing money, everything. Boom, and I was like, I can win this turn if I kill Chris. <laughs> yeah. That was the correct move. Yeah. But Spartacus was the birth of Krilly as well. Yeah, it was. It was. The yes. original, and that was like one of our first yeah. streams. So it's like like yeah. it was probably one of the first streams yeah. we ever did. Yeah. Yeah. It was. No, actually. it was second, um, but go on. Well, yeah. was the first, one, the first was Cosmic Talking Encounter. About this, I realized yes. I did play this game. You did. Because I played yeah. this game on the stream. Oh, <laughs> I was there. Yeah. Yeah. So I good. forgot. Um, <laughs> Thoughts yeah. on Spartacus Spring? <laughs> it's a game. It's a game that I played that one time. Yep. But my memory yep. is definitely. So, what I'm hearing is remember. it's forgettable and it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we all and, have that one game that just really yeah, brings really us. Yeah. <laughs> that we think is way too high. Yeah, yeah. So in nineteenth place, and why I didn't go all in on Splendor, uh, nineteen points. Nida Valir. Oh, hey, Nida hey. Valir replaced Splendor as a set collection game for me. I think it's great. We've just picked up the expansion, which adds extra options, extra ways to play, extra combos to pull off. I think Nidavil is great. It's a great intro game. It's really great for people who are already into games. So many different ways to play. Yep. Can't say enough good things about it. Totally agree. I'd rather play Splendor. I yeah. would I... rather play... <laughs> <laughs> well, Reese is thinking of that um, because I only recently played it a couple of weeks ago. We did not play it on stream, so I will say that. Mm -hmm. We were playing at a round table, like a table like was this. Was mine? Yes, it was at your place. All right, cool, yeah. Uh, I did not like how the game was set out whatsoever. Whatsoever. Um, like the the coin was an interesting mechanic because all the coins are sitting in uh, that tray. A, a tray. Like that's interesting, but it's still super easy to not see the coin that you need. Um, and then the fact that all of the dwarves are in uh, Scrabble tile yeah. holders mm. that have to go like next to you and around the sides to the point where you're like doing this yeah. to try and see what. Oh, I wonder what Beck's doing. It's, yeah. not, it's not a very round table friendly game. Yeah. Um, it is incredibly easy to play online, but it sucks as a board game in that way. I, I ranked this as 24. Five or twenty-six. If so what's Pokemon. interesting? Master Trainer. <laughs> I love this game. I ranked it at twenty-five. Ah, interesting. interesting. There are that many games that I'm just like. Yeah, and that's bangers. the thing was like, like, it's a good game. There were just a lot of games that it's I not would, a bad would, game. Would play. I'm playing Nidavellir uh, above a lot of games, but then it just sort of stopped. Yeah. And I was just like. Ah. And Once again, like, our list is very top-heavy this it year. It wasn't offensive enough for me to be like, eh, this is a horrible game. It's just not appealing to me. Yeah, no no, no one disliked this game, right? Like, my my only point against it is that Tom was playing my game for me. <laughs> like, so you, you can laugh about that as much as you like. I didn't like just, it because I wasn't the one playing the game. Yeah, yeah I mean... I, I'm really keen to play it with the Thing of Valyria expansion because I've played Base Nid of Valyria probably seven or eight times now. And as it stands, I would... I wouldn't be super keen to play the base game right now because I played it a lot since it came out. Yep. Yep. So I'm, I'm very keen to play with Thing of Valia. Have you seen the mercenaries in Thing of Valia? No. There are there are dwarves who are on two teams, and when it comes time to like count like either the halfway point or the end point, that's when you decide what team they're going to slot into. Okay. That's so it gives you options. But you know what? Overall, not a bad game. Yeah. Solid. Not a bad game. Solid. Eight out of ten. Probably my favorite set collection game. Yeah. So seven out of ten. No, because there's another set of collection no, game that's not on the board yet. So, As who do you? <laughs> um, yeah. Next up, we have another tie. So once again, a bunch of like top tens, a couple of people who really love, a couple of people who are kind of ambivalous. Seven out of ten. Seven, Seven out of ten. <laughs> Azul. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And. Yep. June Imperium. Oh. Oh. oh, oh who is getting stabbed? Um, <laughs> wow. I, I tried so hard to convince myself to put June Imperium in my top five, and I couldn't. I put it seventh, couldn't quite make wow, my top five. My top hey, five. hey, that's fine. Whoever did... Before I start talking shit. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, Sergio. Sergio. Whoever didn't put it in their top ten is dead to me. Uh, was it? Was, I mean, I, I literally it told me? you that this game is getting tanked. Tom, I'm pretty yeah, sure I you. didn't put it in my top ten. It's IDMP, I didn't play it, man. Hey, man, um, yeah, Beck, 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 Beck put it 24th, yeah, yeah, which is not bad. Yeah, yeah. Where, did I, where did I put it? 31st? Dead. Yeah. I was just like, I didn't play it. If anyone was kind enough to watch the premiere of everyone's top games of 2021 before this stream started, you will know that my favorite game of the year was Lost Ruins of Arnak. Do you want to know the number one thing that I heard after we played Lost Ruins of Arnak from everyone that play, like, has played Dude Imperium at this table? It's just like Dude Imperium. <laughs> I think I like Dude Imperium better. And so, when faced with Dude Imperium in my list, I was like, well, I'd prefer to play Lost Ruins of Arnak, so up at the top, everything else, everything else. Ah, oh, Dude Imperium? Well, I don't hate it, so... Middle! Yeah, dude. Not, you set yourself up for failure! I 100% understand. Dream so period and Lost Ruins of Arnak are similar in that they are a worker placement, resource management, deck building game. The difference is that Lost Ruins of Arnak's emphasis is on the resource management. Mm. Dune Imperium's emphasis is on the deck building. Yep. And I enjoy deck building, worker placement, resource management games. I prefer the deck building aspect to the resource management and aspect. And that's totally to fine. Me, that is the decision between those two the games. The deck building in June Imperium sucks. Oh. What? <laughs> oh. It's not good. I'd like to point out, You're I didn't not say good. that. <laughs> it's not as good as, I don't like, a game that is just a deck builder, but Clank it's as a bit, deck builder. Yes, but Clank Bye. isn't a worker placement <laughs> or a resource management the, game. The balance, it's a deck builder. The balance between the two and the way your deck building influences where you're choosing to go and then who you're choosing to fight was so interesting to yeah. me. Mm -hmm. I, I literally, I had to put, I was choosing back and forth six and seven for Arnak. Dune Imperium and... is five. Arnak is six. Yeah. They are okay. that close. Yeah. Dune Imperium is three. Arnak's 18. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm not like Reese, and he is not 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 dead to me. All right. Not not, not dead. Uh, Solid fun. games. Uh, you're already off the Christmas. Uh, so Christmas. only only just ahead at nineteen point one, fun fair. Oh. No, yeah. Set collection <laughs> game. Smack the smack smack. Shrinkabell. Shrinkabell. Is this where Schmindiana Schmoons came from? Schmindiana Schmoons came from. I, 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 yeah. Man. Yeah, I think Kai <laughs> is the single reason I enjoyed that game so much. We had so much fun. That stream yeah. was so good. Like, because the game itself was a good game, and I really enjoyed how it, it played out. But sitting next to Kai during Fun Fair just really was like the icing on the cake. Although, hang on, oh. caveat. I shouldn't have said that with a mouthful of lolly. That game was really fun until Tim made us swap boards. <laughs> <laughs> and I apologise for how angry I was in the moment, but I would have won that fucking game. <laughs> you would have. By a country mile. Thanks, Kai. Appreciate your hard work. And then we swapped yeah, boards yeah. twice, yeah. I think, yeah. and Tom landed in front of a perfectly set up domino effect to win that I've been setting up all game. Yeah. Tom totally. And that's why yeah. we don't have that option available anymore. So I... Unfortunately, it's a game that I think I've played too much, and that's why it's fallen down the list for me. Mm -hmm. I, I ranked it lowest out of everyone. I put it at 29th, and Lachlan put it at 22nd. Yeah, um, and a couple of you put it top 10. Was it Great top game. 10 for me? Yeah, you put it 7th. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's I think it's a fantastic game. I think it's a fantastic lightweight game, a fantastic family mm -hmm. game. I just personally wouldn't get it to the table that much. I, I think that is too lightweight for me to enjoy it as much as it. Like, it's way better than Unfair. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. a good, solid, like lightweight family game about sex collecting and the theme is cool and we had a bunch of fun on stream and I haven't played it to death yet. I've played it a fair few times but it's like it's it's still quite lightweight that it kind of tanked a bit in my list as well. That's fair. Yeah. Um, best tabletop sim mod I've ever seen. It counts everything up, puts it all in for you. Absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend you check it out. Beautiful. Next up, uh, a game that we have all rated. Uh, One Night Werewolf. Uh -huh. mm. oh, <laughs> Bree, would you like to start? It's funny, Lachlan, you say that. I ranked it lower than you. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> but, Tom, you narrate every single game we I enjoy One Night Werewolf. Yeah. There's just so many games I would prefer to play over That's it. because you play so much of it. I still love it. I would still play that game like any day of the week. I'm actually so I struggled. I struggled so, so hard. hard to We're figure out where to put so games good. because there are so many games on this. Like, everything from um, Poetry from Neanderthals up, I would, just, I would play. 7 out of 10. 
<laughs> so, solid seven out of ten. Uh, seven out of ten? Seven out of ten. I uh, know, it's 18 out of 52. Why are you being so kind to Moonrakers? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> seven out of ten? Yeah, yeah. seven out of ten. Right, anything else to say about One Night Werewolf? Uh, this is including expansions, by the way. Um, Kai said something earlier. He said he prefers playing the original mm-hmm. werewolf to One Night Werewolf. I'm the same the reason why I prefer mm. One Night Werewolf is because there is mo- more social deduction or there's more kind of like figuring stuff out instead of whittling away who's left behind before you're like, well, I know I didn't do it, so it must be you. I, the problem, and that's why I don't like the, the standard. problem with that, and I, I will die on Kai's Hill with him. <laughs> I, oh, like, a lot of people dying today. The, your, <laughs> your options are, on one hand, we have Ultimate Werewolf, where there's no one knows a goddamn thing, and it comes down to you have the biggest beard, and hairier people are more likely to be werewolves, so that's why. And option B is One Night Werewolf, where it's okay, this happened, which meant that guy is a good guy, and it's a solved game, and you're the werewolf. Uh, thanks for coming, thanks for coming. Dude, it, 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 yeah, but until it's not, and then it's hilarious. Well, I, it's more often a solved game than not. Than not. And there are situations where there is, it's a Kobayashi Maru and it's a no win situation. Yeah. The amount of times I have gotten. Uh, uh, Mystic Wolf and go on. Well, I've lost. Yeah. Because in certain setups, you have no play. I haven't seen a card in the middle. If I pick one, it's a random guess, and I'm saying I'm the seer, and then someone else goes, No, I'm the seer, and I can prove it because this, 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 this. Yeah. Game, game and then over. You're no, over. It, it turns into. It no, turns, because no. there's there's facts. That's the problem. Yeah. In Ultimate Werewolf, you can if you can lie through your teeth. If you're good enough at lying. There is very little information out there that can set you up for a fall. No. In one night, mm. it's a it's a it's an it's a breadcrumb trail, and sooner or later, I did this, you did Three. that, I did that. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, so it, totally it turns true. into being uh, the resistance, right? It turns into this is the meta that we play, and then you just find the breadcrumb trail, you solve the mystery, I you find out who it is in One Night Werewolf. But I appreciate it because but, you can change that meta by changing out the cards. I, but I, in saying that, can, there is yeah. more variety in the fact that you can change it, and that's like its biggest favor and its biggest weakness as well. It's like it can make for a great game if you have the right cards, and it can make for a fucking shite game if I, you have the right, yeah. the wrong cards. I, I disagree and, that there's a meta. Primarily because if there was a meta, the villagers would always win. The villagers like, typically win. The balance of the balance of the game. Like, okay, yeah. look, of the games that we've played on on episodes on Nerds of the West, right? So we're always changing up the cards and that. And yes, there are some combinations of cards where it's excellent. It's a great uh, game for the werewolves to be able to lie, and usually that's because the werewolves have a boost because they're given the alpha wolf or the mystic wolf or whoever it might be, right? But like. Most of the time, in in my experience, it does come down to okay, this is what I did, and I can prove it, and I'm good, and I vouch for this person, so we know that they're good. Mm-hmm. And so your options, unless there is a Tanner, are okay. You're the werewolf. We'll, we'll kill them. And okay. you, yeah. you the s- best games win. I've played of One Night is when the cards that get a lot of information are in the middle yeah. and don't get dealt mm-hmm. out, mm-hmm. because too often the People get cards where they give empirical information mm. that can be verified by multiple people. So, and this again, it's a personal preference thing. I like the social aspect of Ultimate Werewolf, where it is he said, he said, she said. Um, the time just and that, it's totally to valid to prefer something a bit more concrete. Mm. Um, but you know, it, it's. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing One Night Werewolf. I, have I mean, also so have I. had a lot of. Probably more times I have hated One Night Werewolf than I have. There are so many times we're filming where you come in, you're like, I'm not looking forward to playing it. And we've had some banger games, and you're like, oh yeah, One Night Werewolf. No, because it's it's still, it's fucking Tortuga all over again, where it's just like you're adamantly right, and you know you're right, and then someone is just not on the same page for some reason. I love for that reason. Yeah. Yeah. And I think like, that's just personal preference when it comes to like I disagree with you there. Our werewolf videos, I even the ones that I've already that. played, I watch them at work, and even like I've played werewolf so many times, and I'm still like, because I love it. And you said that there's like a breadcrumb trail to follow, but I would argue that only if people agree, because the amount of times that we're like, oh no, this happens because of this and this, and then it's like, no, you're lying, and then there's that whole contestion of like, no. or like the one, was, the one time Chris like. Figured it out ten seconds in, yeah, and no one believed, believed him. him. So yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> no, no, nobody wanted to. Or, or the time that Chris was, was so like, "Well, clearly, 
tum is something that touched the middle because the card oh, is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and it turns out that's what actually happened. Oh, Tom was putting dude, the card back and he whiffed it. I fucking funny. nuked Tom with that. That was amazing. So good. That was anyway, so funny. I, I, I would like to say I would love to try Ultimate Werewolf. Yeah. Now that we have like 30 to 50 games of One Night Werewolf. Well, isn't there... You don't yeah. want to play, uh, say, Werewolf Legacy? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, I would love to play Werewolf Legacy. Well, what about One Week Werewolf? One Week, one one week Werewolf. <laughs> Doesn't fit on the board. <laughs> oh, we, ranked, we ranked oh. it last year. We're not oh. touching it again. It's a horrible. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, this is actually a little bit of a jump from 18.75 to 16.5. Uh, this is a game that got in a lot of people's top 10, but struggled a little bit because of Do Not Plays. And one person eh, was like, this is just an okay game. Um, but that's kind of the point you're getting to once we're getting into the top 15. At 14th place, War of Whispers. Wow. wow. I'm the one that went, yeah, this is okay. I knew you would be when I was rating it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, this is yep. a game that I wanted so much to put in my top 10. I put it at 14th and I just couldn't find a reason to put it any higher. The oh, only well, reason, was, the only reason uh, why I was it, eh on it was because I uh, just didn't seven. gel with it. I just, I played it a couple of times and every time I played it, I was like, eh. Every time I play it, I get better at it. Yeah. And it's still hard. Well, that's good for you. And it's still hard and it's still different. And right. it's like, yeah. You know, every time you play it, it's 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 always going to be a hard game. And when you're playing with people who know what they're doing, is that it's like it's a game that you can play with the same people over and over and over and over again. And everyone's getting better and better and better at what they need to do to achieve it. But there are games where you get stuck being the only faction trying your hardest to make it work for this one faction. Yeah. But that is the one major downfall to it is where I think it was like Chris or yourself where it was just like everybody is trying to get like these four houses to do something and you're the one person going for blue and blue is just getting I'm pretty sure that was my first game. Yeah. This is literally Game of Thrones the board game. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it's This it's, is Game of Thrones the board game better than Game of Thrones the board game. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's medieval politics and like it's purely politics. Right? Yeah. You just you just got to politic your way to get your people to win. Um, I I think I've only played it once or twice, and uh, the reason it's so high up, high up on my list is because I want to play it a few more times. Mm -hmm. And I just uh, yeah, just the well, the fact. Well, I also low key like policy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's area of, it's area of control, and similar to five tribes, where you're not actually the tribes. You are just moving the troops yeah. around and everyone's moving all of the troops. You're not the blue, you're not the red, you are yourself, yeah. your faction, and you are like, it's moving and everyone's moving it and you're going, hmm, this move, person's moving it with me. We are both trying to move it in the same direction or this person's working against me and that's where the politics is like phenomenal. Because mm. you are not the act camel cup. You're not the camels. <laughs> you're, not, you're not the camels, right? That's what makes that the wrong name for that game. It's uh, Cam Formula C. Camel up? Sorry. God damn it. Uh, yeah. Camel Trophy Race. Yeah. Yeah, it no, it's, it's no, Formula it's C. Formula C. Formula C. Formula C. Oh, Currently it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the next game is someone's number one, and then it struggles a little bit from Did Not Play, so I'm sorry, Billy. Red Rising. Oh. I, knew it was oh, I thought it was Lost Ruins Arnex. Sorry, Brie. I knew it was coming. Brie um, totally forgot that she played this game. Yeah, Tom just showed me the stream, like, yeah. and I'm there, and he's like, oh, want to rank it? And I was like, I don't remember what. I've had Damn, a very traumatic yeah. year. <laughs> it's been a big year. Memory loss happens, and like, it, how does this game work again? You want to it, it's it? another game that I wanted to put in my top ten and just couldn't find a spot it's, for. It's pretty much, you start the game with a hand of five, you have like four locations in the middle, you, just, you do a bunch of stuff, you collect your cards, you get as many points as you can. It's just... Set collection, but not particularly a set. You're collecting people that interact. And if you but want a full rundown on it, you can see Billy talk about can. it on our ranking. Best of 2021. It is like by far my it. number one game for the past few years, to be honest. Just I found it really interesting. My first play, I was like, oh, this is kind of interesting. Second play, I was like, oh, there's not this much here. Third and fourth play, yeah. once everyone, once again, is at the same level and everyone's like, people know what strategies you're going for, so what cards to banish and how you adapt. Elevates it to a whole yeah. other level. I reckon I've played like more than 30 times at this point, and boy, do I just want to play it again. Oh. <laughs> but, so, like, so Red Rising and War of Whispers were in my top three, and the mm. only reason I wouldn't have wanted to put War of Whispers higher is because I haven't played it enough, and that's it. War of <coughs> Whispers, fantastic, extremely unique style game, 
need to play it more. Red Rising, probably not as unique, but my god, it's so fun. It's based on an IP, but who cares? I couldn't care less about what the IP is. I know nothing about it. It's that it's nice little bit of flavor game. IP rather than, because lots of other IP games are just the art. Red Rising, it actually becomes important. The different colors and the different people are the core element of the game. Mm. It's a bunch of gold people in there, sick. Yeah. That's why I really love June, oh, yeah. like June the board game, right? <laughs> two years ago. I really loved it. And everyone was like, yeah. what's going on? I can't believe I missed Montaigne win the spot for Eurovision for that fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am so upset. Set. Speaking of Eurovision, did you see who put their hand up no. for Germany? Uh, yes. Yes. yes! Let's do it, boys! Let's give my cool boy, let's go! <laughs> Alright, next, next. next game. Uh, next game is once again a game that suffered from did not play, but it suffered from did not play and still got this high. I personally feel this is a game that if everyone here at the table played, could be top five contender. Okay. Cubitos. Yay! Hey! I loved Cubitos. It was a fun little racing game that wasn't Robo Rally. That <laughs> put it that put it tenth. I put it fourth. What did I put it out? Uh fourteenth. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. See, I <laughs> want to play it. But the art makes me just want to run away. Yeah, do you want to grab it off like, the shelf? I don't like the art. Run away and never come I think back. the art's adorable, so. Like, yeah, yes. he's no, a it's, cube. Well, it, it's a cube, it's but it's also a cube. He's got hairy Where legs. It's, the game looks ugly as fuck. <laughs> Personally <laughs> disagree. But the actual, like, board itself and stuff. Yeah, it yeah. looks like a kid tried to make a Roblox board it game. Had some, it, had yeah. some, it had some jokes, <laughs> and it, it's Roblox, right? But it's. It's okay. I, it's okay. We've played like how we played a few racing games this year, mm -hmm. and this was the best racing game we played this year. Yeah, yes. Ra racing games. Yeah. Well, this is Billy. It's Billy, game. it's racing game, and it's push your luck. I don't. Like oh, I thought you liked to push your luck. Fuck you, Billy. No, no, no. no Billy likes gambling. There's a difference. <laughs> gambling is different. different than pushing your luck. There's a difference. Because in gambling, so you're smart. supposed to win. I agree with Tom. If more people had played it and we had played it more than once, it yeah. would yeah. probably. So many different ways to play, play, different maps, different dice. Looks I, fantastic. Yeah, I ranked it highly because I remember being fond of it. Yeah. Like, I wanted to play it again. It, so. I think it's a really fun game that you can bring out for just about anyone to enjoy. The next game, I personally think, has a bunch of did not plays, and if those people played it, it would be much lower. Oh, no. Wingspan with the Oceanic ah, Expansion. No. The uh, people who haven't played Wingspan with the Oceanic Expansion are the people who don't like Wingspan. Yeah, uh, so, because it was Wingspan, Bree, Chris, yeah. me, and Reese yeah. that played yeah. Wingspan Oceanic Expansion and this year. We were also the only ones here, and it was Chaos Stream. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. We were, but we also played a game that we all liked that everyone yes. else would hate. Yeah, because yeah. it was yeah. like, who wants to play Wingspan? And it was like, these four people do. It's like, <laughs> sweet. So four people who wanted to play the game yeah. played the game, whereas everyone else who didn't want to play Wingspan didn't come to the stream. So y'all played yourself. Wingspan is up the top. <laughs> I, I've it's been saying it. You guys... So I've played Wingspan. enough of Wingspan to have rated it, but I was like, it's probably not fair to put it as my bottom game. So yeah. I didn't play the expansion. Yeah. I'm told the expansion helps, and I, I have been saying I want to check it out, we just haven't had a chance to play it. So. Yeah, and that's because because once again I was with Billy when he was doing his rankings, and he was like, "Oh, do I rank Wingspan?" And I'm like, "The thing is, Oceanic Expansion to me makes Wingspan a much better game." It does. Yeah. It, what, it, it, what does it change? So it adds in nectar, like which yeah. is an extra resource that you can use for any other resource. It's, wild. it's a wild. Yeah. Okay. So okay. It, it stops that whole issue of like, mm. oh, I can't play anything because I don't have yeah. any food that I need. And it also adds like a whole bunch of. It adds bin chickens and eggs. It adds bin chickens. Nice. Yeah. So uh, Australian. It, it fills yeah. in a lot of the. So I feel with the original Wingspan, there's not much synergy between the cards. Or there's like, too much. Or there's too There's much, like three right? or four cards that are just overpowered. Where, in where I think Oceanic Expansion really balances that out and um, it fills in the gaps. Mm. And like, to me, I, I think that's one of the best expansions next to. Uh, between two castles, but I haven't played the base game. Um, uh, it's one of the best expansions that you could probably get for a board game. Okay. Yeah. So I was not, I wasn't keen to play it because Wingspan's a solid game. It's not outstanding to me, and I've played it five or six times, and I'm like, yeah, okay, it's it's a 
good engine builder, it's not brilliant. So I had no real interest in playing the expansion, but mm -hmm. if, you, if you reckon it's that transformative, yeah. I actually might. Like, like yeah. it's still wingspan. I At mean, the end of the day, it's still wingspan. Oh, yeah, but, I don't, like... but I don't dislike wingspan. But, yeah. but everything you said, my problem is the wingspan where it's either it's in the engine builder or it's not. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. This seems to fix that, so I'm keen to play it. Well, that's, but, and, and that's the thing, we all had a really good game of wingspan. Like, we all built yeah. an engine. But did you all like wingspan before? I did, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because, well, here's the thing. None of us had played the Oceanic expansion, so when you asked us to play Wingspan plus the Oceanic expansion, all of us put up our hands. Yeah, exactly. Because we still liked Wingspan. Yeah. Yep. And, and again, a lot of us who were just like, eh, yeah. Wingspan. So it was, yeah. Next anyway. game. So this takes us to our top ten. <laughs> oh, let's, yeah, let's have a look at oh, what we've bangers. got. <laughs> <laughs> and see what you think is going to go where. I think we've got an issue because I feel like we've got more than 10 games. No, uh, you would be surprised, actually. So, chat, our options are yeah. Dune Betrayal, Everdell, uh, Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid, Between Two Castles and its expansion, Heaven and Ale, Love Letter. Oh, did we yeah, skip Love Letter? That's 12 games. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, sorry, Love Letter's Go way back down the list. Oh, wow. We just skipped that. Is Love Letter at the same place as the previous Love Letter's letter? just above Tortuga. Okay. Wow, we totally, How is love I letter? totally missed that. Just totally so, missed just above Tortuga and then Love Letter Premiums. Because I because tanked Premiums. Um, Billy's got weird Billy, Billy tanked <laughs> Premiums. And I but have, isn't I it have just have... essentially like the same No, game? it is no. the same game. It is the same game. No, we, we went through this brief. Okay. I, I also you have to go back and watch what, is, what is the other game that we've still got then? Because apparently we've got 11. <laughs> uh, we've got Doom Betrayal, Heaven and Ale, Between Two Castles, Castles. Plus Expansion, Everdell, Power Rangers, Lost Ruins of Arnak, Land vs. Sea, Captain Sonar, Stardew Valley, Medium, and Phantom Inc. Also totally missed Captain Sonar. Well, wow. Captain Sonar. Captain Dang. Sonar. Below Battlestar. Yo! Oh. Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. Might be because of me. <laughs> Get Tom off the computer. Get out Get of out here. Get out of here. All right, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> How good is Monsters Monster Slaughter, right? Oh, That's yeah. a pretty fucking good game. But yeah, you know, but Captain Sonar is better. Captain, Sonar's Captain better. Sonar. I gave Captain Sonar a 34. Yeah. Captain Sonar's pretty good. Uh, it was about, so, so 19, 13, 21, 17, 24, 22. I don't, I don't hate it, but I have no urge to ever go back and play that game. I have yeah. no urge to go back and play Captain Sonar. It is a. Yeah. I have the urge to play it because I haven't played it enough. The big board in the middle. Were yeah. you? Yeah. Did you play when Tom? Like this wasn't on stream at I've any never point. Played. Okay. So right. just trying to yeah, it's a which game it is. submarine game. It's, yeah, it's the yeah. one where you put the board mm -hmm. in the middle. Right? And then it Tom played like a game for shots. One of the most, it's one of the most unique games. It's just incredibly difficult to get to the table yeah. because you need a high player count and yeah. probably stuff is similar to Blood and the Clock Tower where it's like you need lots of players to get their game to work. And you also need game. players who are all on the same level. If you play it with people who aren't as experienced, they get stomped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but it is fun, very thematic. Captain Sonar, right the, the one issue I have with it usually is that it almost feels like you don't need crewmates because the captain always makes the call anyway. And so if the captain's like, hey, engineer, I need you to strike off this one, or hey, we, we need torpedoes charged, then the yeah. person who's sitting in front of that sheet doesn't really get yeah. a choice. It's not like they're playing. Well, we haven't played quarter, real time, and quarter, real time, yeah, that real time would changes entirely. Change it. Yeah. 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 Quarterbacking, solve puzzle. Yeah. 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 I do think that when we played it on stream, I think you were my captain, Chris, and I felt like I did have a lot of choices when it came to it because you were trying to avoid that. You're doing this now, please. Yeah. And instead I was like, I think we should do this. And you're like, I agree, but also we could probably do that. I will say one of the best yeah, gaming true. experiences I've ever had was Captain Sonar and whenever you took damage, you took a shot. Nice. Yes. That was mental and so much fun. That sounds awesome. Yeah. You were sounds... there. You played that. No, I didn't. Apparently, <laughs> apparently you took a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't remember ever playing. Yeah. All right, so we'll, fix, we'll ignore all that. That didn't happen. So this is <laughs> top our ten. top ten. Top ten. Top ten. What games do we got? Where do we think they're going to go? Dude, the, uh, hang on a second. So uh, the, the oldest, game, game, the oldest game we have is 2017. Wow. Right? Wow. So everything is 2017 castles. and above. How many 2021 or 2020 games are there? One, one two, three, four 2021 games. And one 2020. Interesting. I, I, I I've just, also only played one of the games. I just want to say, last year I was very upset with the top 10 because there were a lot of games that I was like, this doesn't need to be in the top 10. <laughs> this year there's one game there that I'm like, eh. Th this the rest year I'm the like, top... either haven't played or I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a like, good top 10. I... Yeah. Two of them will suffer from did not play. So I, I, haven't played three, I haven't played three of these games. Yeah. 
Yep. Cool. Sweet. So any thoughts on what's going to be up and what's going to be 10th night? I mean, Phantom Inc's still there. I still think that's going to be top. I think Phantom Inc's, yeah. Or Power um, Rangers. Power Rangers. Power, I think Power Rangers. I can't believe Power Rangers, Power Rangers is so Rangers high. Can't. I think yeah. Yeah. No, because Rangers everybody who, everyone who played it ranked it. it incredibly Loves high. It. I just don't think it can be mathematically. We have Power Rangers five. five cause it was uh, Eli doesn't off. count. We've yeah. got four so votes. We had four votes. And, and how many votes do we have for... Like, Heaven and Ale would have been everyone who was there. Well, so, so that's four. four. Doom Betrayal, I think, is four. Yep. Yep. Between Two Castles will be big, because that's... I that's kind of think it might be Between Two Castles, because a lot of us played it, and we all really I think it's really going to be Between Two Castles and Phantom Inc. are going to be doing it Are we presenting a prediction for what is in the number 10 spot? Yeah, let's, let's guess number 10. 10th spot? Uh, so medium. Uh, I think it's medium, dude. Yeah. yeah. If it is medium... Medium. I think it's Everdell. I mean, all right, we'll, we'll get to, we'll uh, get to it. Seven out of 10. Yeah. So I haven't played Everdell. Yep, I'm not playing. I didn't play Stardew because that, that was a very limited yeah. stream. So and stuff from the, did not didn't play. play the expansion, and I didn't play June June Betrayal. It's very interesting. Stardew's still up there, even though only three of us played it. Let's get it. No, no, that's not Betrayal. Uh, this is different. This, yeah, that's, 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 June. That's, June. that's June. June Betrayal okay. is a smaller game. Oh, dude, Got it. I'm gonna tell you guys about June Betrayal when we get to it. Don't you worry. I, that's why I was so confused because I was like, there's wait, so many June games. what? There's two June games and neither one of them because I hey, searched. Hey, yeah. Bree, there are like, three. No, no, that's <laughs> what I was saying. Yeah, On the four, list, right. there was two, and I searched both of them to figure yeah. out which one was the one that I played. And I'm looking at both of them, and I was like, I haven't played either of these. Tom Palmer, I haven't played either. The one that you played was June, the board game. Yeah, and that's and why these I are got all. And there's now a smaller version yeah. of that. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. In tenth place with fourteen point seven eight points, medium. Yes. Oh. Hey. Top ten for four people, but two people rated it below twentieth. Thirty. Wow. Is that the other one? Yeah, twenty fifth. Yeah. It's a good party game. Like you get six people sitting around a table, you get them facing each other, and. Think of one word for cave. My favorite party game this year, hands down. It was uh, it's my second favorite after Phantom Inc. Mm -hmm. no, I enjoy Medium more, and I think that Medium would get to the table more than what Phantom Inc. would, and I'd want to play Medium more. And I have played Medium more than I would have played Phantom Inc. Medium can also be a really fun one to just whip out with people. Like, you don't need a whole table. You can be like, oh, let's just have some yeah. dumb fun with words. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Also, there's like a mystery point element to it as well. Like you just select a sized mm. tile, and how many yep. points you get with that is up to the gods. Mm -hmm. So we got to K. Remember? Was it? Was I can't. It I don't know. We had to. Basically, you have to link two word two words together with one word, mm -hmm. and then you basically just you just keep doing that. Yeah. If you get it wrong. Yeah. Yep. Canada House. Yeah. Yep, yeah. you're trying anyway. to sync up. It's so good. It's from the same creator as The Mind, is it? Yeah, and very much about that thinking. So that's why I hate it. It's <laughs> rough. All right. I don't, I don't hate it. Billy I'm hates just, a co-op I'm just not yeah. a big party game mm -hmm. person. Reese isn't game. a party animal. Also, you were yeah. sitting next Word to game's me and we were not on the same wavelength. Oh, yeah. so that was fun what? though, right? Like, the game's fun. And I would not tell people, like, steer away from it. It's horrible. It's bad. Get Moonrakers before this. Uh, <laughs> but like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a solid, <laughs> solid 7 out of 10. Solid, solid 7 out of 10. Guys, any 7s? Bye. Go. No, <laughs> it's a, it's a it's goddamn 9. 7 out of 10. All right. 7.9 so out So we now have another tie for 8th place. You can't wow. have a tie in the top 10. Both of these games suffered from do not plays, and I'm very interested oh, to see play. when we oh, get them Stardew. to the table once Everdell, we get access uh, to them again. Yeah. Everdell and Stardew yeah. Valley. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, can we have a vote right now? But Stop. I was like, I didn't play either of them. Yeah, I didn't no. play either. Uh, I only played Stardew, so my vote's for Stardew. Everdell My is vote's for Stardew. I never played Everdell. Solid Everdell's. game. Though, I will be playing Everdell this Christmas because one of my family members... Oh, heck yeah. Christmas. We are getting our hands on Everdell the Complete Collection and I am so keen to do like back-to-back yeah. -back streams of Everdell with this expansion, Everdell with this expansion, and throw them all in together. I don't think it will be a good game with all the expansions at once, <laughs> but I hear the expansions all do change up the game and make it very interesting. Thing. It's a cute little worker placement game with a bit of engine building. Yeah, um, engine building thoughts, really Billy and Chris, you played it with us? Such a cool game. It uh, is very, very I would good. need to play it more than I think the once or twice I've played it to get a proper opinion because I had a really good game. Yeah, you and I feel stomped like us that that's game. like bias. I'm like, yeah, it's like on that high because yeah. I just, it just clicked so fast and I was like, 
<laughs> but everyone gets that feeling with those engines yeah. and like the way that your cards reactivate at the start of each season and your cards are just scoring your points and what you're building towards. Yeah. There's a lot of options in that game. So. A lot of engine building games like hinge on their theme. So like this theme was basically mm. the woodland creatures like Beatrice Potter sort of thing. And that was good. So like if this were reskinned as like space or I don't know, dwarven, you know, city or whatever, I don't think I would have liked it as much. So mm -hmm. you know, that is an aspect of the game which doesn't have anything to do with its mechanics per se, but just it appealed to you. Um, and yeah, it was it was very good work placement. Engine building game. I haven't played either of them, but I just I just wanna have funny because I I looked up Everdell because I was trying to think like, oh what game is it? And when you search Evandale and go to like all the shops that they've got like it's got Everdell and and stuff. Evan, Evan and Stardew Star Valley, Valley <laughs> next to each other. And the shops. I was yeah. like, well, yeah. which Well, they're both cute little farming games. Star which Valley. leads us into Stardew Valley. I thrust the Stardew Valley IP. Give me that all oh, day. Up in my veins. I, I stand a Stardew Valley game. Hey, guys, that, we stream you, Stardew Valley on the Twitch channel every bitch. two weeks. That's, yeah. I am very curious to see, because a lot of people ended up not liking Stardew Valley after a peak playthrough. Yeah. Which um, finally second edition sort of sort of fixes that. I don't know if we're getting first like, edition or second edition, but yeah. I think it's mostly rules adjustments. I think my hello, Lizzie Kitty. I think my big issue with Stardew Valley, even though I still really enjoyed it, it just it felt like you didn't have enough time to do what you needed to do. Because yeah. I think the Watching thing that it. prevented us from winning the game was the fact that we couldn't find enough artifacts mm. because we didn't have time to do anything else to earn us enough points. Which feels really strange to me. That doesn't feel like Stardew Valley. It doesn't feel like a game that you should be up against the clock, you have to win, you have to do this. It feels like the kind of game where you should go, all right, here's all our options, here's how we can score points, let's see how many points we can score in this yeah. amount of time. Like, I kind of get the time factor that they added to it because you can't sit around a table for seven hours oh, playing yeah, no. a game. Yeah, time factor is not really the issue. Just to me, it feels like it's not a game that you should win or lose. Yeah. Stardew Valley doesn't feel like a win or lose kind of game to me, but yeah. once again, haven't I, played it. I, I will say Chris is the only person that played both of them, so what if we want to get rid of this tie, what would... All right, well, I did prefer Stardew. Yeah. Uh, by a minuscule amount. Both yeah. were very good. Both Stardew, were top 10. to me, it was more for... I've actually not played the video game either. So, <gasps> like, it was kind of just a board game to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it which was is good as yeah. a neutral party. Yeah, yeah right. Um, yeah. And, yeah, like, from, from what I gathered, obviously it was about, like, farming and fishing and gathering resources and things. So it was cool and it was cooperative. And like Tom said, there needed to be something that actually ends the game because you can't just have, like, who was it? Who's the the corporate guy? Joe Jamar. Joe Jamar. Like, he wasn't like the villain or anything. Actually, the game it just had a time limit, and you had to do X or Y before the time ran out. But yeah, like we got stuck in that last couple of rounds on the artifacts, and I feel like okay, maybe if the artifacts weren't so tough, maybe that was designed pretty badly. But all of the other challenges we had to fulfil, we did them one by one, and it was satisfying yeah. when you did them. So and, I feel and, like we and, could have. And that was also our first playthrough as well. Mm -hmm. and we lost at the very finish line, so yeah. I feel like and it was close. The, yeah, the next playthrough we could probably be a bit more efficient. And uh, question: Yo, is it a co-op game? Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. Cool. I don't know what the fuck this game is about. <laughs> Yeah. At all. Uh, it's, yeah, so you're running a farm and you have to achieve certain goals by the end of the year, otherwise Joja Mart takes over your farm. Okay. I feel like yeah, I feel okay. like I'm more bleak. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, you, well I mean it starts with your grandfather dying and then being like, here's here's my farm. I actually know. It starts with your grandfather dying, giving you a letter. You go work in a soulless corporation. You think about ending it all, and then you're like, "Oh, hey, Grandpa gave me a letter. I wonder what it says." You hey, open the drawer and pull out the gun, and there's yeah. Grandpa's letter. I'm familiar letter. with that bit because I've started the video game Stardew Valley yeah. about four times, yeah. and then not stuck with it long enough yeah. to like. Yeah, hey Kai, right. you should check out happens. our streams. I, yeah. I do. And that's how, that's how I play Stardew Valley because yeah. I'm like, I don't have the time to sink into it to get. Well, Did we've successfully it? ranked the games away from a tie, so what's Sweet. in number seven? Also, number just, seven. Hold on, uh, hold, on, hold, on quick. hold on. Hello, Lizzie Kitty. Hi, Lizzie Kitty. Brie loved the gift. Hello. I did. Brie loved the gift. I was a goblin. <laughs> so, oh, yes. next game is another one. I think all of these three could move up or down depending on more people playing them. June Betrayal. Two people rated it inside their top 10, and unfortunately, I couldn't find a way to put it in there. I tried so I think, hard to get that into my top five. Loved it. I think it's in my top 10, isn't it, Tom? Uh, yeah, you put it seven, Kai put it three, and I put it at 15th. So it's still, like, 
Absolutely um, incredible. I'll start by saying Dune Portrayal was my, it's my replacement for Resistance and Coup. 100%. 100%. It's Don Eskridge's replacement for Resistance. Yep. Same designer as Resistance. This is Resistance 2.0. Yep. It's Resistance with more years of board gaming experience. Absolutely. You Absolutely. actually Amazing. do things uh, and all your choices matter. You yeah. We have played, I'm this is play another it. game similar to Coup, where we, we played Resistance hundreds of times. That's not an exaggeration. Yeah. Uh, and the thing with Resistance is there is a bit of a meta to it, and once you've played the game with the same people a hundred times, you start to get a feel for the game. You can still sometimes bluff your way out of it, etc. This, for me, hits the sweet spot, kind of like we were talking about with Werewolf, like the social versus the breadcrumb thing. But also the time. Yeah, but also, but it's a short game. It's the same kind of playtime as a game of Resistance. So you can smash out multiple of these in a night. We played two on the screen that we played. It's Resistance in that there is, you know, two teams. There's the good guys and the bad guys. There's Atreides and Harkonnen. But you've got a little bit more to go off of to try and work out who's who. But it also means you've got a little bit more to there's, lie about. There, absolutely. There's more ways to mislead rather than just outright, outright saying, no, I'm not a Harkonnen, you're a Harkonnen. Yeah, we had one game where there was so much lying being thrown around and you couldn't make a decision based on the decisions the cards people had taken. Yep. Um, so it was all about what people were saying. Next game, all the information was open apart from the two people you wanted to attack. And do you want to attack Jess or do you want to attack Tom? Really, really well done. The game was sold for me the minute we finished our first game and I thought I had it all figured out. I was like... Yep, and Sean defended me, and I flipped the card, and it was an attack. And I went, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> it blew, see, it I was, was like, only it was because brilliant. It was only because I had confirmed that Tom was on my team. Yep. That was it. That was the only reason why he didn't trust us, is because yep. I didn't want to say... Even though we were on even though his they team. Were on my team. Yeah, so we were on Kai's team, and we were like, we are both a trainee spider. And Kai was like, I don't believe you. I yep. think you're fucking lying. And we were like... Well, I can't help with that! Yeah. So, Honestly, so is it like there's two evenly split teams? So, it, well, it depends on how many players you're playing with, right? Okay. So, we were playing with five, so there was three Atreides, two Harkonnen, and the scoring... It's, it's. I think the balance will work quite well. We've only played it with five players, so we haven't played it in even teams yet. Mm -hmm. It looks like the score balance is really good. We had one Harkonnen victory and one Atreides victory when, on the, in the two games that we played. Um, as you get more players, that you know, the number of people on each team changes mm -hmm. um, but yeah I think it does a really good job of, of giving you breadcrumbs of information you're picking action cards that change the game and you're collecting them for use in the final big battle like it's a slow build of information and the cards you collect also score you points yep. if yeah. you pick ones that match your role so if I'm an Atreides and I take cards with Atreides symbols on them they give me extra points at the end yep. but people are going to Think that I'm going to trade you because I'm so, taking Atreides cards. So the really or do cool... I take a Harkonnen card, even though it's not going to give me points because the ability's better, but then people might think I'm a Harkonnen, and you take three cards. So when you look at your cards at the end, you know, in, in one game, Sean had two cards that would score if he was a Harkonnen and one that would score if he's a fighter. So it's like, sounds like he's a, a Harkonnen fighter because. Hey, which he was. Which hey, he was. So. But then there was a game where I only had one card that scored for my role, the other two didn't match up to my role yeah. at all because the abilities on them were worth more to me than the points. There's a great system of almost advertising your trust mm -hmm. to someone in the game where I trusted Sean. He gave me a sigil token that would give me a bonus point if I was an Atreides. So I thought, well, he's giving me a bonus point because he knows I'm Atreides, he's Atreides, we're buds and he wants the extra point. Nope, he was a Harkonnen. He sacrificed that point to get me to trust him and it worked. And the next yeah. game, so... the next game, it was so close. I had one of those and I was a Harkonnen. I went, no, I have to give this to Sean, who I know is a Harkonnen, because I cannot give the Atreides any more points. So the really beautiful thing about this game, and I think this should be probably the rounding out feature of it, is the fact that you don't know what information you're also giving the people at the table. Because yes. the number one thing is you're given two trait cards, you put them face down, you shuffle them, and then you put them in front of you. You're not allowed to look at them for the rest of the game. Mm. So if, say, Kai is like, well, I'm going to look at this card here, you don't know what information he's seeing about you. So you just know he might know that you're a fighter, he might have seen a Harkonnen card, yep. or he might have seen an Atreides yep. card. And That's it's, cool. Which I think is a really good blend, because something I don't like about One Night Werewolf or Secrets was the other one we compared yep. it to. I don't like hidden role games where I don't know 
know my role. That annoys me endlessly. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know Because then role. I don't know who I'm lying. Why am I lying? I don't even know yeah. who I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas sure. this is a great yeah. mesh of that. Yeah, you know your role, but you don't know what other people know yeah. about your role. Which is that's, the perfect that's okay. pretty cool. blend of those two. Dude, it's that's fantastic. Amazing. We need to it's amazing. Uh, everyone who enjoys Resistance will prefer this. <sighs> I want to play it. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll get it to the table soon. Yeah. Let's keep going, because we are now at six. 12.65 points. Just about everyone who played it, everyone who played it put it in their top 20 and a couple of top 10s, including someone's number one, Lost Ruins of Arnak. It had to happen. I'm the only one, I feel like I'm the only one that likes the game this year. No, uh, both. The it's, 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 but that's my yeah. point. I was wait. I was expecting it to be down here because I'm like, I both played it Kai and I, thousand times. Yeah, yeah. Kai and I put this at our number six and Yay! it's literally just personal preference. Uh, no, you got number six. Number four is something else that I will come to okay. later. Oh, Morgaroon said that if you play oh, more rounds of yeah, Betrayal. Yeah, add it after I, yeah. I think doing yeah. three or more games of it in a row without something in between could cause issues because it'd be too easy to confuse actions between rounds. Did he say that suspicious thing early in this game or end of last game? There is a lot <laughs> to consider. Fair, but I think that's... That's any, all the any social game you can run into that, where it's like, well, Tom was a werewolf last game, so let's not trust him this <laughs> yeah. game. I think that that's yeah. an issue with all those types of yeah. games that you need to get over if you're going to play. Um, Lost Ruins did suffer a little bit from did not plays. Yep. Um, I'm very curious to see what Chris or Billy would think about it if they played this, because it's a... Uh, Do judging by what I have I would have about this. the game, I would probably have been a person to tank. Yeah. Oh, OK. Ooh. From what I've seen, I, it's different. And, yeah, it, um, it's just not my style of game. So to bring it back to what we were talking about earlier, like everybody that actually played this game, I had, and besides me, a lot of them were like, this is exactly like Dune Imperium, and I prefer Dune Imperium. <laughs> and so that's why I was like, I love Lost Ruins of Arnak because it's an ip list game that just fucking gels with me. I love it Dude, so much. You can, you, can die in your heel. you can die on your heel because Dune Imperium's here. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I Re win! Re I win! win. Did you, you have any thoughts on, on it? Or is it just Media um, and Schmoons? It's just Media and Schmoons. It so, is. So, I played it, and I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the play the playthrough that we did. Um, we we played it uh, at uh, Lachlan's house off stream. Mm -hmm. um, and just docks and... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this address... Lachlan has a house! <laughs> Guys, we play board games, not here. Off stream. Uh, just, 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 we're just, actually uh, friends in real life. <laughs> I'm just what? <laughs> um, well, what? That's news to us. Hold on. Uh, you guys I, get invited over? I, I enjoyed it, but like... Billy's never been. I didn't get the same feeling everyone else did. Um, there's a reason why I enjoy Dune Imperium more. Mm. And yet, uh, I totally get Beck's uh, reasoning for like the IP-less um, <laughs> game. I... Hate June. Uh, like <laughs> I have no interest in the actual June uh, the universe. The, the June universe. Um, <laughs> the only reason I would see the June movie is for Dave Bautista because he used to be a wrestler. Um, he's good in it. He's yeah, good. good. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. I mean, for his I'll, four minutes of screen time. I'll, I'll yeah. probably <laughs> see the movie, but like I don't. That's not why I like June Imperium. Uh, the game. To me, functionally works better. And that's the thing, when you hit those like medium to heavyweight games, it comes down to personal yeah. preference and what clicks with you so much. And I think the thing for me, the main reason that it got knocked down, uh, Lost Ruins of Arnak got knocked down, was purely the time factor. We, I will say we were taking a bit longer because we were learning the game and, and that sort of thing, but I was just like, by the last half hour, I was like, I'm ready to move on. So Dude. to add to that point for you, I think the reason why this flew to the top of my list was because we played Lost Ruins of Arnak in person, and I was exactly the same. I was like, it's taking so long. And then, like a couple of nights later, Tom got me onto Board Game Arena to play something else entirely, yep. and Lost Ruins of Arnak was there, and all of a sudden something that took three hours to play took 90 minutes, yep. mm -hmm. and I was able to spend, like I literally, before we played it on stream, I played it at least 10 times. Nice. Yeah. Also, I, that, I've only played it the once. Board Game know. Arena. Get around Board Game Arena. How yeah, good is good. Board Game Arena? It's sick. It's I have it now, but it won't be sick. We will you don't ask. Games. Ask. <laughs> what I uh, find interesting is that I played that game twice physically, then we played on Board Game Arena, and I enjoyed the game far less on Board Game Arena mm -hmm. than I did in person. I feel like for some people it, there's a it, tactileness to it that they to prefer. To me, it was like when we played in person, I was like, these are my resources I need for this. I know I can I can spatially look at it yeah. in my brain. And then when it was numbers on a screen, it was like, I have 
three arrowheads, I was like, uh, it's less satisfying. Uh, mm. Yeah. True. And that, that's like a lot of games. Like Wingspan is is a, like the fucking components are fucking incredible for that game, right? Oh, that's what the, makes that game. The good. rubies are their own individual shape. Oh, the spear not... heads are amazing. Like everything in that film <laughs> is amazing. Are you making fun of me? No. <laughs> like, spear, the spear heads are fucking rad. The tablets. The tablets. Yeah. The, like the tablets. tablets. The tablets. The tablets. Like, it's sick. <laughs> um, I played both Lost Lost Prince Varnak and I played June Imperium. I am all about the June like. Um, the universe. June Universe is what we're going with here. Yep. I'm all about the Juniverse. Sheesh. I fucking hated June Imperium, right? Spice. I'm choking on Anyway, so Lost Runes of Arnak won the game. Everybody, we're out of here. Solid. <laughs> that, that, to me, it's a solid oh. like 8, 9 out of 10 game. Uh, yeah. It was a good game. Oh, good game. Yeah. Lost Runes was just a bit long. Anyone want to say anything before we get into the top five? Um, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the top five. I'm pretty happy with the top five. <coughs> yep. I, I have only I played two of the top five. What's, what's in the top five? Boiled uh, it for myself, looking for my own so, playlist. So we have oh, Heaven no. and Ale, Between Two Castles with the expansion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. Come on, let's go! Thank you. Power Rangers. No way. Uh, Land vs. Sea and Phantom Inc. So I will say, uh, we, we joined Between Two Castles base game and Secrets and Swarways together because when we played it, we went, look, this is just more, more of the same. It's great, it adds more, but it doesn't <coughs> drastically change the game. Were these anyone else's top games of the year? Uh, uh, yes. Phantom Inc. Two, I believe. Ooh, nice. I mm. actually don't think it's I'd... possible for Power Rangers, Heaven and Ale, or um, Land vs. Sea to beat out the other two because there's not enough people that have played them. Interesting. I, 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 don't, I don't know how the math works I'm out too, on that. But... I'm surprised Heaven and Ale's still up here, to be honest. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I, I really enjoyed it. I didn't know other people like it, but absolutely. Well, liked let's it. get into it. Uh, the next five. game, 12.375 points. Two people's number one. Oh, I think if more people played this, it would be lower, mostly because of Billy. Power Rangers. Uh, oh! Number oh! one. Me. Oh! Yay! Yay! Uh, with that. Such a shame. Lachlan ranked this at five. Unfortunately, yeah. co op doesn't click with me as much. Uh -huh. I tanked this game a little bit. I still rated it highly. 26. But good life, good life. Don't uh, hate me, please. Don't, don't hate me. Please don't, don't hate me. me. 26. Um, oh, I, I had my spot where I had to put Spirit Island, and I couldn't put this above Spirit okay. Island. Damn. Damn. All right. You know, Power Rangers awesome. was pretty cool, yo. I knew nothing about Power Rangers whatsoever, and came away from it fucking loving it. It's a co-op game, it's but a solid it's like game. you have to all work together to get the best outcome. Whereas some other games have that problem where you're all like Battlestar, where it's like you're working together to get this, the outcome, and you're just like, fuck, I'm not doing anything because someone else is taking my turn. Whereas Power Rangers was like, we're all doing it together yeah, as a yeah. team to make this work. It's Thanks, so <laughs> good. I, I, I want to play that again, not just because it's good, but I also want to like actually get into the Power Rangers and be like, Red Ranger standing by, yeah. it's like my Zorn's online, and <laughs> just go full nerd with it. Yeah, and we did. We like we dressed up. Yeah, and we had a great did. time. That was good. You guys looked like you had a great time. Great. I'm oh, really glad so you guys good. had fun. I, for the life of me, just I cannot get interested in Power Rangers. <sighs> I well, like fucking love. So <laughs> at, at, we, we play with five people, and at the table, two people had seen like. A significant amount of Power Rangers. Yeah. Recently, I had seen a lot of Power Rangers, and they just had a good guess. Yep. Meanwhile, I came into it, and Chris and like Tom, we all came in. We we're like, ah, it's a franchise game, and also uh, we don't really doing this for reasons. We don't even care <laughs> yeah. about Power Rangers at all. Yeah. Power How Rangers, good could it be? Like we have no nostalgia for Power Rangers, and then for we came out the other story. side like. Fucking Power Rangers! It was so good. Literally in in, in the video, Tom put a clip uh, in in our uh, best games of the year video. Tom put a clip from the stream where it's Tom like, do this, we do this and this, and you do that, and I'm like, Tom's never seen an episode of Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so into the fucking game. It is a decent co-op game. I'm curious to see what the expansions add. I am curious to play it again. I just. There were so many other games I'd prefer to play personally. I, you know what? That's fine. I, I, it's in the top five. I can die happy. Hey, That's... mine was on the top ten. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Yours was oh, six. <laughs> I just want to play it again. For the love of God, yeah. can we play it again? And you know what? I really, really want to play it. Again. I really yeah. want to play it. You yeah. will love it. Because, because, dude, and there's so many expansions. Because I, for a co op game to be this high, do you know on how many board, seasons are of Power Rangers? Good, it's, it it is so, so good. Horrified was my favorite co op game last year. Yep. This is, I like this more than Horrified. Personally, I'd play Horrified more. 
That's fair. That's Didn't fair. play What's, yet. What's number days? four? Tom? Number four. Uh, once again, tanked a little bit by one person. This is Between Two Castles, Secrets and Soirees. Please give wow. me Secrets and Soirees. Secrets and Soirees! A second, a tenth, a third, two elevenths and an eighth. But then one person put it 25th. Wow. Was it me? It's Chris. Oh. But, so, so is this? Uh, are we just counting like yeah. between the castles and the expansion as one? They, yeah. they were basically the I same. I think the consensus because not not everyone at the table had played yeah. base between two castles, but the, but those of us that had and then played the expansion, it just feels like more of the same game. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> you don't need the expansion. The expansion's nice. It, if you like it, it adds a little bit more. If if you're going to play it, hey, pick yep. it up. Like it's added a it's, couple extra mechanics, but it was didn't break the game. It didn't alter the game dramatically. It was more it, of the same. It was yeah. an unoffensive addition that just I think gave us extra rooms. Yeah, yep. it, it 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 blended in nicely. It felt like it felt like part of the base game. It didn't feel like an expansion. And it was the most unique game I'd seen oh, yeah. this year. Yep. It's another game you can whip out with people who are new to board games. It's a game you can whip out with people who have played board games. It's fun. Every decision is interesting, and you're doing two things at the same time, but you never feel like you're lost. Yeah, and the more interesting thing is that you personally score on your lowest castle. So, say yep. if you did one really good one here, and you tanked this one over here. If this one is crap, then that's the score you have to go off. So you're not incentivized to tank any particular castle. You yep. want to do both, do well Which in is both. Awesome. So it's a really interesting take on like a cooperative game without being. Terrifically cooperative. Mm -hmm. So I I love Dude, Between Two like, Castles. It, it's a phenomenal game. Like it's I fantastic. want to play it again. Another game that has fantastic board game storage. Yeah. Uh, the tiles feel good. It's so simple. You just got to put your, your tiles next to each other. And how many games are good at seven players? Yeah. And like it scales so well, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're right. Seven players, you can play it easily because you're between two castles, and you can't <laughs> tank either of them. It's just. <laughs> So oh, good. now I get it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, uh, it is a great game. Definitely that, thought yeah. it was going to be like the top, but it, it four. This, cool. this, four. This is prime example of the best of Stonemaier games. Yeah. Like that's, you know, Stone Stonemaier is pretty up there. It's also Sorry, really. uh, <laughs> rising. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stone, Stonemaier is pretty up there with quality and stuff, but like this would be one of the games that I'd be like, this. It's also the prime example of board games getting better and adding to each other over time because Between yeah. Two Cities and Castles yeah. of Mad King Ludwig were two separate games that they took elements of and put it together yeah. and elevated both. Yeah. Like Everything about it was just so much better because of it. Solid 4 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> just a straight up 7 out of 10. Straight uh, up. Uh, the, so, top 3. Top 3. Top three. Just 10.5, no. 9 and 8.35. Hey, right now it's gotta be three, it is incredibly right? close. Yeah. Um, I think two and three suffer a little bit from did not plays. Uh, and because of that, I don't know where they'll land if people do play them. In third place, land versus wow. sea. Oh. I didn't ruin it for myself! Oh. Land oh this was God. number wow. one for Lachlan, number two for me, number nine for Kai, and number 16 for Beth. It did not gel with me as much as it did for you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, no, once like, you played it that one time, it, it, and I was, was, like, it was the reason. Did Beck only play it at three players? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just explain my experience. I was the C, and I just I couldn't close off any C to earn any points, and I just uh, I had a bad uh, what, time. What went wrong for Beck was when we played it. It was it was you, me, and Kai. And the three of us played it, and Kai and I had already played it like twice at this point. So Kai and I were like, boom, we know exactly what the fuck we're doing. And Beck is just stuck in the middle between the two of us, just fucking going ham and going hard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I really want to play it two players with Beck. Yep. Another, another complexity. So this is and a game that is different at two, three, and four players. It didn't break yep. badly for me. It was just when I compared it to other games on the list, I was like, I'd prefer to play this, yep. and then this, and then this, and then this. So yep. it was a good game. It's just I'd only played it once, and it had to go on my list somewhere, and it wasn't oh, outstanding yep. for me. This game I would recommend to everyone because yeah. you can you can make it more difficult or easy. You can play it just base game, land versus sea. You can play it with mountains. You can play it with trade routes. You can change how it plays and what your decision making is. Yeah. And then at four players, that decision making is still there, but suddenly you can't talk with your teammate. Dude, two players, four players, three players. It's 
scales yep. perfectly. Re I really like the way it scales the number of players. Do you want to whip it out? To be able to play behind, behind, you, behind you, on your right. Um, also made by Good Games Publishing. Like, yes. they w just make good games. Our friends. Is that WA? Yeah. It's in the name. Uh, Australia, but yes. Yeah. Um, I rated it 9 because it's the best tile, tile lane game I've played, but tile lane games are not my favourite type yeah. of game. But I think Lachlan said it best um, in his best of video. Hexagons this, are best of guns. Hexagons are the best of guns, okay. but it's a tile lane game that takes everything that tile lane games have done before and improves upon yep. them. Hexagons, double sided tiles, extra things on the tiles that you can yep. choose not to play with. Like, like the, the, the biggest comparison is Carcassonne. Carcassonne is a fantastic it's a, game. It's a fantastic comparison, right? actually. Like, Carcassonne is a fantastic game. And if you're comparing the base game of Carcassonne to this, I would say play Land vs. Sea. Carcassonne is fantastic, and there's a lot of expansions, which would mean that, like, later versions of Carcassonne would be better than Land vs. Sea. But, like, the base game and the fact that they're hexagons and not just uh, squares, and you don't have that problem of monasteries getting grouped next to monasteries. <laughs> you have yeah. like these core mechanics that work, and you're trying to manipulate them and work against the players. And I think the biggest thing is the scaling, right? Carcassonne, you can play with four people, you can play with three people, but you're all doing the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas this is an asymmetrical game and it scales from two players, three players, and four players, whereas Carcassonne is just, everyone's doing the same thing, and yes, there's a lot more scoring uh, opportunities in Carcassonne, but it's hard to master, right? It's simple to play, anyone can play it, but it is so hard to master, and it makes it fucking great. Mm -hmm. Fucking great. Great game. Yeah. It was my number one. Yeah, I was Solid kidding. seven out of ten. <laughs> seven out of seven out of ten. Totally. So... I can't believe Heaven and Hell. Heaven and Hell. So that let's just go with it. Good I've already kind of so spoiled good. it. What's number two, Tom? Number two, uh, nine points. Every single person who played it put it in their top ten, and that is why it is up this high. Yeah. Heaven and Ale, yeah. Yeah. I put it fifth, oh. Lachlan put it ninth, Kai put it fourth, and Reese put it sixth. Yeah. So it didn't get affected by Do Not Plays. Oh, really it's a game, game. It, it's a really heavy game. Yeah. Yep. Like, that is a brain burner and a half, which does mean Phantom Ink wins, and we'll come to that in a moment. I wonder how much like it would drop depending on who else played it. I don't know if Billy would dig it or not. I don't know if Bree or Beck would dig it or not. But it is so interesting and the choices that you have to make did, are also always so intense. Did I place it the lowest out of the people who did rank it? Yeah. So I put it as ninth because it's a pretty heavy game. There's a lot of moving mechanics. It does have that slow Euro for it. But it is so satisfying and the stream that we had was one of the best streams we had this year. Yeah. We drank beer and we made beer in a board game. It was very yep. clever. It's such an interesting and uh, weird game and I don't think I've seen a lot of those mechanics. Um, no, because you, you, you like place people down and that does something, some things yeah. and then later on you activate them and they activate everything around them and you can build combos but then you got different paths to go down. It's like a, it's like a worker placement euro but then like... The workers you place are also your resources. Yeah, yeah. but it also has a mechanic like um, between two castles where it's like you can't tank something else because you get mm. negatives if you're yeah. poorly in one of the fields. Yeah. So you have to try and make everything work well or you make something do incredibly well I, and I, hope that you can like have yeah. the, your ass hand meet up. I think Beck would like it for the same reason she likes um, Lost Ruins of Arnak. Probably. Where it's that, that puzzle that you're slowly working towards. Um, or yeah. I would just get super frustrated with it and blame you personally. But <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a heavy, it's a heavy game. euro. It's very heavy. We probably shouldn't have been drinking while playing it. Oh god, no. I but walked away I with enjoyed the biggest it. headache. Uh, oh, yeah, it's great. It was. It was, it was I love heavy euros. Oh, it's beautiful. Like Terra Mystica is one of my favorite games mm. of all time. Again, you have to be in the mood for a heavy euro. Yeah. yeah. But when I'm in the mood for a heavy euro, I am in the mood for a heavy euro. Yeah. That's the mood. Give me that brain buster. Again, yeah. when I'm in the mood, you know what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean, bro. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, Phantom Inc. Our yeah. number one game for the year. Only one person didn't play it, and I thought you had played it, but apparently not, Bree. Um, you remember. Billy ranked it 10th, I ranked it number 1, which was such a hard decision, but I think you can watch yeah. the video and find out why. Lachlan ranked it 10th, Beck ranked it 7th, Chris ranked it 13th, which was the lowest, which says a lot about it. Kai ranked it 2nd, and Reese ranked it 9th. It Who is a fantastic party game because it gets everybody involved yep. in the most frustrating way possible. <laughs> 
It, it has that Mysterium, like first time you play Mysterium and you got someone as the ghost, and this has obviously someone being the ghost, and you're just like, work with me, man. Like, mm. work with me. But also the other team is looking at you going, oh, we see, what, we see what's going on here. Yeah. And it's like, you can't give your hand away, but you're also trying to figure out what the other team's hand is. It's such a good party game. If, if, we had a great time. If Phantom Inc. doesn't become, like, the next party game, that people need to have. Mm, I think yeah. that's a travesty. Like yeah. this is, I, I I love this game. I don't like party games. I love this game. I had so much fun playing it. It is it's such a simple concept as well. Very good. Yeah. You know when you're playing Articulate and you roll and you hit a star or whatever it is, that's pretty much like, you're, you're trying to hone in on what the wavelength of the person is, but mm -hmm. everyone else is obviously listening in and they're gonna like, they're gonna get it. But it's, yeah. it's not just the wavelength, it's choosing how much information you reveal, yeah. but you can't choose that because oh, wow. you don't know the information that's getting yeah. revealed. Yeah. Like every decision about it is... I, I, I just hate the fight. fact that we went on a Lord of the Rings tangent because that was the best way to explain. <laughs> that was yeah. beautiful. That's anyway, so where would they use this? Mordor. What? Uh, trebuchet. A trebuchet. trebuchet. It was. Do you have anything to say about Phantom Inc, Billy? I Billy put really it in his top ten. I, I put it in my top ten because it was the best party game of the year. I just, I don't like seeing word games and party games. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think it's fair. It. If, yeah. if you didn't, didn't put it in your top to ten, tanks, though, like, it was only it, winning by a little bit because Billy Billy didn't realize. Unfortunately for Phantom Inc., if you missed the controversy, it was originally called something else, and then they had to change it. So Billy didn't realize he had played the game. Changed um, name. Yeah, it changed his name, and it's yeah. not his fault. <laughs> Lawyers, man. <laughs> um, but if Billy, if Billy or Chris hadn't considered it that high, then Heaven and Hell would have been our game for the year, which would have been interesting mm. because once again we would have put a heavy game at the top even though everything else below it isn't as heavy, but I think it is far more fair that Phantom Inc. wins when most of us yeah. have played it and given our opinion. I, I think that. we've gone from heavy Euro last year, oh, I guess, could you call Guild Master it's Euro? It's a, no. it's a medium it's a to heavy medium. Euro, yeah. A, yeah. Just a heavy game. Heavy yeah. game last year to like a light party game this year, and I think that sort of speaks volumes to how much we love Phantom Inc. Especially yeah. considering like, second was the heavy Euro. Goodbye, yeah. Guild Master! Goodbye, Master. No, no. It, it, it keeps us top. It's a celebration of the game. No, because next no, no, year no. when we start ranking, Phantom, Phantom Inc. is the benchmark. Yeah. The yeah. problem was that when we played Guildmaster the previous year, that was the benchmark for this year, and nothing, we put nothing above Guildmaster. You guys Some people refused did. refused to put anything above Guildmaster. Well, Halfway through the, the year, I, think, I was like, Guildmaster's going put things down. above. If, if we played Guildmaster this year, I reckon it'd be out of the 10. Nah. nah. No way. No way. I would nah. still rank, I still I would still rank Guildmaster it. number one. I would put really? Guildmaster above Heaven and Nails. It'd put, still be my top three. Put, oh, Guildmaster Heaven and Nails is a tough call. It is a tough call. <laughs> I've thought about it hard. Well, we'll see you in 10 years. We'll rank all our top 10 games uh, of yeah. the decade. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what a year. Um, but yeah, Phantom Inc. But yeah. Fantastic Look at game. all of these games that we played this year. Wow. If you yeah, want to hear more so thoughts on these games, we did just put out our best games of the year video where everyone gave their thoughts and loves for the games they rated number one. Apart from Chris, who someone else already took his number one and he'd already filmed his other game. Yeah. But that's okay. <laughs> what was I doing? So was me. What that's was your right. number one? Oh, uh, yeah. Power, Rangers. Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. I was like, I'm totally not going to pick Power Rangers when Reese <laughs> or what. But also at the time, I was totally feeling Korra. So. Yes, that's yeah. fair. That's that's fair. Yeah. And you did a fantastic uh, explanation of it as well. I hope I did. <laughs> I'm not a good speaker. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 know exactly. I haven't watched the video yet and I'm like, oh no. Yeah, I'm going to watch myself and cringe. Tom did an amazing <clears throat> job on the video. Make no, you. Go to our YouTube and check it coherent. out. Yeah, so thank you, Tom, for putting all Head that. Head over to Woo! our YouTube, check out our best of 2021. Yeah. It was the best games that we played this year, not necessarily games that came out this year because we, we have played <laughs> give up man a bunch of games this year so there is a couple that didn't get rated um we didn't rate destinies because we only played the intro mission and only i played it mm -hmm. um so i'm keen to see more destinies because it looks really cool um what there was one other game that we didn't end dream up Wheels. rating dream uh well we didn't play dream Wheels. uh it was <laughs> the card game the card game you and beck played Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Din. Din. Din was cool, but oh, only me and Beck yeah. played it. It's really interesting. Solid it game. Solid it five out of ten. have rated anywhere because only me and Tom played yeah. it, and I yeah. would not have put it very high. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think I think there were a few games that like only like one or two of us played that we 
Yeah. Yep. And we've got videos for them, like a few yeah, of the stuff out there. We've done videos for. And... But yeah, this is our last stream from the studio okay. for the year. Uh, the there will be too. one. What? I said, look at the camera. Oh, you're a okay. camera. Um, <laughs> We will be back with another stream next Saturday. We're doing a cute little gingerbread house making stream um, from somewhere else. That's what you're missing out on. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be streaming the rest of our, our video games and stuff, and then we will be back with a live stream from here. But the first one for next year is the 8th, because the first is a Saturday, and no, I will not be awake. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah. yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, cool. So how y'all doing? Yeah, um, what's bad. happening? Massive. I mean, are we all happy with the list? Or are we I'm just pretty, I'm yeah. pretty happy with the list. How is Moonraker's last? I am, I'm a little bit upset <laughs> that Who Goes There is so low. <laughs> yeah. I, is, this, is, this the, is this the lowest, lowest number, number one rating? Yeah. Rate yeah. Rate oh. I'm you know a little what? bit cut by that. <laughs> Kai, to play. Kai. I tried so hard to get that game Kai, on the table. Kai, invite right me over to your house for board game days and we might get Who Goes There on the table. Yeah, yeah. we have to do yeah. that we next year. We have to do it. On the list. Yeah. We will get time off between Christmas Get it back on the list because Love Battle will be back on the list. Crew will be back on the list. Werewolf will be back on the list. Oh, we'll um, have to get on there for next year. Yeah. There's more expansions for I Wingspan. I am like, I'm kind of happy I intentionally sat out of all co-op games <laughs> to see where they truly sit on a list where that's, I don't just shit on them and put them at the bottom of my really list. That's a good point. Because I just won't want to play it again. And because the list is based on if you would want to play it again, yeah. it's just like, ah, uh, yeah, you know, I've played Coup before all of these, even so, though I'm done with Coup. This is our Nerds of the West ranking list. It isn't objectively worse or better, it's just what we would prefer to play over something else. 